6 o'clock. And then I'll let you guys decide if you want to try and pick up another person or go with the four of you. Um, if you want to pick up another person, just post a... Like, put, post a thing. Yeah, but for, I'm going to see if he's going to show up in the next ten minutes or so okay. before I do yeah. that. So we're going to do... So there's that rolls, for you guys. Yep. And all that jazz. And all that jazz. Oh my god. Why is Trader Joe's honey Greek yogurt so freaking good? I have no clue. So yummy. So how exactly do you do rolls for buying stuff? Because cause up until now I've only bought legal things. Okay, so what what do you want to buy at the moment? The Ruger 950 sniper rifle. Cause and that's availability at what? 4R. It's... 4R? More, yeah, it's one of the more legal sniper rifles. Yeah, so, yeah. R. What happens is I'll be rolling four dice, and you will be rolling your contact or your connection plus loyalty for whoever you're going to use. Okay. And I have you have to beat my dice. Okay. Is it connection plus loyalty or connection it's times It's connection two times plus? two plus loyalty. Okay. That's what I thought. Da, da, da. Let me know if that music is too loud for you guys. I'll turn it off with this. Shadow pun. Can't hear it. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I can't hear it either. Yeah, I can't hear anything. Like, nothing at all. I can't hear you guys speaking. Everything I say is pure coincidence. <laughs> I was trying to play some Pink Panther for you guys, but apparently it didn't work so well. <laughs> this is a detective mission after all. <laughs> okay, so so that would be twelve dice for me. Six, greater than five. That's six successes. And there's Punk. no way I can roll higher than that, so it's all yours, man. Ah, oh, yeah. And well, if you give if you give an agony a sniper rifle, he's gonna want some ammo. So I gotta roll for that too. Okay. Hang on. Let me see how much change I've got le left after this. It's all about that Ares uh, Desert. What is it Ares called? Ares Desert Strike. Yeah, I have oh. that on my Mafia Hitman character and. He's okay. going to take some heads off. I totally forgot that I wanted to add an internal smart link on this thing because um, it can't take underbarrel modifications. So hang on, let me see what rating that puts it up to. Blah, 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 blah. I think it adds like two to the rating, but let me double check. Smart gun internal, yeah, adds two to the rating. So you get, So you can match it. And it looks like I actually don't have enough for the integrated smart link. Nuts to me. Never mind. I suck. <laughs> it's okay. Whenever I try and roll for something I really want, I never get it. Even if it has like the garbage, the, the most garbage availability. It's like, nope, not for you. <laughs> okay. So I guess I'll try buying that maybe after the mission or something. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just buy an AA-16 because that's actually cheaper. <laughs> if you match, you still get it. It just takes twice as long, I think. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, basically, I usually tell people they can have it at the end of the run once it's over. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, well, the thing is, I don't have enough money for. Oh, wait, no, I do have enough money. Never mind. So I can totally purchase that. I just, yeah, Chummer was being a dick. Chummer is always a dick. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so now I have an internal smart link. Yay! Woo! I'm so happy. Okay, so all that did go down. Just an FYI. Now I gotta buy some ammo, because... 
What kind of ammo are you looking to buy? Well, there's only a couple types of ammo that are used. There's XX, APDS, and Stick and Shock. Though, actually for this I'd probably get gel rounds. Let's start with uh, APDS, because... And that's Capsule 12 rounds F. are the best. What? Filled with pepper shot? Yes. I, I fill mine with Narcoject. That works too. That needs to be <laughs> injected, though. No, Narcoject's a contact uh, poison. No, it's not. It's an injection vector only. You can put oh, DMSO like... in the capsule as well. That way, it injection vector ones work as well. That would work. Alright, so go ahead and roll for your APDS. Two successes. Beat that with your 12 dice. <laughs> Alright, you can have that ammo at the end of the game. Okay, at the end of the mission. Anything else you need? I need a couple things, but mine are okay. all real easy. I just want to, uh, from what I learned from the last run, is uh, I want to pick up some uh, sensor tags and uh, also a omnidirectional uh, microphone. Sounds good. Uh, what kind of everything's uh, availability that you don't have to roll for, right? Yeah, it's all low availability. Okay, you can just go ahead and pick it all up then. Okay, thank you. Oh, and I'm going to get a silencer for my uh, 950. That's nine dice. So. Come on, small money. Oh, shit. Yeah, boy. That was a close one, though, for just nine dice. Yeah, all right. Okay, awesome. That's all the rolling I'm going to do for now. Anyone else? I mean, I'm going to buy a sling, but that's availability zero. So... Yeah, you're good on that. Uh, I wanted to summon a couple of spirits and bind them. Alright. Uh, you're going to have to tell me how to roll. I'm not big on the magical stuff. Well, I've got a nice macro set up, so... Pretty much you just have to witness it and uh, laugh as I fall over. Sounds good. Mm. Yeah, it gives me three successes, so and it gets zero. So I soak the drain and I get three services from the spirit. Now I'm going to try and bind it. Okay. <coughs> and also fail. It'd be a big help if you guys could put in parentheses under your name what your Skype names are uh, on the roll 20. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm down 75 reagents. I think I get to try again without something a different spirit. Hold well. Okay, yeah. Uh, I've got a Force 3 Fire Spirit bound with uh, four services. Cool. It's been so long since I've played Shadowrun, by the way. I just want to put that out there. It's uh, I haven't played since 4th edition was new. So... It's all I, good, I, man. I, yeah, I, I might have a, a couple of moments where I'm just like, what do I do? And by a couple, I mean a lot. Just bear with me, please. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, uh, I've only been playing for a month, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Matrix and Magic, I'm still like halfway through learning that stuff, so. I've never even dealt with that. I don't want to de deal with that. It's, it's too complicated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna give him five more minutes. 
to share. Oh shit, I can just put a smart link inside of uh, the imaging scope. Didn't know that. Smart links are off. Smart links number one. Yep. MVP, baby. MVP. So come okay. to... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, no. Image link. Imaging scope. Comes with... Microcam, VizMag, three capacity. So... I don't have any SMG ammo. I don't think I need any SMG ammo. Now's the time to pick it up if you do, though. Yeah, yeah. I should, I should probably pick up a bit. I don't even know how much SMG. Let me see. My. Well, what kind of ammo are you looking for? And I can tell you. Yeah, just normal ammo. Just for ten rounds of. Uh, the armor piercing ammo it's going to be 120 new yen if you just want legitimate regular ammo which I personally would not suggest but yeah nobody uh, has that <laughs> it's uh, going to be 20 new yen per 10 stack uh, then what would you suggest I would definitely suggest stick and shock and APDS that's probably going to be the main thing you're going to want to use uh, Gel also, rounds are pretty good too, though. They're yeah. really good for knocking people over. Also, capsule special. rounds are very good if they're filled with something like pepper shot or, like they were saying earlier, narco jet. Yeah. I heard seven seven is pretty good in uh, capsule rounds too. Is that true? I haven't used that yet. Just trying trying to uh, navigate around my my chummer. Adding. Ammunition. Uh, to buy it, you're going to have to roll, though. Okay. So, you, so what you're going to want to do is, if you have a like gun dealer or salesman on your contacts, uh, you're going to want to roll their connection times two plus their loyalty. If you don't, you're going to want to do that for your fixer. Okay, so my fixer is three. So, I roll... Six plus two. That's eight. I'm, I'm, right. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. All right. So go ahead and roll your die. So your connection's three, loyalty two. I'm taking it. Uh, yes. Okay. For my, for my fixer, and that's uh, so roll eight d six. Yes. Okay. We'll see. Okay. Uh, you got to put the uh, little greater than at okay. five, but uh, it looks like you got yeah. one, two, three hits. Okay. So. And I got six successes, so it doesn't look like you'll be able to pick some up at the moment. Do you okay. want to roll for a stick and shock or something? Um, nah, it's not really a big deal. I have I have shotgun ammo and I have crossbow ammo, so. I mean, I have ammo for my other guns. Okay. My uh, SMG had been a last moment addition to my character. Mm. Oh, I have a couple of things I want to buy. I, I want to get some gel shot and um, stick and shock for my sniper rifle. Gel rounds are too restricted, so I mean, there, you, you can't beat that. So I'm just going to buy some of those puppies. Rifles, and I'm gonna get some stick and shock because stick and shock OP. And that's a six, so you totally can beat that. I need to read more into the capsule rounds. Those always sound really interesting to me, but I haven't uh, been in a situation to use them yet. It seemed like they get pretty expensive because don't you need a dose for every bullet? Yep. Mm -hmm. Hey. No, um, depends on the bullets because uh, some doses will fill up to five capsule rounds, like mm -hmm. Narcojack, for instance. Oh, cool. Yeah, see, I, I know nothing about them, so I definitely need to read up on it. Mm -hmm. 
Can I get six dice from you, uh, Mr. GM Blocks? You sure can. Yeah, I totally can't get those sticky shots. Whatever. I got two rounds. Can I have the roll 20, Link? It is in the Skype. It is. Uh, not, not since I've joined it. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that was my bad. I, I accidentally sent it to the wrong uh, contact request to the wrong person, it seems like, because there's a couple people with the... Uh... Okay. That's not a problem. I was just thinking, I was just waiting for a response. It's like, um, maybe I should just ask. <laughs> yeah, it's probably best you did that. Yeah, especially since after it hit one o'clock. Oh, well, one for me. Yeah, it's definitely around 6 o'clock in the sunny state of California. Yeah, it's 6 o'clock. I'm, I'm in New Zealand. Awesome. Yeah, I'm in I the can UK. tell from the accent. It's 2 in the morning here. That's good. Most people think I'm British for some reason. Nah, um... Nah. <laughs> Kiwis have a distinctive accent. That's what All I right. thought. So, any last minute buying, guys, before we start this up? Uh, well, no, no, no. given the nature of this run, I think we should all try to purchase assault cannons. Just saying. <laughs> totally. Oh, I, I will suggest um, some private, safely, sorry. <laughs> private investigator licenses <laughs> might come in handy. Uh, oh, this. that might be a good point. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> leave it to the GM to think of the... Uh, left, so I could be like a... <laughs> you just know he's going to pull that one up now. <laughs> He, he can be I my understudy. Just, you know, like a female troll fake license for that on that? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's my assistant. You don't need a license to be an, a detective's assistant. I'll buy the license. I can see oh, the shit. point use of having one of those licenses, though. That's so, just a suggestion. You don't have, have to do it. License. Just letting you guys know. And a well, there you go. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a bounty hunter license, I think, but... Well, hell, I'll, I'll buy a PI license. Why not? Yeah, I, I, I'll roll for a PI license as well. Just give me a sec. I'm right. skimped on New Yen for that. I'm like 70 New Yen short. Not 70, sorry. Go ahead and 86. Uh, let me know what, how much I'm going to need to roll depending on what, you're rating, what rating you're trying to get. Give me a second here. i got to maneuver through Chummer. Chummer confuses um, me. It's three times rating by the looks of it. Yeah, so you're usually, at Caragen you usually get rating four, which is twelve, so I think I might go full out and get a level six. A, a little sex? What? <laughs> level, level six. six. Level six. <laughs> oh okay. Come on now. <laughs> if you're in the market for sex, why not go for a lot? Oh god. <laughs> really? Some people only need a little though. <laughs> At best, you're just going to need a two there. Come on. Uh, but if you want to keep it and use it later. Yeah. Uh, that's true. And, you know, that is the kind of thing that might come in handy. Yeah, licenses always yeah. come in handy. I don't care what kind they are. You said uh, you're going for a rating six, right? Yeah, I'll go for all out. Okay, go ahead and roll <laughs> wow, out. Good okay. luck to you, sir, because that's a lot of dice you're going up What would against. I need to... Yeah, I figured that's why I'm looking at what I've got. Deal with. I might downgrade it to a four. If I'm... Yeah. Uh, you're going to be rolling against 18 dice, just letting you know, if it, you want to be a six. Yeah, I'm, that's I why I'm this. looking at downgrading to a four. All right, four will be against 12 dice. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at four and thinking I'd have to be that lucky Yeah, if somebody can get a, an actual PI license, I can just come along as the bounty hunter that, you know, is in tow or the bodyguard. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking a level four license. Which or you know, I could 12. I could go for my go ahead and roll for that default demo and just disguise myself as a murderous hobo. Trying to figure <laughs> out which connection would be the best contact. Yeah, you would be the best a license to be a hobo. Uh, <laughs> Licenses generally are the best hobo. hobo. I mean, you have to have a license to loiter, obviously. <laughs> Hey, this is freaking Shadow Run, aka Bookkeeping Simulator 2075. I wouldn't be surprised. Loitering license. So, no, just... no, seriously, I got kicked out of a mall in a one run because I was drinking coffee and they considered it loitering because my <laughs> lifestyle was too low. 
<laughs> that actually amazing. makes sense. So could I get away with using Bruce Kincaid for this one? I know um, he's primarily he weapons and ammo. Weapon guy? Yeah. But since this is a PI type deal, oh. I'm really Does stretching here. Any sort if knows of the license? answer, it's cool. <laughs> Does, can he provide any sort of license? Uh, not that I know of. <laughs> Gonna have to go with no on that. I'm uh, sorry. No, that's the, like I said, I was really reaching. He just was my best one for a possibility cool. there. Yeah. All right. Can I just go through standard effects, sir? No PI uh, license for me. Doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, you guys can go through your fixers if you want. I don't mind. And that's connection two, uh, two times connection plus loyalty, right? Uh, connection times two plus loyalty, yep. I want to I wanna rank, I wanna try to go for a rank six. And that's for a uh, rating four, Jules? Yes, sir. Ouch, that's my role for a rating four. <laughs> Ow. I didn't want that license anyways. <laughs> <laughs> And Honestly, roll against my three successes. <laughs> I don't know what it is about my table, but it really likes me to roll well, and it doesn't like the players to roll. Oh, come on! All right, and that's for rating four also. Let's see. I mean, against 12 dice. Oh, looks like you get it. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, triad license? Or incense master? Yeah. Oh, were you trying to buy the same thing? Okay. I got um, you. So, yeah, can, that's all you yours. Against, can you roll against my three successes? Please. Against your three, yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting it. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I'm just gonna sit out tonight. You guys, uh, good luck with the G. Yeah, I failed. <laughs> All right, this is for Cobalt. What? Oh. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> That's right. What? Stop there. What? Well, I guess I get a rank six. Wait, oh, that's for rank six. Oh, one second. Oh, uh, yeah, need to roll six Ouch. more dice. Yep. Nope. Guess I'm not gonna get it. Let's see. Six the... more dice and he gets no successes. <laughs> well, let's see. Fing fingers crossed. <laughs> roll six more dice. Nope. 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 Well, we'll just let somebody who actually has one of these licenses deal with the uh, whole PI shtick. Yeah. If, if we did. I, I have a bounty hunting uh, license. Or basically so I, his, I can uh, sort of handle it. His I think, I think one of mine's a bounty hunting one. Oh, also, um, who was going to stream this again? I forgot. Was that Johnny Illuminati? Was that you? Yeah, I'm streaming it right now. What's up? Um, yeah, I, I, get the link I, have a, I have a bounty hunting one. Yeah, I posted it. It's. Do you want the link as well? Okay, if it's on, on Reddit, I'll just grab it from there. Yeah. And there it is, too, in chat. Sweet. Thank you, sir. Because I'm going to spam it in OOC. Woo! Oh, okay. <laughs> Just to be uh, sure, do any of people have like to any, put up uh, the streams is on the Shadowrun subreddit. Just the Shadowrun general. Just a tip. I wanted oh. to ask: Do any of you have a uh, any language uh, sensitivities that we sh that I should know about? No. <laughs> okay. Not particularly. Hey, you, know, you never know. <laughs> uh, I guess. Though at one point in time in uh, high school, I just didn't swear for a couple of years. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm not going to swear for a couple of years because YOLO. And then I did. And I was like, okay, that was kind of fun. Back to swearing. <laughs> okay, well, you know, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what I said. You know, it was actually a really nice experience because I got to learn a bunch of, or well, create a bunch of different ways for me to express being pissed off. Without swearing, that were a lot yeah. more creative. And it, like, just really basically, violent, swearing huh? swearing is a, a a lazy way to express your emotions because it's effective. It's but, shorthand. Yeah, it's it's basically shorthand for your emotions. You were the guy that would be in class and holy bologna sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> holy bologna sandwiches, really. I don't know. What is this? The 1950s? Maybe. <laughs> Sounds like Robin. Holy <laughs> bologna sandwiches, Batman. <laughs> bologna yeah, sandwiches, right. Batman. All right, you guys ready to start this? Yeah. Yes. I'm sure the so. answers. Who else watched um, um, Adam West Batman as a kid? 
Who else? Who else did that? Oh yeah, uh, I, I watched that. I watched it's all kinds of different Batman as a kid. <laughs> Good, but uh, Adam West is probably one of my favorite Batman. He's he's hilarious. Yeah, I saw Adam West, but I didn't see TAS. So I know it's pretty weird. Anyway, enough distractions based on Batman. Let's go for a distraction based on Superman. Now let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> Superman versus Goku, who would win? Oh god, no. not this again. <laughs> again? <laughs> it's 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 yeah, a question that has been that. asked for years. Uh, yeah, let's let's not start that topic yeah, again. No, let's, go even, right into, gonna... let's go right into the meat. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and go with okay. the game. Alright, so you guys all get calls from your uh various fixers uh, saying they have a job for you that might require some sleuthing in hard-boiled detectives. Uh, so yeah, after that, uh, he gives you a meeting location, and uh, if you look it up on the Matrix, you'll see it's a very nice, very fancy townhouse in Tacoma. Hello. So what are you guys all going to show up in? Um, I'm going to turn up with my Shin Hyung wearing my suit and top hat. Alright. Cobalt, uh, Cobalt rides a Mirage. Nice, nice. I'm gonna show up in a blaze uh, of glory. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a vehicle now. Totally stole that from my wife who walked by and said it actually, but I, I show up on my, my chopper, my motorcycle. Okay. It's okay to steal stuff from your, from your significant other. I'll They've got to be good for something. Very similar to <laughs> him, actually. Yes, Mothma London suit, great top hat. Yeah, I noticed that. I looked at I'm your look at, <laughs> I looked at your character sheet. You're you're a year younger than me and dressed the same way. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> only difference is I'm a dwarf. Yeah, the only okay. difference is I'm a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to different. put on my nice suit and put on my armored vest underneath because I can't afford the bullshit <laughs> high fashion armor that you guys waste your money on. <laughs> and I'm going to ride in my classy, super intimidating Dodge Scoot. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what, well, we have so, people turning um, up and high, high state cars and choppers and then a Barrage scoot stuff. <laughs> so I'm I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, dark scoot. You had balls buying that scoot, dude. You had major balls. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what? I figure this guy's got a monofilament whip in his fingertip, a shotgun for an arm. He's not afraid of anything at this point. <laughs> Least of all, someone's opinion of him. Yeah, that sounds uh, uh, to before me. I turn up, I cast makeover to make sure my hair's right and. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I look perfect as I walk in. Fabulous. <laughs> okay, so I'm you guys, you guys um, makeup. It it there's like a little driveway with the gate in front of it, and in, in front of the gate, it's like a little. You press a button, you know. It's like, hey, I'm here to see you. Blah blah blah. Yeah, the community thing. You know. Yeah. And they just kind of. They're like, all right, go ahead and, you know, park in front of this particular house. And uh, we'll have someone waiting outside for you. And so you guys all get there, you pull up, and there's a butler waiting at, in front of the door. Uh, what did I get myself into? Damn, straight up. <laughs> you know something's wrong with the butler's heads up. <laughs> it was the butler. He did it! <clears throat> okay. Everyone knows the butler did it. So, um, the butler's going to wave you guys over, and uh, he, he, uh, you guys are all following him, I'm going to assume? Yep. yep. Okay, so you follow well, him I'm, into... I'm going to say hi to the butler and ask him how he's doing. Be a chummer. He, he, has a very, he has a very nice British accent, and he says, I'm doing very well. You what, I... and, <laughs> um... Oh, okay, so you. so he fo you go you guys get in the house. It's a very nice house. You see like a crystal chandelier hanging in the living room. All this very nice stuff. And uh, I unconsciously case the joint. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then uh, he he uh, waves you to follow him up the stairs. 
And once you get up there, he opens a door and waves you in. Can I roll a perception okay. to see if anything is kind of out of place with all of this? Or is it... Okay, go ahead. Well, you can see there's a bunch of goofily dressed guys and armed suits, I'm guessing. So that's kind of <laughs> And a female. <laughs> a female Actually, and a I... Monty. A Monty. Could uh, I dress. assess? Could I sense the butler as as he yeah. walks up the stairs so he can't see? Go ahead. Um, and for that perception, uh, you just notice that it's a decent sized house, but it's not super huge. It is pretty fancy though on the inside. Uh, and I, oh. And there's not there's just the butler that you've seen so far inside the house. Okay. Can I smell for weapons? Uh, on the butler? Just other than in the in the immediate area, other than what we're actually carrying. Uh, you do see some weapons in the room he is waving you into. I'm wait, also I see or smell. <laughs> oh, I was saying smell. You smell. Yes, I have smell perception. I'm oh, I thought you said see my or uh, a sign. smell. Shit. Well, I'm... obviously I gave that one away. So. I'd probably be carrying well, enough the weapons to cover Well, there's the up. role anyway. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Mel is useful. It, let, it lets you see stuff and back through time. Mm -hmm. So you, he, yeah, he's waving you into the room. Are you guys going to go into the room? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, I walk um, in. Yeah, I'm going to go into the room. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, you guys what, walk into I the get? room and there's four... Uh, four guys standing in there. The, uh, they have pretty nice suits. Uh, one of them has a really nice suit. The rest just have semi-decent suits. They're not like ugly as hell, but they're not super fancy. And uh, the guy, he he's a bigger man sitting behind a desk. The other three are standing up on each side. And he says, ah, hey, come in, come in. I'm Big Tony. Oh, Lord. Oh god. And he's hey, gonna Mr. Tony, you want some pasta? He, Get him out of here. He motions for you guys to sit down in the the five chairs laid out right in front of the desk. Cobalt's gonna nod to Big Tony and sit sit in one of the seats. I'm gonna oh, stand behind you. one of the, the seats leaning on my swagger stack. Thank you. You have a beautiful house. <laughs> well well down. thank you. That's much appreciated. Okay, go ahead and roll a perception. If you would like, you don't have to. All of us? Whoever okay. wants to. Okay. Uh, I Actually, I that visual perception, yeah? Oh. You, you guys notice that beneath the uh, suit coat, there's, to Big Tony's actually wearing like a Hawaiian shirt under it. <laughs> <laughs> Classy. Are we dealing with Mr. Um, Sunshine in disguise? All these guys have like very slicked back hair, uh, sides kind of shaved. Uh, they look like basically your fifties, sixties gangsters. Place uh, free. And then, uh, so he he's big Tony's like so. Uh, you guys are obviously here because I got a job for you, right? Yes, sir. Yes. That's oh, true. Just we'll someone. Seat and bank. Yes, indeed. All right, we're going to wait for next year to get back real quick. Well, in the meantime, let's just say this happened before, uh, before the whole walking into the fancy house thing to meet the not mob boss, I swear, uh, <laughs> happened. I'm going to see if Agony's probably going to ask around it, since I don't think he's run with anyone here. Like, what, what are the specialties? Also, go ahead, and, go, yeah, go ahead and go. Yeah, When you explain your specialty, also go ahead and explain what your character looks like if you'd like. Sure. Um, I'll go first, I guess. Um, Shadefoot is a dedicated B and E runner. Um, although in a total of three runs, he's done a grand total of cutting a lock off a door. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Uh, what was what was going on? At the moment, <laughs> oh, they're just explaining their roles and what their characters. Bug spirits. Like. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, Chaffin's dedicated to runner. Um, he, whenever he's in, um, well, aside from when he's actually on a run wearing a chameleon suit or something, 
he'll be wearing a boa coat with a, a boa suit with argumentum coat um, and a top hat. Um, although you, it, you can, he's rather bland in uh, all other appearance, so you don't really remember much. Um, and whenever he's well, whenever he's at a meet, he'll stand talk, uh, leaning on a swagger stick. <laughs> because why not? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, since I asked the question, I guess I'll go next in line. Agony's going to say, "Well, my name's Agony. If you don't know my rep, then I'm the guy with the mono whip in his finger who likes to slice people in half. I'm good at killing people. I'm good at making it quiet. I'm good at making it messy. But long story short, I'm good at getting to people, killing them, extracting them." What have you? He's a very right. curt individual. How about you? The people he doesn't uh, know. How about Jules over there? Are, are we doing this all over DNI? Are we introducing ourselves to the the mob boss here? Uh, um, I'm assuming you guys this just did this before uh, before you. Yeah, this is house. just explaining yourself. Oh, okay, just just making sure. Um, yeah, Jules is. Uh, He's got the, the, the basic uh, Wild West uh, meets street kind of attire going. He's got a, a heavy duster over an uh, armor vest and a old ratty uh, leather cowboy hat on that's holding back some uh, slicked uh, black hair. Human, uh, about average height. Um, yeah, he's uh, uh, adept, good at getting in and out prefers not to kill if he doesn't have to but uh you know sometimes you got it to get the job done all right how about you nick all right uh yeah one thing that is going to stand out is when everyone looks at cobalt to introduce herself um she actually holds up a finger reaches into her bag and pulls out a piece of smart paper um she points to her neck at which you can see numerous scars across her neck. Um, and after a moment, words appear on the smart paper. Uh, she's interfacing it with it wirelessly. Um, she's a mute. Yes, she is. She explains, I, I can't speak, but if you get hurt, you're going to want me here. Um, she's basically a... Really well. But... Uh, Another thing you notice is all four of her limbs are cybernetically replaced. None of them are hidden. They're definitely complete cybernetics. She explained. Oh, hey, twinsy, mine are too. <laughs> she did this herself. Um, she loves everything about cybernetics. That's her forte. And she. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to explain, but I actually forgot. <laughs> uh, but ba basically, her introduction is explaining that she's mute. She won't be able to talk much, obviously. <laughs> but um, she'll be there when you need her. And if she has time, she can use the whole image chat thing. Yes, um, she she tends to use her uh, smart link to image chat if you have contacts in. Uh, and you know, obviously, if you're linking with her, she'll uh, she'll just use that to to talk directly to your like to let you see what she's saying. Uh -huh. Okay, and then how about gentlemen? What's your your specialty? Uh, well, my specialty is finding things out. Um, I've got quite a lot of detection magic that helps me support that, and I use guidance spirits a lot for divinations and other interesting activities um, also quite a good general purpose mage I can hold my own in a fight with magic Invisib invisibility heal spell okay alright uh, so now that we oh is that everything or uh, there was one thing I don't know if cobalt has I assume you have a med kit but I've got a rating 6 med kit and a rating 3 um, if you're I'm, primarily I, a medica, do you need? I somehow do not have my med kit. In which case, <laughs> please take this yeah. oh, no. the end of the road. Apologies. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know how I don't have that. I know for a fact that I put it in before, but I guess when I made changes, I somehow lost it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 
Alrighty. Uh, that, that's a bit of an important, important thing there. I know. <laughs> I, I, I guess whenever I was looking back over my gear, I would just like assumed it was there. I mean, didn't really pay attention. I carry a medkit everywhere, and I've got a medkit in my car, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so as, as you guys... As Big Tony introduces himself, he points at each guy one at a time. He says, These are my most trusted advisors. Right here we got uh, Jimmy Fontaine. That's Louis Vagudi and Giovanni Amoda. Treat them like you treat me, with lots of respect. And then, uh, so what we got here is I need you, I need you gentlemen to solve a case for me that I don't think the KE will really be able to figure out, if you know what I mean. So one of my guys, this guy was my second in command, Luca Accardi was his name, found dead last night. And then he slides over a little newspaper type deal. I I don't know whatever the newspaper is in in Shadowrun now. Prince is probably an long arrow. dead by now, so he's. I'm yeah, guessing his DNA. Some kind of arrow or complex. something. Anyways, it has a picture of a a dead guy on it. It's it's kind of hard to tell. There's like police tape and shit all around. Uh. Yeah, blah blah blah. This man was killed at the Tacoma Bay last night, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And he, uh, then Big Tony says, "So if you guys are able to find out who killed him and why, and bring them to me, I'll pay each of you eight k. Does that sound uh, fair to you guys? I think it sounds pretty good." So, who's the face? Yeah, I was going to say, out of character, I have, like, no face abilities whatsoever. Mm. Uh, I can I have like, a nice on negotiation. <sighs> Tends to be a toss-up. <laughs> really nice. um, I have nine was. on negotiation. Well, hold on. I, I, I interrupt. Like, well, hold on here, uh, sir, with all due respect, before we start uh, discussing price. Um, I'd like to know a little more information about... Uh, your man Luca, Mr. Accardi, and uh, you know know exactly you know what's going on that we we may be running into uh, while we're investigating this. How, is there any risk of us coming in danger ourselves? I mean, what what was your man into that you can tell us? Well, uh... I'm sure you. You're dealing with people with total discretion here. Nothing will leave this room from us. And he looks at you real close. He kind of like squints one eye towards you guys. Total discretion. Nothing leaves this room. We're professionals, well, sir. Naturally. You have my word. We get paid Well, if you that. haven't told yet, obviously uh, we are part of the uh, Italian mob. The, uh, I make a roll to feign surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that too. I was thinking Cobalt just looks shocked. We're, we're part of the Gianelli family. Uh, I was hoping you were going to say that we're we're the Seattle branch of the Yakuza. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah, we get, you see, <laughs> Arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, got the wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you want to go ahead and roll to not or to look surprised, go ahead. <laughs> roll performance. Do it. Um, Jules just nods. <laughs> um, Agony's just Shade never looks head surprised, head. so <laughs> it's hard to tell what he is. Okay, yeah, you definitely look surprised. Didn't want to jump to conclusions, but. And then, uh, so he's like, so yeah, that's that's really all the info we know. They, the, uh, one of my, he puts up quotation marks in the air, contacts in the KE, you know, sent me this info a little bit ahead of the newspapers. Other than that, we don't know much except he's dead, found at the Tacoma docks. So you don't 
You don't think it's any of the other syndicates? No active we are complications? Honestly, ever since the Yakuza took over the uh, the Bay of Tacoma, you know, there's been a lot of fighting going on, but I'm not really sure what it could be. Then I suppose where you're meant to find out. That's why I hired you, so uh, get out there and do your jobs. Well, Agony is going to pipe up a second and say, wait, wait, wait a second. Who are his friends? Who are his known enemies? Need to know Luca, his let's, let's just... The mob keeps it really tight. Luca was my main man. These guys here were Luca's associates. We were all good friends. You know, uh, other than other people outside the mob, I'm not too sure. How long ago was this? Do you know? Uh, how long ago was what? How long ago was he killed? Do you know? They found his body last night. So probably sometime in the night or yesterday. Right. Uh, was it in the Was it in the water? You're gonna have to go there to find out, and we really don't know much. Right. Do you happen to have? We have. Sorry, after you. Uh, I was, do you happen to have any uh, other uh, employees or uh, men at the bay that we could talk to that might have seen something or anything? Or, or are we kind of going in completely the, in the dark The Yakuza here? own the bay. Uh, we don't got any men over there at the moment. It's, it's contested territory, if you know what I mean. Gotcha. Uh, does Kay currently have the body? Uh, from what I know, they are still at the crime scene, figuring, try, trying to figure this out. Okay, will your contact there be able to get his access to the scene? Probably not. I don't really trust the guy. He's kind of... People like that we call rats in this business. I understand completely. Oh, there are other ways we can get access to the scene. There's always a few ways. Hmm. So, so you got the information from like a Matrix-based newspaper, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, does it have a byline? We lost someone. Does it have what? Sorry. Does does the article have a byline? I'm gonna have to ask you what the hell's a byline because I don't read newspapers. By Bob Johnson. This article by Bob oh, Johnson. It's, it's um, where the author claims his or her work. His, her, theirs. Or is it an anonymous um, entry? Uh, it doesn't. Sorry, it doesn't appear to have anything socks. there. So. Okay, so it's just it's just oh. clickbait material, basically. Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Uh, over DNI, I think we've got as much as we're going to get here. Does anybody else have any other questions before we go? Actually, I'm going to DNI. Maybe we can talk to his to talk to the guards, figure out what he liked to do in his spare time, figure out points of contact for someone who might want to kill him. Uh, Luca didn't have guards. Well, I mean the guards in the room. Oh, cause, these are my trusted advisors. These aren't my guards. These are my loyal guys. Uh, that's what I'm okay. Ask away. Yeah. I'm denying this so he can't hear it. But basically, like, I'm, I'm saying these guys in the room, like, it might be good to ask them a few questions about what Luke likes to do. Because maybe he met someone in a club, or, I don't know, maybe... He stiffed a prostitute, figuratively, not literally. Well, okay, literally, then figuratively. And then she got pissed Focus. and cut his face off. I don't know. <laughs> like, if, if we can find out what he liked to do in his spare time, we might figure out, you know... I mean, go ahead. They're right how... here. Ask them the questions. I don't mind. Do what you gotta do. Just don't be too insulting. 
<clears throat> okay, well, since apparently I was saying that out loud and not DNI. Uh, oh, were you DNIing that? I'm sorry. Yeah, said I, that. I was DNIing that to the team. I lied. I lied. Tony didn't say that. Him. He's a mind okay. reader. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's a mind reader. <laughs> oh my god. Bug spirits. Bug spirits. Okay, so that's what I'm saying to everyone else over DNI. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it'd be a good idea over DNI, of course. I think it would be a good idea to find out more about uh, uh, what Luca did in his spare time, where he hung out, uh, find out, you know, exactly who he's been associating with, if possible. Agreed. Let's ask. Over DNI. Okay. So, uh, so uh, people with face skills. <laughs> I got none. Cobalt doesn't have face skills because Cobalt doesn't talk. <laughs> uh, would is, would yeah. etiquette she be a good one scalp. for this? Etiquette can work, yes. Because we're not trying to con them or anything. It's just generally want to know about things. So. Should I roll etiquette to see? Just get a general picture of his life. Uh, yeah. Question. First, what's, you might want to ask the question. Okay. Yeah. For future reference, everything you guys are gonna ask. Make sure to ask it, like, in the thing. Roleplay everything out. I'm trying to make this very roleplay happy. Okay. Yeah, got it. So, um, I'm sorry. Did, they, did I miss your name, so did you... Uh, you talking to... Uh, you've been introduced to, to the other gentleman. I... Uh, and the answer, uh, yeah, you, you just said our names. I'm, uh, the guy looks at you, I'm Giovanni Amoto. And then the guy's, the next guy says, I'm Louis, Louis Vagudi. And then the last guy's Jimmy nice Fontaine. Nice to meet you, Larry. Nice to meet you. May I call you Jimmy? You can call me Fontaine. <laughs> Mr. Fontaine. Um, could you tell me something about how Johnny sp no sorry not Johnny uh, how Luca spent his time um, clubs I realize it could be a rather touchy subject based as he's passed away but it really could help us all I know is I'm that to get lately Luca's been uh... sorry just a quick um, thing can I roll smell perception to keep an eye on whether um, they're uh, it's, they're sweating it is, or something increases just as a sign that they'd be lying like when the, if their sweating increases and such yeah go ahead yeah bunch of sweaty Italian mobsters it's gonna be smelling great ouch <laughs> uh, sounds like you guys are in a great place right now <laughs> you can tell they all had garlic recently all right. Um, so yeah, Jimmy Fontaine's just being like, uh, we know we know Luca. He's been uh, becoming a little bit more distant than usual. You know, we figure it's just as he's getting up there in age. He's about fifty, fifty-nine now. Uh, what? Was. Yeah, what was 59? Why well, you gotta remind me. Other than that, he was a good man. He was a good guy. But, did uh, he... Yep, did go he, ahead. Did he, did he still... I don't know, go to clubs? Did he have a favorite restaurant? You know, I think I heard something about a side girl. Other than that, uh, I'm not too sure. A side girl, you say? Does this uh, girl have a name? He only mentioned her once, and no, uh, he didn't mention her name. I'm not sure how that's going. <coughs> not anymore, presumably. <coughs> and then he kind of gives you a look like, really? You're going to say that shit for the second time? <laughs> well, Teddy. Uh. He was just thinking it. <laughs> Dead eyes, a glorious thing, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, I believe uh, that's it, unless my uh, associates have anything else to say. Or ask. And then Big Tony's like, Alright, I'll have the um, AK and Escrow. Once the job's complete, you'll get it all. 
It's agreeable. Okay, fair. Is there any urgent time limit on this? Obviously, we're going to try and be as quick as possible, but Preferably, if you want the answer by uh, tomorrow morning, that's going to limit some options. I, I know the KE, uh, they always say the first 48 hours is the most likely time you're going to find this victim, or not the victim, the uh, culprit. The killer. So, uh, as quick as you can, there's no real time limit though, but as quick as you can. Understood. Underst understood. So over to you and I, I'm gonna just tell a team that we should, uh, we should probably be leaving. These guys don't, they have some information, but they don't seem to have what we'll need. We're gonna need to figure out what his daily schedule was, especially on the day he was killed. Uh, we might need to see his body to see when he was killed exactly to try to determine a time of death or maybe there's already been a, a autopsy that has determined it so we'll have to go by the local corpse grinder yeah let's, let's go okay right. thank you very much for your time and and for the job um, i would again give my condolences for your loss much appreciated um, wow we we will be going and hopefully find you an answer quickly. Uh, Sounds what, good. I'll see you guys later. Uh, well, one last thing. Uh, sorry, my mic's been muted for I have no idea how long now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't figure out why nobody was uh, acknowledging my existence. Um, but uh, one last thing. Uh, uh, what exactly did uh, Luca do for the family? What What was his his job? His day to day to the public. Uh, you know, he, he kept uh, kept up on finances, names of people, uh, friends, enemies, things like that. A lot of paperwork. He was, was the a accountant book. slash secretary. He was a bookie. Uh, all right. So, um, can we get uh, the address to his office so we can go check things out over there? Make sure. Uh, just see if there's anything uh, that we can One see more there. Thing. Was he doing anything in particular for the family the night in question that he disappeared or died? Not, not that I know of, no. Thank you. Um, also, the last time I seen Luca's keys was on Luca, so, you know, you might have to snatch it. It'll be in the morgue. Uh, yeah. Out of character. Did we uh, get the address, though? Uh, for the uh, his office. Uh, he worked out of his home. Oh, okay. So, all right, but we've got that address at least then. Okay. Yeah, you got the he. Okay. Sorry, just making sure. You asked for it. <laughs> all right. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll uh, have uh, your information as uh, quickly as we can. As all right, as and also nice before you go, he sends you the details to the crime scene. To like the uh, address to where the crime scene was and all that stuff. I think we can still negotiate a little bit because we wanted to get the facts straight first so that we knew what we were getting into. Yeah, we asked about information and then we never actually did settle on a price. We <laughs> we were like, oh yeah, we should go, and then we were like, oh yeah, we never agreed on a price. Yeah, somebody was negotiating, and then they were like, "Hey, we need to figure out what's up." And then they kind of yeah. led into legwork. So I think now would be a good time to bookend it with demanding like a new yen or something each. Yeah. But uh, I guess that'd be that'd be shade, but uh, is that seriously the highest dice pool we've got? I don't have any. I've I've got I think a total of three for my my persuasion abilities. Well, I've got seven. I could assist. An assist would be nice. Good luck. Jeez, he's he's uh, yeah. The just say something he has like a... we're operating on. Just say something uh, like we're operating on limited information, and it's gonna you know we might information expenses. So yeah, I'll go for that. Anything, um, something like that. Roll the um assist. Wait, so that's 12 dice for me. Oh, 
bless you. Mm. All right, so we're, 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 yeah, we're, we're, since we're running on a bit limited information here, this, there may be some mission expenses that need to be covered. Can this be considered into our fee, please? Uh, and was Shade Foot rolling for the negotiation? Whoops. Yeah, that's what that's my twelve d sixes. And he looks at you for a second. He's like, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, you know, Luca was our, like you said, bookkeeper, and uh, he passed away. We're not. To up kept on our uh, <clears throat> in-house finances. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. If you need anything, uh, maybe some some data cracked, uh, anything like that. We got some good deckers on our hands. So you just send the info you need, and uh, maybe I can uh, set them up. You know, help you guys out. Jules nods. This 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 is good for me. Oh, yep, that that's good with me. Yep. Alrighty, we have a deal. And then he shakes your hand, but but then he like ushers you to finally leave now. Like, okay, I gotta do <laughs> get the hell out. Get the hell out. Yeah. <laughs> he just got a business to like order. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, we are on the street okay, now. Okay, we'll do an inventory. Once we're on the street, uh, Agony's gonna play, but it's okay. First things first, let's do an inventory on all the resources we have at our disposal. We know the crime scene, we have the address to his house, we know he worked from home, we know he had a side girl. Uh, um, Correction, we know where he was found. We don't know the crime scene. If it was anything true. to do yeah. with water, it could be a sizable distance between where he was found and where he was killed. Uh, I deleted I get, the pictures, so if you guys want to like write down notes and stuff, you can. If I can get to the place that he was killed, there may, there may be some traces we can actually hunt his killer. That's not going to be easy, though, if, if he was actually dumped into the water. Yeah. So, so I think... I think well, the condition we'll, of the body should make that pretty obvious fairly quickly. Yes, I, I think the first stop... Well, we can get into his home without his keys. We're not too much difficulty. But I think we should still make a visit to the morgue first. Uh, do we, I agree. Should we go to the we morgue first, or should party. we go to the crime scene first? The crime scene's not going to give us much unless he was actually killed there. I. And there's no not much point at all to go there unless he, um, if the body shows any signs that he wasn't killed there. Well, we should check just, it out anyway. We might even have, be able to find it's out. It's just, how it's just not highly, hugely important on our list. Just how yes. far how far away is the crime scene? Well, um, we were in... Um, you guys were in Tacoma at the Mafia house. Uh, it's probably going to be just a couple miles because it's the Tacoma docks where he was found. And it's not that we're short on transport or anything. Yeah, let's nip over to the crime scene. Well, it'll take a few minutes to get there. Okay. Um, so it's not like the there. body's going anywhere. The body's okay, at the so morgue. So you're going to... You're going we're to the going to the crime right scene. Now. No, the crime scene. The crime scene? Like, okay. Go to. So, it's yeah. You, you, are you guys pulling up just like right in front or what? Um, so you said it... Okay, it was at the docks, right? Yes. Was it on the docks or below the docks? On the docks. Uh, yeah, on the docks. Uh, hmm. We'll pa park, uh, you know... Not too far away, within visual of it, but not right on top of it. So okay. if somebody saw me stopping, you know, I could be going yeah. anywhere in the area. So as you yeah, well, pull up, I'll, you I'll see a, uh, I'm going to change into my technician maintenance worker disguise <laughs> and then head out. Okay. So as you guys, I'm going to change up. it to you know touristy clothes. <laughs> Nobody noticed me. I have blandness. Right. Who was the one with the private investigator license? Uh, that would be uh, me, and I'm perfectly happy in my, in my yeah. suit. 
Okay, so as you guys pull up, you see a small crowd, and there's um some tape around an area. Not really tape though, it's kind of like an AR thing. There's little poles, and then if you have AR on, you know, it's like crime tape between the poles. I'm going to find a spot where I can get some photos with the dirty great big camera that's around my neck. You know, okay. a tourist. And then you also yes. see a couple KE cars parked there with a few officers uh, still standing around and, you know, trying to keep people from walking into the crime scene. Do they look... Yeah. Do they look eager, or do they look bored that they're it, stuck It looks there? like they've been there for a, or a, a long time. Yeah, they look kind of tired. Hang on a, hang on a second, guys. I mean, while we're powwowing outside the crime scene, I'm going to ask, uh, how are we going to play this? <laughs> I think are we, we going need to try to get, are we trying to get into the crime scene itself using a private investigator's license, or are we going to just try to do a sneak and peek around the border? Well, we I have a PI, right? We have yeah, someone with a PI license. I think um, just walking up and having a, and trying to get as much information as we can out of them. I don't, I doubt they'd care if we walk up and yeah. say, "Look, we're PIs. Here's the license." I'm, I'm trying going to try and get some photos to look of anything into interesting. This. I'm going to try and get photos of anything um, notable around the area, rather than the crime scene itself. Probably okay, well, idea. I'm going to, in that case, not switch out of my um, nice suit, keep it on, and um, I'm going to, if somebody's going to go up and try to pass off the PI, I'm going to come with and assist and just say, hey, I'm a bunny hunter who's, you know, working, working the same job or we work together or, you know, whatever. Obviously more eloquently than that. Okay. So oh, as God. <laughs> I have a contact who is uh, currently a, a beat cop for the KE. Um, is there any way I could I could contact him and see what he knows about uh, this case or the, the cops who are currently standing around uh, drinking coffee and eating donuts? Uh, we'll get to that. Oh, okay. So you guys yep. are walking up to the crime scene with your getting your licenses ready, right? Actually, before we walk over, I think I'd like to summon a spirit. Um, it's got an optional power of influence, so if they actually say, if my license gets blown, I can just try an immediate. Okay. Nothing wrong here, and just please let us walk away without shooting us. Is the gentleman wo uh, wearing uh, contacts with the uh, uh, DNI link? An image link, I mean? Yes, Jules. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'm just gonna stay in the crowd and ask to share their vision. Yeah, I'm gonna. As I said, I'm staying in the crowd, taking a look at everything else oh, yeah. other than the crime scene. Don't you need to have the SimSense rig thing to share? Oh, yeah. just DNI. Yeah. Uh, uh, to some, you need some sense to share it. Yes. Um, or a camera. Oh, well, oh, in that case, actually, uh, speaking of which, I'm going to um, broadcast my cyber eyes to all of you guys so that you can see what I'm seeing. There that we works. go. <laughs> One of the reasons why I wanted to go with the uh, private all... detective license person in the first place. Yeah, I'm also <laughs> broadcasting the footage from my handheld camera as well. And an extra right. window on your DNI. <laughs> yeah, I've, 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 I'm basically sitting in the crowd just looking at these things. Yeah. Okay. Um, so who are we going to deal with first? Me exploring or them actually going into the crime scene? Um, it's up to you guys. What do you guys want to do first? Go with the, cri the crime scene people then. Okay. So as you guys walk up to the crime scene, you see two of the cops walking towards you, and one puts his hand up like, stop, you can't come any further. And then once he gets close enough to talk to you, he says, uh, this is a crime scene, boys. Can't have anyone coming in here. Ah, uh, yes, we know. That's, we've actually been called in as PIs to investigate this. Really? Oh, God! <laughs> yes. Um, want to see my PI license? I have con, so I can assist if need be. Um, if, if you call on me, I have nine con, uh, well, eleven con for fast talking. Then right. you should be doing well, this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a PI license. license away. So, all right, you got a license then? Yeah, we need see. the guy with the PI license to do the talking. Or, like, wait, wait, wait. 
Who's the person with the PI license? Uh, that would be me. Okay. You, whoever you are. Gentlemen. Um, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's my con. That's my con roll. Okay, and... I was about to say, I have ten. Um, so I, I I, I, yeah, I just gave you five successes to feed lines. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. So he asked for your ID, or your, yeah, he asked for your ID. Yeah, I <laughs> offer him the ID. It's the rating for the right. license. He looks it over. Just talk. Distract him. <laughs> you said it's rating four. Yep. All right, and he, he kind of nods, and he's like, "All right, this looks uh, this looks good. Uh, you can head on in, but uh, does this guy have a license too?" Uh, I'm afraid not. He's my assistant. I'm sorry. He's, he's gonna have to stay out here. I can't be letting anyone without a license come in. Uh, Jules is gonna. Like Jules is gonna stand back and. Uh, uh, I'm talking up the guys, uh, trying to distract them a bit so that the other guys can kind of sneak closer with uh, gentlemen. And, uh, you know, I'm like, so, uh, yeah, I hear those bastards called in Lone Star now. You know, how you guys holding up? You guys, uh, you know, doing okay? And he's trying his best to just keep a straight face and ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Can I, can I roll con to justify my um, presence with the private investigator. Go ahead. Okay. Can you need feed, line feeding? Um, if that's a teamwork action, then yeah, sure. <laughs> line feeding. I'm just, I'm just sitting back in the crowd like, say this. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like the idea. I know you're probably just typing this, but I like the idea of you just mumbling in a corner to yourself. <laughs> And, and then some, some of the person next to me looks like, why are you talking to that K guy over there? <laughs> wow, okay, two successes. Well, friends, um, I'm going to go ahead and edge that. Four to successes. Okay, well, that hits my limit, so I guess that's not bad, I guess. So what are you trying oh. to convince him? To... I'm trying to convince him that I'm that I'm useful. Go, go ahead, role play it out. Hey, play look, I'm, I'm his assistant, and, you know, like, he needs me around to... The, you, you know this. You're a cop. You know you need more than one set of eyes to examine a crime scene. Uh, he looks he back would be at very gentlemen. helpful. He's walking... And he looks I, like I you. certainly won't insist, but I could I could lose my job if I let uh, one of you guys through. And then he looks at the other guy. Um, hey, Tommy, why don't you go get us both some coffee? And so the guy looks at him and just kind of walks off to wherever coffee would be. And then he looks at you. <laughs> the magic kinda, coffee ball. He he puts his hand around you, and he kind of brings you in, and he whispers, "Tell you what, hundred new yen, you can get in." Hundred new yen? I could buy a metal link with that. Best way to deal with cops. Bribe them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sounds well, fine to me. I don't want to spend a hundred new yen, so out comes the mono whip. No, I'll spend a hundred new yen. I was gonna it's say, like, this is yeah, a, I was gonna say, wow. Dude, if, if, you, if you have like a middle lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Actually, yeah, lifestyle. if you have a high I'm lifestyle, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, a high, pretty sure a high well, lifestyle includes cop play, lives. Baby. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> that's not, I'm gonna have to say no. no that's how it works in real life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so yeah, you, you. Uh, so are you gonna pay him the hundred? What? Yes, I'll pay. Yeah, I'll, I'll pop a hundred. Well, <laughs> and then he looks at you, and he's he like. I don't know. Does a little shooty shooty gun sign uh, with his hand, and you know, like ha ha. We're buddies now, kind of thing. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then his friend comes back with a coffee. He takes a coffee for him, and then he takes the other coffee and hands it to you, and lets you pass. And then, and then his friend okay. just looks at him weird, like, "What the hell? That was my coffee." <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the coffee and smugly take a sip out of it. <laughs> How and crap is the coffee? The, the other officer is just gonna just like, like Jose Gonzalez, shake yeah. his head like. 
Asshole. <laughs> 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 I didn't know the name of the song specifically. So I was like, All right, yeah, type your perception rolls. And then they had a local name. Yep, go song. ahead. Okay, Who, so... Who's in the crime scene right now? Go ahead and roll perception. And I recognize. <laughs> uh, base perception or visual. Wait, did, did Jules make it in too, or was it just. Uh... How are, what, what are you using to detect things? Are you looking at things? If so, perception. Uh, uh, Jules, if. You wanted to yeah, get in, you have search. to search. Search is another speciality, so. I'll dish it over as well. Okay. Um. Oh, can I just. Uh, that would quick. be a is visual the... roll, by the way. Just one quick thing. Is the body actually there? Yeah, you do see the bodies laying in <laughs> where they found it. Wait, the body so hasn't still been moved. there? No, not that they know. The body is still there. <laughs> yeah. It's been there for a day? Not a, not quite a day. It's been there probably, I don't know. You'll, you'll have to find out. Damn. Okay, they're being really wow. inefficient. They really are. Well, no. no uh, what, really? Well, K.E. being inefficient? Who the fuck that? Well, out of character, uh, Tony <laughs> um, provided us a, like, a pre... Needs... A pre... Oh, Pre-press type thing. I mean, what, what he showed us hadn't hit the papers yet, I thought. He showed us a newspaper. Well, I thought it was like a, a data cue. Yeah, it, it was something he he got though from his his contact. It wasn't uh, out yet. Yeah, it was Fair before. Enough. Yeah, so you kind of probably want my nose up there. Well, I mean, at this point in time, it's probably out. But at the time of him showing you to showing it to you, it was just being released, probably. Yeah, you you sounds like you're gonna need a specialist. <laughs> Okay, you get, this is all your perception rolls, correct? And I'm the medical specialist, and I'm just back in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, I find it funny that the person who could, who has the smelling um, skill and the person who has the medical skill well, are the ones could, who are still in the could crowd. Could bribe the officer. <laughs> She'd go to jail. <laughs> she can't even talk. <laughs> She'd be like, "Can I get in?" And um, no. Like, the, no. It, It'll be the case of uh, well, Hey man, he'll seeds. be making 300 new yen today just for bribes, so <laughs> he'll be pretty damn happy. You'll be getting a feed through the. That's the, true. The I, I should be able to look so. and figure that out. I think scent doesn't travel through it, and scent will be useful at this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm looking the body over for wounds or anything. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and roll. Well, okay, so first I, I got a three on the your, perception. Your perception. Yeah. So you see the body laying there, <clears throat> uh, in just like the middle of a couple, um, couple of those big cargo, big metal cargo containers. You know, there's like a trash can off to the side, and just like <clears throat> the dock kind of sticks out, the water on each side. It's basically like your average dock. Okay. And then you said you're gonna inspect the uh, body. Yeah. Do you want me to roll perception? Go ahead again? and roll another perception. Yes. <clears throat> Actually, I'll just tell him what to do, and I'll never have to even go in there. I'll just look through his eyes. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look as well. Actually, John, uh, do that. Do you have first aid? I That's have first problem. aid at ten, I and still... I have medicine at nine. No, I mean the person I... you're talking. Yeah, to. medicine's probably gonna be the more uh, appropriate one. I still think medicine is, or first aid will be more useful in the flesh. That's probably true. That way you could actually, you know, move the body rather than telling somebody else to do it. Could just cast improved invisibility on you and you can walk in. That would work. I have. I'll go I in. I'll, I'll go talk to the cop and just be like, hey, uh, well, not talk. I oh. can't talk. But uh, I'm gonna just show him a paper. Just, it's <clears> my <throat> smart paper, which I always keep on me. Okay. Uh, and it just he says I'm with like... them. I need uh, I need in to examine the body. And then he pulls up his little notepad of smart paper, also, and he says, he writes down hundred new yen. <laughs> 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 All right, I transfer the funds over to a cred stick and hand it to him. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then he lets you pass. 
I'm also okay. going to walk up with a bit of a bored look as like, yes, another specialist, and I um, pull out a cred stick. <laughs> <laughs> just already have it going. <laughs> just hand it over and walk in. <laughs> I'm a specialist, yes. Yes, that's that's what I am. Hey, I am. None of you and have the, slapped As you guys this. walk past him, he says, I wish the goddamn coroner would get here already. <laughs> oh, I, should, I should have impersonated the coroner. No, that would have been a horrible idea. I have no con, I have no... <laughs> no uh, I, anyways. If, uh, I'd had a, I... if I'd had a better look, I could have impersonated the coroner. <laughs> what would we have done with the body? That's just a whole slew of new problems. <laughs> well, I just spent a hundred new yen that I'm not spending on dinner. So, <laughs> hey, oh. if, if, if we run over, I'll shout you. <laughs> okay, so are you going to look at the body right now? Um, yeah, Kobo? I'm, I'm going to inspect the body uh, where okay. it is. Go ahead and roll a medical test. Okay. Now, how big is the rounded off area fenced off area um, it's a pretty decent size uh, it's basically just fences off the um, entrance to the dock area the whole dock part that kind of sticks out in the water is off limits and a God little bit further out the reason I'm asking is I want to cast a spell and uh, I need to know okay. what radius to set it at because I don't want to include the crowd in it. Yeah, I'm not. Um, we can go ahead and say maybe like 30, 40 meters. Okay, I'll just set it as high as I can go then. <laughs> hmm. uh, I have one success on my medicine check. So you find that the wounds are bullet wounds. Uh, you can see that he is face down. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, one to the head and six more to the chest. Jesus. Okay. Uh, can I tell where the uh, exit wounds are? Uh, which ones are the entrance and which ones are the exit? If there are exit wounds? Uh, yeah. You can tell that the one to the back of the head was mm -hmm. an entrance wound. The ones in the chest area are exit wounds. Okay, so he was shot from the front six times, and then they they executed him. No, no, no. 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 The chest wounds are active wounds, right? So he was just shot from the back. No, the chest wounds were exit wounds. He's face down. Oh, okay. okay. So wait. Right. The, the, oh, you said the chest wounds are exit wounds? Yes, and he's face down, though. Okay, so then he was so shot in the back six back times, wounds. and then shot in the back of the head again. Okay, I'm just gonna give this to you guys. He was shot in the in the front. Oh, because the well, bullets yeah. exited. We're, we're, he's face uh, down. He was shot in the front. Yeah, we're getting confused because of semantics. Back. Yeah. Okay, so okay. chest. He Which was shot means from the front, head yeah. in the. Sh he was shot from the back. So, so he was shot on, in gonna, the face. He was executed, and then they shot him in the back. It was a crime of. It, 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 they were angry. No, no, no. He was shot in the front like six times. That's what he just no, said. No, didn't you say? Didn't you just say that the, the chest shot were exit wounds? He just said, yes, he just clarified that, that he, so they, they're, they're more like right, sad. Right. He was shot in the front of the chest. Yeah. Right, that makes more sense. The back of the head. So he was probably, he might have been hanging on by a thread, and then they finished him off. And over DNI, I'm going to explain that, you know, I, I've, exactly what we were just talking about. You know, he was, uh, he was shot in the front at least six times then uh, then they finished him off with a shot to the back of the head they didn't want him getting back up how did he fall forwards if he was shot in the front that many times he could have been dumb he was running I mean yeah if he was running forwards he that makes bullets don't have that much um, now push I, your back um, how much blood is in the area yeah do we see a splatter trail from where bullet wounds would have uh, <clears throat> hit him um, go ahead and roll me I'm some perception. perception. Okay. Keep going, but that's actually one of the things my that. spell would have shown. Oh yes. Uh, uh, did you want to cast your spell then? Yeah. Uh, 
Well, okay, I already cast it, but... You okay, so explain to me what it does exactly. Okay. okay, catalog gives an exhaustive list of all non-living items within the area. Of all um, non-what items? Sorry. Non-living. Okay. Especially objects. Okay, shit. So, uh, what do I need to roll to resist this um, or whatever? Well, um, object resistance. Um, for anything... Sorry, I'll start again. Um, object resistance tables on page 295 of Core Rulebook. Uh, Hello? Just went quiet. Yeah, yeah what the hell is that? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking through my <laughs> rulebook one second. Um, while... while no. So, depending on what it is, I'm thinking if there are hidden bullets or something like that. Any around those would be fairly low dice pool to oppose. Well, it with. I just thought that there's some real. There's a really easy way to tell if he was shot here that I can do. Gunpowder. Yeah, but hopefully spells um, don't d dissipate for days. Yeah. Like knows. Okay, so the, I'm gonna roll a couple <laughs> rolls here because there's some but we'll see, things going we'll on. We'll see what he comes. We'll see what comes up with the bullet first. And what did you roll for that? I got three uh, hits. Three hits? Okay, so you definitely see that there's a small amount of blood stains under this guy's body. Wow, that's about he wasn't it, killed though. here. He wasn't there's, killed here. There's, there's also, the from here to the trash can, there's also a half of a blood stain, kind of. It's like a smear, I guess. <clears throat> and then... He was dumped here and it wasn't by water. That's good. It's hard to trace a water dumping. Okay, you can. You also see that there's obviously a garbage can with plenty of trash inside of it. Uh, you see soda cans, uh, paper, bunch of random crap, and also some kind of weapon. Or something of that sort. Okay. And that's about it. I shall walk over to the trash can. <laughs> is it over, is it inside over the DNI? Water? I'll tell everybody else. I think there's blood just over here, and there's some kind of weapon in the ah. in the dumpster. Was the uh, is the dumpster inside the cordon? Yes, it is. Okay. I'll go over there to help. Okay, so go ahead and roll me some perception or digging through garbage rolls. Um, I've got Hang guidance on. spirit summoned. Oh. Uh, I'll ask it to use its search power to find the weapon in there and give it to me. Okay, it pulls Gloves. out. Gloves. What? You don't, want your, you don't want your fingerprints on the weapon. No, I'm using my spirit. It doesn't have fingerprints. Give it to you was the end of that statement. Ah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> I always wear gloves. So it, it comes up with... It's not exactly a weapon. It's a magazine to a weapon. It's kind of... It's it's rounded. Is it, is it um, a magazine? Like oh, a, you mean... Oh. Like a banana clip or a Tommy gun clip? Rounded head. Uh, I don't know. Does anyone have firearms? I do. Uh, Hold on. I, I can... Yep, Ugh. I have uh, eight. Okay, go ahead and roll that. Actually, I have ten for automatics. Is okay. Three, is well, three you, enough? you definitely know it's not an automatic. Uh, so you, you can you can tell that it is uh, some kind of speed loader, probably for a type of revolver such oh, as right. the ah. for scale as well. <laughs> for example, uh, the Cavalier Deputy or something similar. Can I use my um, no, my active skill pistols to to um, see if I can refine that further? 
Sure. Is that going to take a penalty? Uh, yeah, minus one. Ouch. You can tell that it was recently used. That much for you think, already. I was gonna say I think we already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> and not necessarily. Hang on. Just took, been lucky ha enough to come across the speed load as someone threw away a year ago. <laughs> Defined recently. Um, within the past twenty four hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought if it was less than that, it would be a bit worrying. All right. Um, I DNI to everybody what we've discovered. Okay. I don't know what you just said. Static. Oh. Of oh. the DNI? I don't think we really need to tell that rather greedy policeman about no, this, probably, do we? You should probably get it uh, tested for any prints, though. Anyone have that kind of uh, skill? Not exactly. I could, I could get it out for us, though. No. Then, uh, yeah, we definitely need to figure out... Uh, who use that if possible? Okay, right. who is near? Who are you guys going to continue searching the crime scene, or are you just going to go straight to that? We need, Actually, we need to, to take extensive roll photos roll. of the crime scene so that we can look at it later. Yeah. So I'm going to hand my camera over while I put the, the um, loader in a plastic bag and stick it in my skin pocket. Okay. And who's taking the pictures? Um. Does anyone have a? Uh, well, I have a um, pretty decent camera which we can use, but... Okay, go ahead and roll perception. I want to check his pockets before we go anywhere. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I need. I want to check his wallet. Um, yeah. Uh, probably I mean, can tell you exactly what's in his wallet. <laughs> okay, you check his um, wallet. There's no money. No ID. Robbed. <laughs> no ID, etc. There's nothing in his pockets. Uh, no, was that your uh, perception roll? Uh, yeah, that, that three successes. Okay, so you're taking pictures around the crime scene, right? And out of the corner of your eye, or maybe it was out of the corner of one of these pictures, you spot a smashed up comm link. I'm gonna go investigate it. Okay, it's, you know, smashed up. Just hanging on, almost falling off the, into the water, but not quite. It goes into a, uh, uh, I'm going to bag it and uh, dig an ice, um, somebody with a bit more technical knowledge to come over. Okay. Who, 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 would, that, who would that be then? <laughs> I'm just, I just sent it to the group saying, um, I've found something here. Can somebody with a bit of tech knowledge come take a look at this, please? Uh, I, I got a six in computer. <laughs> yeah, I've got a seven oh. in computer. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I, I, I'm not very... Uh, we want someone who knows about hardware. Yeah, I. I want to see if this is recoverable. Ah, oh, we we do have that decker th those deckers uh, from the mob that we could be using. Yeah, you can uh, send that to them. I think that would be a very good idea. Okay, it's going in the bag and in the skin pocket. Uh, they might actually <laughs> have someone that can print the the speed loader too. I know he only said he only mentioned deckers, but I'm sure that he wants to help us. Yes, I I've already stolen the evidence. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm, I'm leaving his wallet. I'm not stealing the wallet, by the way. I was just checking to see if it was stolen. Well, there's nothing inside it anyway. It's yeah, not like so there's nothing in there. It uh, is a fancy wallet, however. Very fancy. <clears throat> oh, man, that's... Te no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but I do, uh, you know, explain that someone stole all of his... Everything out of his wallet. It's not just, you know, it, it wasn't just a robbery. There's, it's not just the money missing. It's his ID and everything, too. So, they wanted... I don't know. I don't know what they All wanted, right. but... He was probably killed for who he was, but and that it made to look like a um, mugging by the looks of it. Probably. It definitely looks like they, uh, they led him to where he was killed. Uh, because yeah, yeah, it, he also was not... Of that. He yeah. also was not killed at that spot. Alright, I'm back. What did I miss? Actually, uh, me uh... stealing all the evidence. <laughs> okay. Stole. He stole. Take a sample of the blood. It occurs to me that he 
we were assuming he was dragged from the dumpster, but he might have actually managed to injure one of them. Uh, yeah, yep, I, I guess I'm um, take a sample of each of the different blood splats. And get a stop sample of his blood. Of course. So wait, wait. Yeah, to compare where, it to... Where are we right now? We're in the crime scene, taking lots of evidence and stealing it. Well, technically okay. we're not stealing, we're the investigators, it's our evidence now. <laughs> well, they didn't know about two of the evidence items that I found. Well, that um, gentleman also, and I found. They also they're not going to care. <laughs> they're not going to bother investigating this. <laughs> as far as oh, it's a mob kill. Oh, Who look. cares? Okay, died. That's a shame. We paid good money for this evidence. <laughs> I'll be right back. Yeah, we paid 300 new yen. It's our evidence now. <laughs> Even just so, they're not gonna, I'm not going to exactly advertise the bank that I'm taking evidence out with us. Yeah. I'll just be like, hey guys, look at this. That'd be horrible. Alright. Um, as far as I can tell, I think we've gotten everything we can get from here. We should probably. Um, should we, do, we should probably just do. Oh, yes, one last check. Has gunpowder been fired? Uh, is there gunpowder for weapons fire in the air in, in the immediate area recently? No. As it's well, oh, don't even need to roll for that. No. Nope. Right. I'm just gonna give it to you. No. Because I, I thought you already rolled for the. Uh... No, I didn't roll for that in the end because he was doing the whole scan with for the bullets thing. But I thought oh, it would be good. That, so that can't detect gunpowder. Uh, there's only can residue, it? Garrett Wood. I would see. Uh, I would think oh. it does. It can detect freaking soil and unprocessed. <laughs> like, yeah, why would it not enough. detect? <clears throat> the only limitation in it is in the catalog. It would if there's something I don't recognize, it would say unidentified item. I forgot to add. You found lots of salt water around there. You know, because you're at a freaking dock. And <laughs> oh yeah, shoot yourself. That's why I say that. <laughs> so I it, it, can't wait it, to try to it, it, it just in case something turns out important later. <laughs> So the spell bases it off your knowledge of whatever it is. Uh, if I'd recognize it. it. I don't need to be intimately familiar with it or anything. I, I, yeah, but it has to be something you know of. But um, Yeah. So if it was some new type of chemical <laughs> oh. propellant or whatever, Mommy, um, you, thing had a pointy bit. you might not identify it. Uh, that's true. Oh no, he started yeah. crying. Right. So if they used a fancy weapon that you weren't aware of how it um, fired bullets. Yeah, but... Okay, I, with I and the it. revolver <laughs> speed loader. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I get that. I was just trying to... I was just thinking well, of the yeah, that, that is how that is how it works, yeah. yeah. Interesting. That's an whereas interesting I, Whereas I can just um, smell so they can look it up on the, the net. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have to know what it is. I can just look it up. <laughs> it's great. Just need a the nose is a mass spectrometer, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, that's basically what it is. <laughs> but time traveling perception is the best. We've probably gotten uh, everything we can from here. We should uh, get our evidence. Yeah, let's uh, bail before should... the coroner turns up. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. We we well, should get our evidence to our, its respective laboratories or hands that can uh, deal with it. Um, and while we do that, we should ex uh, we should explore his home. That sounds like a plan. Um, I, I guess pilot of respective vehicles are cool. Actually, um, um, if I summon another guardian spirit, because I only have one service on that one, I could actually get it to do a divination as to who that speed loader belonged to. It'd, well, take, shit. it'd take a few hours. But might then there's no point for us to hand over the speed loader, but we can still hand over the comlink. Well, can you... Well, look, it only needs the speed loader to start the thing. Okay. Mm. Um, I'm going to have to over any sort of information. My no, point we're not handing it to is... Nice Aaron. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're just walking out with it. Yeah. <laughs> when um, he mentioned handing it over, he meant to the uh, to, to Tony, because Tony might have been able to print oh, it I for gotcha. us. I gotcha, I gotcha, I'm sorry. And his, and his, and his Decker team might be able to recover yeah, yeah. some information from the comlink. Yep, yep. Um, so let's get the comlink to um, Tony and see if he, his deckers could do anything with it. Mm -hmm. And we'll set your spirit to um, run its checks on the speed loader. 
Ooh, and nice. then Sorry, we will go and uh, check the house. Yeah, I was going to say, we don't all need to go back to Tony's. Um, oh, that's just a en route kind of thing. I could probably drop it off on the way. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. I, I've got it at the moment, so. Okay. okay. Jules agrees. Uh, so you guys contacting Big Tony then? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a call and say we found a um, beat up beat up com link on uh, at the scene of the crime. Is there any chance your boys could take a look at it to see if they can recover anything? Uh, yeah, let me let me just uh, connect you to one of these guys real quick. And he hangs up the call and connects you to one of his Decker pals. Hey, what can I do for you? Hello, uh, Tony said that you might be able to help us um, solving the m murder of this day, and we found a, co a broken comm link on the site at the scene of the crime. You think you could recover anything from it? Uh, what kind of comm link? Uh, do I need to roll perception to work out what kind yeah. of comm link it is? Just read the side of it. <laughs> it's broken! <laughs> yeah, it's a broken comm link. Yeah, look, look for the okay. HTC logo. You, you know what it's, it's like what? a, a Sony I'm gonna, I'm going to... You know. It's a Sony Emperor. <laughs> a Sony Emperor. <laughs> you, you don't really. Yeah, okay. You're good. Um, he's like, um, yeah. Do you have uh, any image linking devices I can link up to you with so I can start hacking that thing real quick? Shouldn't be too long. Some what link? Uh, can I oh, link up with your imaging? I, what? He wants uh, to connect with your what? DNI. He wants to connect uh, with your, your camera. Well, camera, yeah. Yeah. I can. I um. I'm, I'm currently on my middle leg, so couldn't I just link it through to um, like cable the two middle legs to get the two phones together? Makes sense. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll work too. Universal work data part. So. I don't. I don't want um some mob get uh dick of having access to my stuff. That would. <laughs> that's a. That's a pretty scary thought. So yeah, I'm going that'll to... work too. Just go ahead and plug them together. See, so yeah, I'll, I'll I plug the um metal link to the. Com link. Right, and then like every couple minutes you just hear out, mm-hmm, uh-huh. <laughs> and then like ten minutes later, he's like, all right, that wasn't too hard. I cracked everything. <clears throat> the, this is the only data that was salvageable. And then um, if you guys would like to... Uh, look in the handouts. There should be some stuff that will pop up. Okay. Random note. <laughs> Drop a phone tree. Take the boss out for dinner. Pick up whiskey on the way home. Um, I think we need to take a call to... Um... No, there's more. There's more. Give me a second oh, yeah. here. Yeah, looks like we need to take a call to... Tony to, uh, to ask uh, where he got taken to dinner. Because there, then we'll be looking for a liquor store in between there and the way home, and somewhere in between the, that liquor store and his home is where he, he may have been attacked. Mm -hmm. True. And we, we... Do we have a picture of the guy? Did you send that as well? Uh, yeah, look at the handouts. You should have everything now. Oh, except for one thing. Wolf whistle. There. All right, you have everything off of his phone. That just went to shade, right? What? That only went to shade. Ah, uh, right? yeah. Oh, was I the only one who got them? No, no, he he sent it all. No, I've got. Yeah, them. I fought it. I fought it. To every, I would have fought it to anyone. Everyone, yeah. Wolf we'll whistle for the girl. <laughs> hmm. So I agree. We we would want to find a liquor store between whatever restaurant they went to and his ha house. Um. And then I get. Um. I would say first visitors. Just visitors keep visiting his house anyway. Oh maybe yeah. Of out of there. Um. And you probably want me there to break in. His keys are in his pockets, huh? No. Well, we might as well all go. Yeah, at the very least, we can stay on that side, keep watch. 
All right, um, I'll go to when we get there. I assume we're there now. Okay, so you guys are going to go there? Yep. Um, I'm going to... Can I see any open windows? Or how, actually, how tall is the building? So he lives in a nice little neighborhood. It's a one-story house. It has a nice yard, white picket fence, bushes surrounding it, kind of. Uh, in front, there's a Ford America parked. Uh, uh, Ford America uh, parked out front, and other than that, it's just like your average, you know, nice oh, kind of wealthy average, family home. Average suburban house. Yeah. Um, is there? All right. Uh... Uh, before we get into that, if I send this, so uh, the spirit of now. It what can are you be working on that. Um, it's got the divination power, so it uses well, divination to ans ask questions about specific things or places or whatever. I'm sending it to find the owner of the speed loader. Uh, the table you need to look at is on page 125. I can roll it, but the GM often rolls it by himself because I get false information of a glitch, a gear, critical glitch. You said it's on uh, uh, what book? Street Grimoire? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Find the book. <laughs> I could try and describe it, but honestly, it's I can just read it. I got it here on my Kindle. There's only like 20 books. Well, the thing about having a Kindle is it's pretty organized, which is nice. Yeah, I've got I've got all all of them on my tablet. Okay, so what is the divination table? Yeah, yeah. The spirit gets to roll ten dice on that. It'll take it five hours to come back with an answer. Oops. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Okay. So five hours, correct? Yep, yeah, correct. Alrighty. Um, keep reminding me on that. I might forget, just letting so you know. So keep reminding me about that. What? What in game time is it now? It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. We get them from the sun. You can see we get okay. them more likely here and less likely on the underside of our arm. So what's going on now? I um, think we were trying to case the joint, see if there's a way in. Yeah, I was going to look for like uh, any high up open windows since they're the most likely ones to be left open. Uh, what joint? His, His house. place. Uh, I'll, oh, check house, yeah. any, I'll check if there's anyone inside first. Yeah, actually, you're looking... Car's still I can here. Look. Um, set down Wait. somewhere vaguely nearby, astrally project, and go and have a look inside the house. Okay. Uh, you notice that there's a rating three ward. Wards right, aren't a in problem. Case... I'm entirely mundane. <laughs> no, no. Oh, it's not a problem, except it stops me scouting without a Yeah, I know that. Put the ward up. And I'll block but my catalog spell as well. He, I expect he, he likely got it put up himself. Uh, if it was his, it'd gone down because he's dead. <laughs> no, no, no. Got it put up. Yeah, but... You could hire mages general, to put them up. Yeah, but if I break the ward, then Wh whoever put, whoever it, put it up know. gets a warning and generally in that sort of contract you get a phone call saying... Please go and kill the people inside my house. <laughs> and we don't have enough cash. Is there any way to get for a spirit? Oh, it just means that we're not going to be able to scout the ward. Uh, any? Actually, uh, I can try. I can just try and sleaze through it, can I? Well, anyone who's entirely mundane can go through. Mm. Okay. Oh, just anybody who's not astrally active at the minute. Yeah. Okay. Um. So it's not going to stop us going in. 
it's just it may it may trigger a, a magical alert when when somebody it, it detects someone going through, and if you attack it, it's going to set off an alarm. Or an alert. Yeah. Okay. So, so is there any way to quietly disable it so we can get in without raising the alarm? Uh, no, but I should be able to sneak through it. It's not a very high-powered ward. Can I just okay. uh, knock on the door? Anyone opposed to that? I'm not. Nope. nope. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Jules just goes up and knocks on the door. All right. Uh, so you knock in, and you do not get any answer. All right. I want. I want to peek around, see if I see anything through a window on the ground level. Nothing too sneaky. Like if anybody was looking, like they'd be like, "Oh, he's just looking to see if somebody's home." I'm not mm -hmm. like climbing the wall. Um, that, that's my job. <laughs> go ahead and roll me perception. Visual, by the way. All right. Yeah, definitely. You see, almost in every single window of the house, the blinds are closed except for one window. There's a little crack in the blinds that you can see through. And you see the house is, like, trashed, basically. That's not good. But that's all you can see from outside. So, got a trashed house and a magical ward protecting it. Does anyone huh. else sense that this might not be a safe place? <clears throat> I don't know, I doubt the person that perpetrated the crime would still be here. You know what? I'll, I... try, and, I'll try and sneak through the ward. I was going to say, I mean, you know, Tony hired us to, to investigate. I mean, and... and it's not Are like you... we're not going to be able to deal with anything we come across in a hurry. <laughs> True. So, if you roll the ward rating times two, I need one net hit to get through without alerting the ward owner. Well. Shit. <laughs> Donk. So, fortunately, I don't actually alert anyone. Unless it's is it an offensive ward, or just a basic one. It's just a basic. In which case, I'll just try it again. Okay. Ah, there we go. Uh, I'll have a look through the house. Um, does it have any living people in it? Nope. You do not see any living people. Any interesting? That... Anything interesting in the astral at all? Any other wards? Nope, not really. Okay. Uh, in which case, I'll sneak back out. Well, uh, I wanna. And I uh, let you, you know, uh, tell you to look around, uh, look through his books, see if you can find any, uh, just anything that looks uh, off guard, or maybe a phone number for uh, his girl. I, I guess we would have got that from the com link, though, huh? Uh, uh, if if you guys look at the that handouts, there's a bunch of messages. Yeah, to the go. Where was the freaking handout? I'm I'm sorry. I it's a little newspaper that says journal, top right. Uh, I'd say we're safe to break in. I just wanted. To check uh, there's nobody actually still in um, there. I was we... wondering though. I still think. Smelly, uh, smelly guy. Who, who, do you smell what? any blood? Yeah, smelly guy. <laughs> I don't remember his name. I don't remember Shadefoot. who is who. Okay, Shadefoot. Shadefoot is the cyber dogs. Okay. Um, smell any blood or gunpowder? Do I smell because, any blood or gunpowder? Because if so, then this is an active crime scene. Mm hmm. Which means we must treat it as such. You smell both. Oh. Uh, how I'm old? So glad I asked. A little older than what you smelled from the other crime scene. Okay. I guess we know where he was killed. Older. Uh, quite possibly. If it's only a little older. I mean, only, I can only smell yeah. uh, gunpowder back about four or five days. The blood is is quite a long, persistent smell. That is smell. true. We definitely uh, want to get could... in there and have a look around. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to, like, break in, because that may, um, well, I don't want to break in, because that may, you know... That would tamper the, with the crime scene. Tamper with, tamper with the evidence of somebody else breaking in. Yeah, 
Can you tell if the lock has been picked? Uh, sure, I can take a look. And I have uh, a good uh, 18 dice in locksmithing knowledge. That would help. Uh, no, the, go ahead and roll that. Uh, so that's the knowledge? Yeah. What? How do you determine active skills into knowledge? You, you can tell that the lock has not been picked. But it could have been forced, but which, you could, which we could only really tell from the other side. Uh, I'm going to take a look around the property, see if there's any open windows. Anywhere. There's, there's not. Actually, no. where, where is the property? Are we in a... Uh, should we try and break street? in? Are we in... It's, uh... It's, so it's in a nice neighborhood. Not nice, but a decent neighborhood. Oh, okay. And also, it's there's the house, and then right next to the house is a garage. I forgot to tell you guys. Oh yeah, I'll. Is the garage the presently locked? The garage is locked. Does it have an external lock or an electronic lock? It has an external. I uh, I'll double check to see if I'll make the same check to see if that's been picked. It has not. Same. Nice pull anyway. What about the back door? The back door is locked. <laughs> and I'm assuming that it hasn't been picked either. Nope. Which means whoever got to in took his keys and unlocked the door. Maybe. Or either that or he let them in. Open the door for them. Yep. Possibly. Knock, knock, knock. Um, I'd, it's, I'd say this is looking like somebody who knows him. Yes, it mm -hmm. sounds like somebody knows him. Um, and then uh, you get a phone call from Big Tony. Hey, uh, update, please. All right. Uh, actually, let's come and do this. He's the actual PI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we're making progress. We've got several leads we're working on. All right. Uh, well, uh, what are you working on now? Maybe I can help you out with something. We're currently looking at uh, his... The, uh, his property, it looks like it may have been the scene of the murder. You got any other leads? Um, yeah, we've we've identified a, a possible lead to the murder weapon. We're chasing that and down now. It's also possible that he was murdered en route home from his dinner with, I believe, you. I want to uh, DNI to the group. Uh, what about the photo of those uh, three men that we we got off the comm link from a distance? Mm, should yeah, we, good should point. we send that to I Tony? Meant, uh, Maybe he wouldn't recognize the, who they I are. I DNI to. You do realize one of Tony's texts gave us that information. He probably already has it. Yeah, he he already knows about all the stuff we've got. No, uh, no, he did not. Well, <laughs> didn't. Oh, huh. No, the decker um, just sent there to help you not give updates. <laughs> Uh, okay. That's why he's calling you and asking right now. Yeah, I said we. Yeah, as I, as I said, um, it is, it is, he it is, he um his checklist shows that he um picked up uh, he uh, he he um on the way home from his dinner with the boss. I'm assuming that's you. He picked up some whiskey and that was the end of his list. So we assume that if he his murder was somewhere between um the liquor store that he got whiskey and home or at home and looking at the scene of the house itself it appears that it is likely he was killed here I, I DNI um, asked Tony if he had dinner with him last night did you have a meal with him last night I, I did uh, around um, 9 o'clock uh, I think it was Why you, you trying to say I killed my own guy is that what no. you're trying to say I'm not. No, we, fa we, found a, we found some notes from him. I'll tell one you what. No one of the things you, on the notes uh, was take hey, the boss out for dinner. Out of respect. We were hoping you could tell us where. Out of respect for my best friend. I would like you guys to uh, check some other leads before you go breaking into the man's house, okay? I want to make sure. Fair this enough. Is... Uh, can, you, can you tell us where... He was where he took you for dinner. That way we can extrapolate his path home. Yeah, it was, it was just some uh, restaurant. He gives you 
the details it's like just some like semi fancy restaurant and uh, then also he's did you guys send him the uh the uh the, the photo. Uh, no, the photo, that's what yeah. I was about to. Do. That's what I was about to do. One more thing. Uh, this photo was found on his link, and I sent it through the uh, com. Do you know who these men are? Uh, they look like uh, yakuza, judging by the tattoos. Are you aware of any tie-ins that he had with the yakuza at the point of his death? Uh, he told me he was about something about the yakuza. You know, it was a while ago, maybe a week, two. I can't really remember many details. I was pretty busy at the time, but uh, I should have paid more attention to that, I think. Thank you for that. Is there anything else we, uh, over DNI? Is there anything else we want to check with him? Um, we could send a photo of the girl, see if he recognizes the girl. Uh, uh, maybe not for now um, we don't want to put her in danger of the uh, mob even yeah. if we're working for the mob and uh, we don't know whether she's a suspect really or not we have to talk to her first um, yes. secondly he's wanting us to move away from the place that we are assuming is the crime scene and yes, I'm not I... saying that he wants us to not discover things but I think we should definitely post someone here uh, yeah, I, I, thought. I have. I was thinking of leaving a camera tag here, or a person. A camera tag's harder to detect. Sure, but a person can tell what they're doing. I, I picked up. Uh, that's true. I, I, I assume that we've put have finished the phone call with him now. By the way, uh, well, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I was just telling you this over DNI. If we want yep. to. If we want to sit here and watch it, I can use clairvoyance to watch it from 25 meters away. That might work. I'm in trouble. Oh, I'd have used it to look inside, but I'd need to the take board. the ward down first. Mm -hmm. Keeping an eye on it sounds like a good plan. It's just I don't th I don't think leaving one of us here is going to be a good idea, especially if it gets a bit hot. I even if it's like a mm. I think I'm, I really am having some paranoid thoughts about the the boss yeah I've got a feeling that the Johnson is definitely involved in what happened yeah and asking us to not look inside what is likely the that's, murder yeah that's just really odd but wait why Either would that... Johnson hire us to investigate in the first place to show to his men that he's putting the... an honest effort forward yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, the other thing is, he may, he may, there may be something in that house he doesn't want us to discover. True. From his family businesses, yeah. it could be the murder of somebody else entirely. True. True. Um. Actually, he was a bookkeeper. I wonder if he's nervous about finding the books. That's also a possibility. So How what do are we going to do? How are we going to leave uh, uh, monitoring on the house? That's the question. A stealth tag should be fairly safe. Yeah, I think leaving a couple camera tags around would be a good idea. I'll leave a okay. tag on the front door, back door, the front garage door for the cars, and if there's any door for the uh, There's the a side door on the garage. I'll, I'll leave uh, a camera tag there as well. I'll, okay. I'll also put put a couple on the fence so that we can watch anyone turning up and hopefully get in the place. Alrighty. Yep. And then, um... So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven tags. Alright, yeah, four uh, are mine, so I'll remove them. Yep, and three of them are mine. And hopefully we can pick them up again later. So we oh, can either go to the liquor store where he might have bought, or well, where he did buy whiskey, or we could go to the bar where he was supposed to meet his girlfriend and hope she's there, or find out information what about bar? Her. the bar where they were supposed to meet. Uh, look at the journal. Yeah. Uh, I say we go to the bar. That's going to be our best. Can't bet. make it tonight. Meeting at the bar. Oh yeah. right, that makes sense. Yep. Sorry, I missed. 
Wait, where's the journal? It's the the handouts, the, the, the handout. newspaper uh, at the top of the chat. There's a newspaper icon. Click on it, and you'll see handouts. Um, and it's only a couple of blocks oh, see, from our house. Yes. And, um, we've got that, a picture, and we've got a picture of the bar in the inside. Yes. Um, okay. Does anyone have, like, a, I, I'm going to just do a quick area Seattle, see if I recognize the bar. I mean, I've been hunting bars <laughs> to find a good one, especially at Tacoma. Mm -hmm. I actually have Knowledge Bars and Clubs Seattle of nine. Go ahead and roll but, that stuff, guys. Yeah, I'll roll mine and then you, uh, uh, to assist yours. Anyone that's have six, Knowledge Yakuza, by the way? Nope. Uh, that's six bonuses to your Bars and Club one. Jesus. Could I, roll knowledge, could I roll Knowledge what? Triads? I realize it's not directly applicable, but that might include knowledge of enemies of the triad. Johnny, is that including my support? Um, no, that was I, not included your support. You can, I don't think it'll give you very much, though. Just forewarning. Well, do we just want to go off by six successes then? <laughs> yes. Well, I was I was about to suggest. Oh that. yeah, if you yeah. Uh, so you know that this is actually a popular bar for the fancy type. It's a very old-fashioned kind of bar. Uh, it's called the Dapper. I straighten my top hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you know the bar's called the Dapper, and it's called I, and it's kind of old-fashioned. I don't think I've visited this bar yet. I need to. It needs to be become a, a regular joint if the alcohol is any good. <laughs> Let's go visit. There's only one way to find out. And this also might be where he bought whiskey. Actually, does anybody object if I oh, yeah. send the picture of the Yakuza guys to my triad contact? He might recognize them. Go ahead. Any any leads we get is a good one. Um, me. Uh, with the bar, do we want to... Um, Sorry, I had a train of thought there and I've completely forgotten it. Oh yes, um, is that bar on the route home from the restaurant we uh, identified? Or on a route home? Uh, oh wait, are you talking to me? Sorry, say that one more time. Yes. Um, the bar, the, the, the dapper, yes. is it a viable place to be buying whiskey on the route home from the restaurant? Oh, most definitely. Alright, so it's likely that that was the place he bought, especially if it's the place he meets his girl. Yeah, he might have he might have uh, changed his mind at the last minute, tried to go and meet her there. Mm. So Jules... Uh... Especially if it... Alright, we... let's go g give it a visit and see what we can ask the barman, and hopefully the girl might even be there if we're lucky. Yeah. Okay, I'll shoot that picture off to my try contact now. Okay. I'll go ahead um, and roll connection plus loyalty, all that stuff. Hey, Miles. Damn. Okay. Got some, inf um, got some information. Um, I was wondering, hoping you had some information on this guys, these guys. I think the Yakuza. Uh, let me take a look real quick. And then after like a 30 second pause, he's like, yeah, actually, the guy in the middle, I don't know his name. I don't know anyone in that picture. I do know one of my guys was keeping uh, some tabs. Well, I'm not going to go into too much detail. Anyway, I know they hang out at some nightclub in Yakuza territory. Oh, brilliant. Do you know which one? Uh, one second here. Let me look through. It's been a long time, you see. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Looks like it's called uh, Club Echo. Hmm. So we've got Club two from Echo. Check out. Okay, cheers. Yeah. Oh, you want. And then he hangs up. Alright, so yeah, bar first? Or... The bar's bar probably first. closer. Well, yeah. yeah. Plus, it the gentleman in shade foot need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose one drink wouldn't kill us. Or you know, poison. Uh, toxin resistance. <laughs> Dwarves are awesome. Both of them. I'm a dwarf. Gray That's is a human. Good point. More fond of. I tend to be more fond of psych than alcohol. I do like a nice single malt. 
was the place the Yakuza guy hangs out at called the Echo? Club yes. Echo. Sorry, my wife sneezed right when you said that. What was that? Club, Club Echo. <laughs> Club Echo. Club Echo. Okay, thank you. Sorry, is there an echo in here? <laughs> echo, 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 echo. Okay, so... Alright, let's go, let's go crash this pub. Yeah, we're, we're all just walking to the bar, I guess? Yep. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Straight, straight in top hat before I walk in. Leading heavily on swagger stick. Okay, so at the door, uh... You know, a little, a little thing slides open at the door and they're like, password. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm afraid I don't have the current password, so... Is there anyone we could go, negotiate? Go ahead, go ahead and roll etiquette. Um, I'm gonna etiquette assist what? on that one. Just high-class etiquette, or posh etiquette. Oh, are you, I was gonna assist that one. Yeah, it's three successes. On that three? Go. Okay. So you kinda look around and yeah. then take your best guess and you're like... Uh, vodka martini, shake it, not stirred. And then, uh, they open the door up for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Jules looks very be fair, nice. There are two dudes Magic. in identical Berwick suits with argumentative coats. How could they not be classy? And top hats. We do fit in. <laughs> and then, um, as you enter the bar, you notice that it's kind of, uh, themed towards a speakeasy back from the early you know early days of the 1900s yeah the 20s uh, prohibition the era 20s. so weird that's it and it's it's pretty fancy though um the the actual bar area looks exactly like it does in the picture nice uh, I'm gonna do a perception check on the uh the the bar itself. Do I see either uh, any of the three gentlemen or any possible yakuza at all, or the uh, the girl on the side? No, you don't see anyone. Nice. You just see a couple random people uh, having a drink on the bar. There's a couple people in the corner of the room sitting at some tables, and then the bartender cleaning some glasses. Right, who wants to who wants to do the questioning? None of us have faces. No, we this is a like why did we not get a face? <laughs> faces and faces and deckers are in a remarkably short supply on the hub at the moment. Huh. Mm. Jules walks over to the bartender and uh sits down and uh offers a uh orders a rusty nail. Okay, he serves it up to you. I, uh, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, sorry to bother you, but me and my, uh, my friends here, we're, uh, trying to find out some information on, a, a buddy of ours who, uh, uh, turned up, well, he, he turned up dead this morning, and, uh, he was here last night. Is there, uh, anything, did, did you happen to see this gentleman? And I slapped uh, the to him. You slide what to him? Sorry. A pit picture of uh, the guy. Okay. And then he kind of stops cleaning the glass and he's like, "Well, yeah, that's that's Luca. He's a regular here." Uh, Is, I'm and I, 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 I'm gonna sit down next to you and and ask for a um, uh, a Manhattan. He serves it to you almost as soon as you ask for it. Yeah, I'm Manhattan's uh... a classic drink. Um, and Sing, you know, single Lagavulin for me, please. Alright, and he's just gonna kind of stop and give everyone their drinks and take orders real quick <laughs> before he continues. Raspberry juice. No, raspberry juice. <laughs> and then he looks at you really funny. Chocolate milk. And he's like, uh, are you sure you don't want some uh, whiskey or vodka in this, sir? I'm gonna roll up the sleeve of my suit and expose my cyber arm and say, I'm sure. Okay, and then he hands it over to you. Um... And, oh, I believe that um, he met a girl here reasonably regularly. Is there a chance we could talk to her? And I slide the photo of the girl across. And he's like, uh, 
You know, I've only seen her here a couple times. Not not lately, though. Not probably for a couple of weeks now. Mm. Where's Luca in here? Uh, oh, when is it? Did Did he buy whiskey in here last night? Oh last yeah, night, he did. Yeah. He, he uh, last night. I think he. I think he was meeting someone here last night, actually, because there was this gentleman over in the corner, just kind of sitting there, and came in, ordered his usual. Uh, they kind of stomped out probably about midnight after having a few drinks, and he bought a couple bottles of whiskey to bring with him. So this uh, shows him a picture of the Yakuza dude. I I really couldn't tell what the guy looked like. It was it's a and you can look around and you can see it's like very dim lit uh, bar. Well, you did say people that he people here like their privacy. No, mm -hmm. um, that was uh, what's his name? The the big guy. Uh, Luca. I'm sorry. Okay, I take it back. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're building up a timeline. This is good. You said he he left so about midnight then. Yeah, sometime around there. Did you happen to see if uh, anybody else uh, followed out shortly after him? Um, you know, I I really don't remember. It's you know, I don't keep track of who really leaves and goes unless they're you know important causing people. A scene. Yeah, we're well, causing a scene. Thank you for your assistance, um, but if you remember anything else, uh, give us a call on this, and I hand I pass over the code to one of my meta links. And then he looks up and says, thank you. Uh, by the way, you catch the uh, guy who killed Luca, drinks around the house. I'm, sh I'm sure I'll take you up on that offer. Jules very nice thank establishment you very you've got here. Thank you very much. It's a hidden gem, this place. Uh, thank you. Good luck, guys. Uh, w one last thing. Uh, I'm sorry, but... Uh... Do you happen to know the the name of the girl, or where we might be able to find him from that picture? Uh, find her in, from the picture. I uh, try not to ask too much questions about that kind of thing. Understand. All right, I'm done. So Club Echo then. Club Echo. You guys are hitting the Club Echo. Um, might as well. Um. Unless, I uh, we should have asked. Well, I guess we still could. Do they have surveillance of any sort? He would have. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, well, he's I mean, like, uh, he says, "No offense, sir, but does this really look like the club that would have surveillance? If you know what I mean." Every club has surveillance. Not a club, but bar. Um, no, this is a, this is the kind of club where that people. Res uh, respect their privacy. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, once we've finished our drinks, I think we can move on from here. Yeah. 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 Probably. Pay up and, uh, this is uh, this is definitely going to be covering. Like, yeah. What's the name? The of Dapper. This place? The Dapper. The, the Dapper. <laughs> I'm definitely becoming a regular here. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. Good to hear that I created an awesome bar. Yeah, I'm definitely putting it in my notes. <laughs> well, to be fair, this is the perfect bar for my character, even though, because he's been searching for bars for, ever since he arrived. It's and pretty they, good for me as well. It's, they either yeah. serve crappy drinks or aren't classy enough. Well, there you go. <laughs> And honestly, I think the name turned out perfectly for your character, too. Exactly. <laughs> we, to do it there, what, two of us are incredibly dapper. Pretty much. I straightened my top hat before I leave. Okay. All right, I don't particularly want to just walk into this Club Echo place. How about we go nearby and do a bit of recon on the outside? If it is a Yakuza um, bar, it might be a bit hairy just walking in. We out. could... Uh, hmm. Could what? And, uh, no, I don't, it's not going to really work because it's like there's not a proper contact yet.
spirit done with that uh, ha- speed loader yet? It hasn't been that yeah. long yet. Okay, so no, it's probably only, been only, a... only an hour and yeah, a half totally... around there has gone by. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I figured it would be a couple hours tops. We only had a single drink. Hmm. Yeah, and the bar was pretty close to his house, like a couple of blocks. True. Two, yeah, a couple blocks. Um, yeah, the spirit will be finished at 2 p.m. <laughs> a reference. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else besides the club, because, I mean, still feel like Break we need to talk house? to... <laughs> we could... But, uh, but uh, we, we probably should follow the Mr. J's wishes for the moment. Yeah. I was just thinking, now, we, we, we still really need to talk to his girl, I mean, just to... Yeah, but we need to find out who the hell she is first. Uh, I will be back in a minute. Alright. Yeah, the Got girl's probably a, a good one to chase up next. Maybe one for the deck as an image search. Yeah. Well, for that matter, they they might be able to find out who that is uh, in the the Yakuza picture too. Actually, they yeah. probably have more luck with the Yakuza picture because I'm assuming they keep tabs on their enemies. Oh. And they've they've been fighting. Yeah, let's hit that deck yeah, back up and true. send both photos for uh, any follow up information we might be able to get from them. Uh, who had that? Was that gentleman? Uh, no, it's just the. It's not we contact, it's the, well, I, I the mean, link from the Tony, Mafia. Yeah, Tony gave it to you, but uh, would you still have that information instead of us having to go back through Tony? What are you guys looking for? The uh, the Decker's information so we can uh, send him the photos of both uh, the side chick and the Yakuza. Yeah, you can just call the Decker back up. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. He has orders to help you guys with anything you need. Alright. Yeah, so then, yeah, call him back up and send a picture of the woman <clears throat> and the Yakuza and ask him to see if he can ID them. Found him on Facebook. <laughs> okay, so you, you call up, he answers, hey, what can I do for you guys? Hey, um, we've got a couple of pictures. I think you sent them as actually. Um, the Yakuza guys and the girlfriend. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Um, yeah. Give me a minute. I'll call you guys back in 30 minutes or so and let you know anything I got. I'm assuming that's what you want, right? Yeah, please. ID. Anything yes. else you can give us would be brilliant. All right, I'll be back in 30. He hangs up the calm. All right. So, I guess we'll... Probably... Should we wait around for... For the info before going anywhere. <laughs> Another round of drink. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I am back. Anything happen? We gave the info to the to the decker or the the pictures to the decker to see if he'll do a image search, and he said he'll take about thirty minutes and give us whatever he's got. Let's head to the club then. Yeah, I say we go stake out the club, not go in the club, but... Oh, uh, yeah, definitely don't go in. What was hmm? that? Shade? Definitely don't go in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating pizza. Actually, um, okay. load up... Load up uh, Mapsoft and find out where Club oh. Echo is. Is there anything nearby yet that would, you know, cafes... Anything else like that that's not Yakuza around? Um, but it's. Oh, go ahead. N- no one ever has. Just a thought. Soft. But if we if we do need to take a look inside, um, I might uh, I might be able to call up uh, Magpie and see if she knows anything about the place. Well, didn't somebody say that they could? Uh, did, can, well, can anybody here do clairvoyance and check out the inside? Yeah, oh. clairvoyance, clairaudience. But I'm just going to give everyone the the chance real quick. Let's take a five-minute break. You guys can stay in plane if you want, but I'm just going to take a five-minute break. Before... <laughs> All right. right. That actually sounds good. I'll be back mm. in five then. Yeah. Well, damn, I should have waited another two minutes to wander off and make my drink. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I should have wait- I should have waited a couple minutes before heading off to get pizza too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should mention, by the way, um, Cobalt may not be able to speak, but she 
she's a she is an elven girl, but she's also a very Japanese looking elven girl. She's a oh. Japanese elf. Oh, she could probably walk right into the bar or the um, club. Um, and just looking at Cobalt, like what to? I, I know you said when you were describing her that she's a medic type, but just by looking mm -hmm. at her, what can Jules also uh, assess about her? Um. Uh, she, she, she keeps herself well, uh, well groomed. She's she's wearing an Amante dress. Uh, she's she's not like wearing combat armor. She doesn't fight much. She's not a huge fighter, right? Um, but you can, if you've got any experience with it, you could probably sense that just because she's not wearing armor and stuff doesn't mean that she can't take care of herself. Uh, okay, I got you. Fair enough. She's got that capable look about her. Yeah. She yeah. she does have she does have some martial arts uh, skills as well. Yeah, just trying to learn more. To be fair, who doesn't gaming. these days? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, I don't have any martial arts skills. <laughs> I have one martial arts skill. It's monkey climb, which is amazing. Oh god. I can run up, I can run up a wall five meters before I start taking tests. Oh, that's nice. Mm. The only test yeah. is, is to detect how quickly I do it. Hmm. Yeah, I have a uh, I have Counter Strike and Called Shot Disarm. Like I said, she doesn't really like to fight, but she will. <laughs> yeah, I've got a couple of uh, knight errant uh, tactical martial arts from when I used to be KE. Yeah. Yeah. A large part of her uh, her loadout is she's she's basically specced into uh, non-lethal. She doesn't want to kill people. She will, if it comes down to it. She's got a shotgun built into her arm and a and a submachine gun built into the other one. She will. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So just out of character, who here has actually had to go into a full combat thing? I've. This is actually my first uh, runner hub game. Oh yeah. This is my fifth, and I've been in one combat situation. This is my eighth, but... Oh, sorry, no, ninth, but it's the uh, fourth with this character. Nice. Yeah, um, the thing is, you probably might know my previous character. The Bellevue Bomber. Mm, I, I, I haven't actually been around Runner Hub. Uh, I, like I said, I, I, this is my first game. Uh, I've read a couple of the games, pre or well, I've watched a couple of the streams previously, but um, not. Have you have you been on the wiki? Look at the memorial wall on the wiki. My character is the second entry. Memorial intro. wall. <laughs> blow up? Did he blow up a lot of stuff? Yeah, she. Oh, well. She blew up um part of SK. Oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> made a name for yeah. herself, did she? <laughs> she made made quite a name for herself before she blew herself up. <laughs> hey, sometimes it's the act of blowing yourself up that makes the biggest name for yourself. Oh, and I, I, I sure did quite a big one. <laughs> but yeah, I I actually um don't really expect Cobalt to live too long because I don't know if any of you t uh. Actually, I don't know if any of you have even had access to her character sheet, or had looked at I, it. I, I had looked. Okay. Um, you may have noticed that she has a corporate sin. Yes, I did notice that. Yeah. I'm not expecting her to live too long. I don't know what that's going to bring Solar on to her. Solar runs, man. Solar runs to get rid of that shit. No, I if want you're her. curious. That's, that's actually... Um, I want her background to be applicable, and I want it to follow her into games. That's, well, that's my you still can. Out. I mean, that's why if you do a solo run, you add it into the lore that somehow she got, you know, got that taken care of. She was, That still all happened, but she was able to eventually get it taken care of, you know what I mean? Yeah, there'll still yeah. be people that know her that, will you know, might still be gunning for her, but at least she doesn't have that, that sin still attached to her. Mm -hmm. I might have to do that then. 
I don't know. She seems like a neat character to me, but like you said, yeah, this is your I first run, <laughs> so you, uh, yeah, might decide you don't like her anyway. So this run on uh, on on runner up. This is actually my first fifth edition game as well, and. back when 4th edition was new. When I started on the hub, I have never played any role-playing game before. That's oh, yeah. crazy. Damn. <laughs> so you went from nothing to Shadowrun? That's like... like Awesome. I've never even smoked weed, but hey, I hear crack is amazing. Well, that's a metaphor because this game is addicting as hell, so... To be fair, though, Shadowrun is it's quite a simple mechanic. Yeah. But it can be incredibly convoluted compared to other systems. It's it's, oh, it's a it's simple a mechanic. System. You know, you just have to know all nine billion of them. Honestly, and you need to know, and you need to have like four buckets of dice. The setting, <laughs> and the background, and the lore is what you know dragged me oh, yeah. into all of it. That's got me. Shadowrun uh, is an amazing yeah. universe. Yeah, that that's always been the good bit of Shadowrun. It, it's and now for, a and now wonderful for background fighting different. against a dreadful system. <laughs> <laughs> you could actually duel a dragon. This is a thing you can do in Shadowrun. <laughs> Yeah, except you probably won't come out of that alive. Yeah, you're gonna lose. Oh, you won't. You won't survive, but you well, can do you it. You come out of it, but you come out oh, of the other end of the dragon. You oh. can. There was a there was a third end adventure that actually had the dragon as the end boss. Our GM was really sulking at the time because we one shotted it, two of us, <laughs> in the first action before it got to move. Yeah, that was a pansy oh, ass oh. dragon. It wasn't an amazing dragon, but it wasn't a wimp. <laughs> You that's, can duel dragons. That's insane. I feel uh, like that book lied to you so hard. I, <laughs> oh, um, I, I was I was really disappointed. My last campaign, um, our our troll. Well, okay. M to give uh, some context, my elf and my er, my friend's troll were the strongest two characters on the team. Obviously, the troll <laughs> makes sense. My elf, however, well. You cut out. Silence. Nix, he cut out, man. What the hell? Creepy lotus eyes. What the hell? Yeah, she um, she had she had equivalent strength to the troll, basically, and she ripped the wall off of a suburb house and slammed it onto his killer. And uh, but then the DM was sending us something and like a, another enemy. Because we were basically defending a house um, in the suburbs, and the for some reason the DM allowed the troll player to roll a dragon. Oh my god, that's a terrible. <laughs> that was it was not I I, I didn't understand because he had he'd been a great DM up up until that point. I think he had just wanted to end the campaign as quickly as possible at that yeah, point. Yeah, my question is why the hell would a dragon least... come out to a suburb to kill some fucking yeah. shadow runners? No, 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 no. Uh, the dragon was on our side. Oh my god, that's even worse. <laughs> it was. It really was. Was he a full dragon or just a drake? I, I think he was a drake that could shift into a dragon. It was. It was I, I, I don't creepy. remember the exact stuff, but it, it was not even on our level. There was no way. I, like, I, like I said, I was, I was decked out. I had a troll strength. I was. It was. It was crazy. And then this guy comes in and he's just making, he's he's looking at these enemies that are murdering us and not even caring. And I'm like, why did he? Yeah, um, we're, at least when my my last um, campaign GM decided to end the campaign, he told us and then nuked us. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's um... that was a brilliant run, though. I, I mean, it was not Bob who was my GM because um, not Bob. I knew not Bob a long time before Radar Hub. Mm -hmm. um, and he's, he'd been running this um, house campaign for a while. And he, he didn't, just didn't have time for it on top of his uh, Radar Hub runs. Yeah. So he dumps us and he, he, get, he gets Loftware to hire us. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and then dumps us to, to attack a, um, as, t as a um, research facility. <laughs> we, and then, once we actually get out, 
one of our guys betrays us. That yeah, and yeah. Kill, and and throws this massive stun ball thing at me, which detonated every grenade on my body, which was was which was an excess of thirty grenades. Oh, um, geez. I survived that. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. However, right, the pay the payload did not. <laughs> you ready to uh, start playing again? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But yes, so the, so the betrayer went back down into Azzy facility and, you know, uh, got blown up with a nuke, uh, which kind of killed me. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds explosive. Uh, no shit! Sure. <laughs> okay, so what are you guys doing at the moment? Uh, uh, we're laughing. scoping out Club Echo. Oh, juggling. Yeah. I'm juggling. <sighs> okay, so by this time I'm going to assume I'm 30 just... minutes have passed. And then what did you want to know? Oh yeah, it was about the Yakuza guys. If if they have any uh, identity on these these two people, uh, well, four people, I guess. I don't really see the the two guys in the back of the YouTube picture. So the the girl is a small time model in like a, a entire different area. Name. What? Name. It's like Lisa or something. She she's small time. Uh. And then the Yakuza guy is also small time. He is he he deals, you know, drugs. These are our two prime suspects. Uh, um, there's also another reasonably prime suspect. Well, his own family. I, yeah, I don't, I don't think we want to uh, tell the the mob hacker Naturally. that we suspect his boss. Yeah, but no, but yeah, you, know, you I, know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Do you happen to have any, but, uh, can we, uh, over to you and I, I'm like, ask him uh, location if he knows where the, uh, the small time dealer can usually be found uh, pushing his wares. Yeah, so that's basically what I was thinking. Is keeps cutting out. I, maybe someone else should ask. I I'm having net problems. Uh, who, who's uh, who's on the phone with yes, you? Yes, uh, I have no idea. Well, to be fair, I'd already spoken with him, so he probably had my number. We'll go with that. <laughs> so he's probably on the on my metal link. Okay. Um, Rather than let somebody else's metal link get burned as well. So, so wait, what's the plan here? So we have we have the yakuza suspects, and what we're going to try to pump them for information? Well, it's just an idea. I mean, what, th that's not a definite. We're just uh, trying to gather information in case we do need to go pump them for information. Um, but I, I think right now, probably Club Echoes are. Our best bet. Um, yeah. Although, since we've now got a name for oh, Lisa, we could probably do out. some. Now that we've got a name for Lisa, we may be able to uh, do a bit more work to hunt her down. True. Let's go find Lisa. Could, yeah, I think Lisa, Lisa might be the safer probably, of two bets at the moment. Yeah, I was going to say Lisa's probably the safer option, but well, the Yakuza is probably the most. I mean, the, the Decker says. I don't really think she's going to be uh, any help, guys. I mean, it says here that the last photo shoot was yesterday, and she's been in Everett for the past week. That's almost to, a, Wait. She was supposed she, to make a meeting yeah, last night, She though. was supposed to, be to have a meeting last night. That sounds yeah, like an... Canceled. That's like a... That sounds like a... Yeah, but, but somebody else have had the wait. meeting appointment already. If you'd been somewhere else for a week, that sounds like an alibi structure. Yeah. Yeah, I'd still like to talk to her. Coach Gr uh, yeah, I think Coach nothing Coach else, and if she's but lying, the fact, better find the fact out. That she's been, the fact that she has a strong alibi, even though she was supposed to be meeting him, um, seems suspicious. She's definitely something we need to talk to, but we're here at the Yakuza site as at the moment. We might as well deal with them now. And then the dad decker's like, so, uh, you know, am I good to hang out now? I think so. Alright, yeah. one last thing, just letting you guys know. Uh, 
Everett is about a good four, three, four hour drive to Tacoma. Just letting y'all know that. So yeah, and that's the point. Up. It's still. Uh, I was just gonna mention that you're you're wanting to go into a nightclub at nine a.m. No, no, we're it's currently, a nightclub from we're the currently outside. gapping it. And then you get another call, and you it's the Decker again. Uh, hello? <laughs> yeah, I forgot to tell you one more thing. <clears throat> that guy, he uh, likes to push his stuff around this club called Club Echo. Uh, yeah, and then he hangs up again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, yes, well. Laugh. Jeez, I never would have thought of that. Yeah. I think I might send that Decker some psych. <laughs> He's clearly smoking something, but he's not really helping him. <laughs> Alright, so what time Focus, is it? You'd think, he, you'd think he would be triangulating, as a decker, you'd think he'd, you know, be triangulating every call he makes, just out of curiosity. I think so. He but clearly isn't, because we're standing outside the club. There are stupid deckers. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. <laughs> so, what time is it in game at this point? That's it's probably about ten a.m. Considering it's been well, half no, an it's, hour, it's, so it's, it's probably about eleven o'clock now. Eleven o'clock now. Okay. Okay. Is there anywhere? Near ah. Cool. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> I just thought uh, of something, but it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, is there anywhere nearby the club that we can get like outside a coffee it? or something? Um, you no. see, you, uh, does within, anyone have area knowledge first minutes. off? I have area knowledge, Seattle. Go ahead and roll it. Oh, I come on. Knowledge Hong Kong. But it's okay, that's, that's enough. Uh, also, any of you have... No, that, that's enough. Um... You realize that this club is like right on the border of Yakuza territory and just Tacoma. It's like right in the middle. That's interesting. It would be a, it would be a, a common gang meetup kind of site then. There's a bouncer outside, I'm assuming, right? Or someone There's outside? There's two bouncers outside, actually. One on each side of the door. Is there a line? 10 a.m.? My plan was to stay at least yes, 20 there, meters there away and have a look inside yeah, with clay we don't, we don't want to get inside. There is a line. You can, you, From what you see, the club is very popular. Even at 11 a.m.? Okay. Yes. That's what I was wondering. You mean they're yeah. queuing from 11 to the time it actually opens? It's open 24-7. That explains a lot. Then. <laughs> it's just a club. Hmm. Hmm. So, um, why don't we want to get inside? Because it's a Yakuza hub. So, and we're blatantly shadow runners. Oh, well, blatant. no, so. two of us are blatantly fancy. Let's say Actually, no. <laughs> you guys no. don't want to get inside. My character I'm is blatantly shadow runners. However, yes, um, the <laughs> our medic can get us. Yeah, I right, can. I, can I, can actually, I, I speak cobalt, Japanese right? uh, fluently. Cobalt, right? Yes. Sorry, I'm cobalt. trying to get names. Yeah, the cobalt. Cobalt looks Japanese and can speak Japanese because she is. Oh, um, she could speak. Yeah, she's also got four cyber limbs and may draw a little bit of attention <laughs> from Yakuza. Go ahead and roll perception. Cyber limbs. Go ahead and roll perception. Who? Oh. Uh, whoever's looking at the club. Whoever's looking at the club? Yeah, like looking at the club and people going in and stuff. You can actually tell that um, there are a few people who are cybered up or armed up that come in and out of that club. It's Cyber not... as an uncommon. Actually, astrally perceive. Is the club surround... Is it warded? The club is not warded. I'm looking for any kind of uh, surveillance or uh, any kind of guys who are also just standing around that are obviously Yakuza, just hanging you see, out outside. You, okay, go ahead and roll. Uh, I rolled a, a seven. Okay, or yeah. Do you want me to roll so again? you definitely see that one of the bouncers is super tatted up. Uh, he he definitely looks Yakuza. 
you know, there's tattoos coming out from under his shirt all the way up kind of to the bottom of his jaw, down his entire hands, all that. But the other guy, he just looks like you're, he's a, he's not even a Japanese, he's just looks Caucasian. There we go. So but wait, you can tell, you... you can tell one of them is definitely carrying. Which one? The the Yakuza looking guy. Oh, okay, yeah. I I cast clairvoyance. <laughs> okay. And so have there's a look around inside. There's actually a um, inside the club, on the second floor. There's actually a ward. Mm -hmm. um, but the rest of the club, you just, you know, you just see people partying, drinking, etc. You see some people sitting at tables in corners, looks like maybe deals are going on, things like that. So are we all, are, is the plan for everyone to go in and then one person to approach or investigate? Do, or I, do I see the guy inside? Don't we have a uh, picture Yeah, you do see the guy inside and it looks like he's making some deals. As in you know, we could folks. just we could just grab him on the way out, rather than actually having to go into the club, which would cost us. Yeah, True. I actually favour mugging him. <laughs> mugging him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's my point. Oh no, seriously, knock him. Wait until he leaves. Wait until he's alone. Knock him out. Mind pro. I always the information up to him and we want, and I then walk up to him and take his the shoulder with his my shock hand. You don't even have to. I have narcoject bolts on my crossbow. I have not DMSO narcoject as well. Okay, well, uh, those, you guys are going about this the wrong way. Yeah, I those have a monolith that I can split the damage with. It's fine. It's not lethal. Just do My point is, there's, 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 lot, there's, lot, there's, there's lots, lots of ways of we can ways. deal with them. Yeah. My but point do we is, want to make an enemy of the Yakuza? Yeah. We'll only make an enemy of them if we find them. And we find out. That's what uh, hoods are for. Or, you know. When in doubt, ballistic mask, garbage bags, or I have plastic ballistic bags. Mask, yeah. Fuck, ballistic fuck mask goes on. <laughs> so that's our plan. We're gonna mug this Yakuza guy. Apparently, this is our plan. <laughs> no, this is the plan we're discussing. <laughs> that's to say, we're we're still in the discussion phase of this plan. This is this and is eight still wearing a ballistic mask tonight. Yeah, I was gonna say this is a plan. We should probably find a better one. Uh, I think it would be a bad idea to head into that because there's going to be Yakuza everywhere. Rather oh, than I just did. a couple Yakuza. Yeah. But I say uh, we send in Cobalt, have her uh, seduce our boy, bring him out, take him someplace for, uh, you know, dinner, and then we mug him. Except for the fact that Cobalt's Oh, oh so we take him out to dinner first, that makes it okay. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's just one thing, um, Cobalt is still a mute. She can use her hands, right? That's all a guy needs. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. All the classy people just pace bath, I'm sure. I'm pretty oh. sure she's also just sitting there, just shaking her head. <laughs> yeah, I think that's not going to work. However, we still need to talk to this guy. Do we? Okay, we just let's, let's go back to the start. Our objective is... Talk to this guy and get him, get him, get some information out of him. Right? That's our starting point. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hang on. This I guy. See. This guy probably doesn't actually know much about Luca. <laughs> well, that's, that's what I was gonna say. Is all we have about this guy is a photo that he took from a dis that was taken from a distance, from a long. It yeah. It looks like Luca was actually, you know, following surveilling him. this guy. Yeah. I'm going to do a perception to see if I can see anyone else watching the club. Um, like, that are around the club? Well, yes. Because I want to see if there's anybody else doing pretty much what we're doing. Uh, no, you don't see that. That moment when ah. you just, like, use the binoculars and you're scoping a place out and you see some other person with binoculars looking right at you. <laughs> 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 I'm just thinking, because if, if he's spying on, if he took a photo from a distance, it could be he's using that person's bait, but there's still the fact that this photo was taken, which means that guy is involved somehow. Possibly, yeah. or it could just be a 
one of the many photos of him surveilling Yakuza on his routes home or something. I don't know. We don't know. Because he's, he's working for the family. Their enemy is the Yakuza. Yes, that makes him a suspect, but do we really want to uh, risk making the Yakuza an enemy of us? Ballistic mouse. Because <laughs> is uh, we can see the background in that picture could we figure out where that is looks like Yakuza Town it's it's looks like it's around uh, it's it's very uh, I don't know roll, roll me some tests here can we just get the dicker to do it <laughs> well the, 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 I don't think the uh, all you got to go on uh, is the pictures. Uh, so, would that be area knowledge? Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll do. I was going to just roll perception and see if it looks like anywhere around up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so it. you look at the picture, and then you, you're looking around, and then you realize, wait a second, that building you're standing in front of is on the corner to where you guys are parked. <laughs> Just across the street from the club. So that photo was taken as he was going into the club. It's possible. Well, if if the building is on the corner across the street from the pub, and the photo, the the, the, the people are across the street from the building, they're likely in front of the club. Yeah, and that means that the person taking the photo is likely in front of the club too. Long distance. Yeah. He could be several streets away if he's a good enough camera. That's a good point. I mean, my camera could probably do that. But that angle implies that the the club would be to their back. Okay, that the angle in the picture is not like a legitimate. The the angle is because that's what the picture was taken at. This picture actually has no relevance to the actual. Yeah. Run. Yeah. <laughs> It's just to kind of show you that they're Japanese-looking Yakuza men. Okay. Japanese-looking okay. Yakuza men. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, Japan Yakuza-looking not... Japanese men. There you go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Tag him. Sorry about that, but I couldn't let that one slide. Tag him. That would work. Tag him so we can yeah. find him later him while, we, while we go and... Um, deal with, what's her name, Lisa. That way we can see his route and we can as in, find him if we need him outside of the club. That way we can put him on hold and not lose him. Yeah, yeah that's a good plan. So, so now we're send, getting Lisa, correct? Yes, oh, well, that, uh, Lisa's the only other major leader we, we've got at the moment. Honestly, Lisa's the more, like, I, I see Lisa. Suspicious. Bit, yeah. Although... The boss does also... And also, you know, go... Also, you know, she... Uh, oh, sorry, before we leave... Town, we'll... Yeah, seriously, I'm going out. out. Yeah, Nick Ferris has got a storm over his... Today. Out of character, I feel... This is super fun. I feel like I'm watching, like, one of my favorite TV yeah. shows, like, Psych or Chastel or something. I'll type it out. <laughs> Give me just a moment. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're finding our confusion so entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good. It's, I'm, it's I'm like guessing a good it's akin now. to watching a chicken run it's around. What, it's one it. of those mysteries that you're not going to work out who done it until the the person who's done it's actually pointing a gun at you. <laughs> which, which could point, be right? about to happen as we try to plant the tag. <laughs> uh, oh yes, um, that might be a good idea. Um, and I suggest we don't take a you know a whole armada of vehicles, just pile to one or two of them. Okay, and then, so I take it you guys are waiting for him to leave the club? Or we could send um, Cobalt if, and if she wants to be sneakies. Actually, if, if we want to plant a tag on him, inside there is probably the best place. Yeah. Well, it, it could be anyone rather than just some Japanese chick that passed him in the street. Yeah, yeah but I, I actually have brushing problem. against like somebody inside a club is probably... And Tagging, more fun, more um, believable. Yeah, and if you can, like, get a couple tags and tag both security guys if they're there. Jesus. 
Okay, so I'd like am I going to be the one doing it, or should someone else do it? I'll sponsor the, uh, say, five security tags to go in. You know, backups. Okay. And as you um, guys are, like, planning this all out together, you see one of the, the Yakuza-looking bouncer kind of, like, wave someone out of the club. And then he walks towards the car and opens the door. And is it the guy we're looking for? Uh, roll perception, please. <laughs> uh, move my perception. Move, move my point of view with clairvoyance to inside oh, look. the car. Okay. So yeah, you definitely see it's this guy. Uh, he has an entire detail of guys with him. There's about three other Yakuza members. Um, uh, the so we have pretty fancy, like sports car. He gets in the passenger seat. The bouncy, the bouncer gets in the driver's seat. And the uh, three I sense other guys him while get he's outside. Before he gets in the car, while he's walking in, I sense him. So I've got his astral signature. I'm going to pull out my. Um, Aries light fire, which has stealth tag rounds in it. Oh gosh, here we go. <laughs> Do we want to, to Please tag tell the me car? Have a silencer on that. Of, of course, I have a silencer. Okay, I'm just gonna let you know. He's gonna feel being shot. Just no, like... no, the car. Oh, okay, okay. Do we want to tag uh, the car? I could just follow him in the astral. That's just also an option, but he's, he's moving, so we need shot. to. Yeah, you you getting shot. I'm talking about in the car. Um, like a target. One thing I'd like to point out: you would be pulling a gun at 11, which is midday, brightest time of the day. And yeah, but we're running out of opportunity. As you guys are talking about this, still the car starts running. Astral project. And follow him in astral, but and follow in the astral. And I'm gonna the car go and get on my motorcycle. Down the block. And just drive along behind but them. But you see someone down the block on a corner waving at the guy, or at the car, and the car stops. Uh, it, so did you say you're following him right now? Yeah, let's get in our car yeah, and was, follow yeah, him. I, was, following I, was, him I, was, I got on my motorcycle, and I was just so driving behind him, like a couple girl. cars behind him. Roll perception. All right. Oh. Well, fuck. Okay, uh, no. well, you see that they're exchanging something, but you can't tell what it is. Oh god, don't tell uh, me fluids. Jules can definitely tell that's in exchange money for, uh, you know, drugs. He's on a drug run. Alright. Do we want to buy drugs from him and take Wait, the money? Wait, who's doing the exchanging? Uh, he's Who, who's giving... Who's the one doing the buy, though? Who's buying buying who's selling? He's... he's the guy in the the Yakuza guy is selling. Do we want to flag him down and buy drugs from him? He's in the passenger <laughs> seat taking money from the guy and then handing him a, a brown bag. Uh twenty you could. It's who's got the I'm down. who's got the stealthiest stealth and then you could uh then you could tag him. Uh, I've got a good point. Uh, I've got Fifteen dice on palming, I think. You're better at palming than I am, then. Better than me. Yeah. Uh, but and the thing is, I'm bland. I'm bland. He won't remember me. No. Um, that's fine. You know, I, I can do it. Don't worry about it. I'll be okay. I've, I've got disguise, you. so... I mean, I just kind of assume that my character runs with makeup and, and disguises constantly, because he's paranoid. So I, don't worry about that. I can, could I help I can him by distracting the guy at right by by driving directly past their car and <laughs> through a light or whatever, just driving past? I mean, you can try it. Okay. I just you know, plan if, is if you, it helps. Is is your car heavily armored? It's not a car. It's a motorcycle. <laughs> Ah, so you've not got any armor okay, between you and the okay. gun wielding maniac. So, so like... all right, so so we're gonna make the deal, right? That's what's going on. Let's get this moving. We're making I'm the deal. We're doing the palm job, right? I'm gonna quietly car, uh, pull up around the corner with uh, in my shidium. Okay, uh, which is which is a dart. It looks like it's gonna go pear shaped. Very good. Um, I've, I've given I've given you a couple stealth tags. Okay, I am going to approach the car, try to flag it down in the same way that we. 
saw the other guy do it. Okay, and they're gonna slowly pull up to you, and he's he's gonna kind of look at you like, you know, you're not one of the regular customers. Like, uh, what what can I get for you? Well, I'm look, looking to score, and I yeah. hear that. Um, you looking to score. What the yak's carrying is uh, uh, the best ticket in town. So, what do you got? The question is, what do you want? Well, as you can see from my suit, I'm a man of fine tastes. I'm looking to hit some Nova Coke. And then he looks over at the driver and kind of gives like a slight smile that almost looks like a wince. And he's like, you willing to, uh, you got the money for this? Are you sure? If I didn't have the money, I wouldn't ask. ask. Alrighty. And then he kind of grabs a paper bag and he's like, alright, send me the, uh, give me the credit stick. I'm not just going to hand you a cred stick without knowing how much I need to pay you. How much is Nova Coke? Uh, let me check. Um... Nova Coke times two is what the price is because drugs are harder to get at the moment. Mm, what would I, what would I do? Yeah. So that would be 20, 20 million for the modification. So I'm going to pony up. What would I roll to help him in, uh, by the way, for, with, my, with my daring plan of probably going to get killed? <laughs> <laughs> well, first you're gonna Driving. have to, you're gonna have to enact vehicle. it and see if it even works. First off, I'm gonna have to still be pilot ground vehicle. Oh, okay. So because you're doing a driving stop. Yeah. Let's see. I don't really have a very good skill here, but you got two successes. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm just okay. trying to drive past, like, like I'm pissed off that they stopped in the middle of the road. Okay, so is the boss making the exchange? Uh, yeah, he he's gonna look at you and be like, "It's twenty new yen." But okay, so I'm twenty new yen a pop. <laughs> yeah, twenty new yen a pop. How much you want? I'm just gonna take a hit. I just need a little something. To start the day. All right, hand it over. Come on. So, I'm gonna make the exchange. Do I do? A, I'm gonna roll palming now, I guess, as I shake his hand to yeah. confirm the deal. Yep. Okay. And I'll versus um, his. I'm going to edge this because I have a bad, bad feeling. This is not something you want to fuck up. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Shit. Not bad. One, two. Alright, so you you slip it on the. Uh... Success. So oh, seven. wait, you got one success? Oh, seven. Okay. Oh, no, I got six successes. You do and then realize. Exploding six is getting another. You do realize you can put an exclamation and mark at the end of it and it'll explode them on its own. Yeah, I know. I forgot to add any exclamation point. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you slip it on, like uh, I don't know where you're trying to put it. Donkey. On the car. On his palm. Uh. No. On his palm. palm. Yeah, on him. It's a yeah. stealth tag. It's designed to not be seen. So on his sleeve. No, maybe? no. But wouldn't he feel it if I put it on his hand? Probably a sli uh, sleeve would be best. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Gonna put it on his sleeve. Let's hope he doesn't he, change his, he has a tank top on. Well, does he have a watch? Okay, in that case, I'm going to. Yeah, he, has, he does have a very fancy golden watch. The watch there you go. Idea. Okay, in that case, yeah, the, the watch. Okay. And now he rolls perception to see if he notices it. I already did that. He doesn't notice. Yes. Yay, I'm not on the Yakuza shit list. And then they drive off. And I'm hopefully not being chased down to be killed. 
No, they didn't even notice you. Once, okay. once, the, once, <laughs> now, once they're gone, once they're gone, I'm going to pull up next to you and it's like, get in. <laughs> you may want to, you know, change your disguise now. Yeah. What okay, so now we're getting in. Way, just gone. curious. What? What was your disguise? What? He just said that he was oh, just... generically wearing makeup. Oh, okay. Do you want me to use makeover to change I mean, it? Do you want me to roll? Play? No, 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 I was just wondering like, what it was. Kind of... Well, we're, we're not in any yeah, combat the, the or disguise that Agony so. usually wears is some form of makeup and a wig that rotates. He's, he's wearing a crown so People won't recognize him on the top. I ask his the makeover spell change his hair color, style, makeup. It, I would just roll for it right it's now, though, just so you have the rating for future reference. Okay. Um, but the agony is bald. Just letting you know. Okay, you have a sick wig again. Have for a weave. People who you know. I know you want to weave. Stuff. All right. Shall we <laughs> mobilize to the um? Yeah, of course. We should check the home. Oh yes, we should go past the home. Uh, see it. it the camera's triggered in anything, and um, ask if it's okay to check his place. Okay. Well, aren't you just linked to the cameras? Oh yeah, we're linked to the cameras, so we would see it from a distance. Yeah, there, nothing has happened so far that and we've seen. Unless we cut, we we say that all our other leads are dead. I doubt he's going to let us in. Hmm. Okay, are you calling him then, or do we want to? Should we go out of town for well, what, what are I don't like the idea of leaving sorry, the most likely crime scene. We've got cameras, but But I mean a camera's not gonna stop him from going in there and cleaning it up. Correct. Do we and want we'll to be four in? hours away? Do we want to break in quietly and check? Well we have the option of calling him or actually projecting over. Or both. If I actually project over I can be sensing her to see if she's lying when someone calls her. We don't know her exact location, do we? At the shirt. Uh, you can she's find a, it She's out. a model. It, yeah, she's probably doing some kind of shoot at the moment. She's a model. The media will know. Yeah, exactly. We have to ask the media there, though. We, or I guess we could call them. Or, you know, look it up on the net. On the Matrix. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> I say if possible. Wait, the don't, don't, the forget, don't forget. Don't yeah. forget. Just a friendly GM tip. You have the number for her come already. Was it recovered well, from yeah. her? So, Was it recovered from what's his name? Com. Yes, from the message oh, okay. that he had. In okay. that case, we could just call call the decker and have him trace the call, right? Yeah. I will be right. Yeah, we back. do do that. Astral project go over to it. So yeah, the call came from Everett. Some modeling studio. Okay. Um, I like the idea of somebody questioning uh, and me there in the astral just reading Aurora and seeing if she's being honest. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good idea. It means we don't and actually have to go far from the actual site of yeah. what we think is crime scene number one. Yeah, and if, okay, she so does a, if she does a runner or something, I can just follow her in the astral. Alright, so we, who's going so, to be situated at the crime scene? Who's going to go for the questioning? I think we, should, we we're calling her, so we don't need to go, move. So I yeah. think park somewhere near the crime scene. Oh, okay. Call her while... Um, yeah, it only takes me a few oh, seconds to get back to my body from astral projecting. Yeah, yeah it's magic. <laughs> yeah. So should we do this? Yeah, sounds, sounds good. Like a good idea. All right, so we're uh, who back wants to the... do the talking? Since um, um, our PI is going to be conked out. So what? What's the goal of the talking? Like, how are we? We need to find out where we'll she was, this. what she and knows, and a bit about her relationship would be useful too, and a bit about him. Well, we know practically nothing okay. about him. We need to know yeah. if she met up with him last night, if she did meet up with him, what they did or if they ran into any trouble, and uh, if she didn't meet up with him, 
what time and where was she supposed to meet up with him so we can better pinpoint exactly when he went missing. They were, su- they were supposed to meet at the depot. Yeah. We know that. But, but we should play dumb. We shouldn't... Yeah. Because yeah. if she lies, it's a bit of a iffy thing. It, or, or it could mean anything that what Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, you always got to pretend that. you have less, less information than you actually have. I had to hit the head. It's like Haggle. Actually, there's another potential for this. If it works that she's... If it sounds in the interrogation like she knows something, it might be an idea to spook her. Because I can follow her at the other pretend end. We know, uh, pretend we know exactly what, what she did or whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. or even just accuse her. We know you okay. At which point, she'll so, almost certainly hang up and back and oh yeah, We definitely should not be accusing um, her. We should just be inquiring. So we're, we're yeah, concerned, inqu- no, friend. Inqu- inquire, inquire that, but don't ask her alibi until we actually have some opinion on yeah. the matter. Well, at, yeah. the, at the very end, yeah. we make our accusation or would ask her her alibi mm-hmm. and see how she reacts. Well, yeah. <laughs> we're not going to start off with, we know you killed him. Well, obviously, <laughs> but we, we, need, we need to we know you. I know what, what you did last summer. I mean, night. I know what you did last Wednesday. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need to bleed her for as much information as we can before we actually make any decisions. So I'm so, thinking okay. this is going to be con rolls, right? Okay, so I have uh, an okay no, it, dice. Explore it'll con. probably be... I have ten dice. Not, we're just questioning her. We're not lying. Are we? Okay, that's true. Etiquette. I have eight for etiquette, so probably not that great. I have nine for etiquette. I have two. Just don't even... Well, have we have a winner. Yeah. <laughs> you can conference call. We can conference call, and you two can assist me. <laughs> if we decide and to step it up a notch, does anyone have intimidation? I have cons, so I could uh, lie to her. But, I, but intimidation is based on strength, isn't it? No, it's not. Charisma. No, it's also based on charisma. It's charisma. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, all of my charisma skills are three, by the way. Yeah, I don't have intimidation, and I would be defaulting at one. Yeah, no, no probably not. Yep, best, co- best not to try my, that. Yeah, I think go with con um, rather than threatening her. We 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 as a whole, we're pretty good at lying. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'll go and see if I can find her. You guys uh, are some if pretty I do good manage private... to find her, I'll come back private dicks <laughs> the best dick <laughs> he says <laughs> sighing forlornly <laughs> I was gonna say you're the one who chose us buddy <laughs> yeah right you made your bed no sleep it, boy <laughs> <laughs> okay you absolutely it. Project. I thought it was funny that you're like we're just gonna you know we're pretty good liars <laughs> you guys make some pretty good private dicks <laughs> Pretty good politicians too. Best politicians. <clears throat> I could run for office. I I would just have to give a. Sp- oh, I was actually yeah, thinking of making a politician Sasquatch character. We'd actually kind of <laughs> need to dispose of the current mayor as well. You know. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's continue. Right, what are you guys doing next? Back how how terrifying would it be if a runner was in office? Be epic. Almost as terrifying as a dragon. No, it will be almost it will be almost as terrifying as Molly Mayhem in office. <sighs> Depends on the focus, really. Okay, Molly but yeah, okay. I, did, I, 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 I actually project and try and find this uh, Lisa in Everett. We've got yeah, a rough idea of where she is. Info and all that. You know where she is. As the, she's not protected by wards or anything. Okay. No. Nope. No astral defenses. No. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna make we give you, call we and, give you uh, a, we give you a few seconds and then call. Touch your spirit. Okay. Um, hello. This is uh, Lisa. Uh, you mean Mesa? Probably. Or 
we all in on this uh, phone call? Yeah. Right. Hello, uh, uh, Misa. This is uh, um, Billy uh, Mays. I'm uh, friends with... Uh, <laughs> I'm friends with Luca right. Cardi. And uh, I I'm just very concerned. Uh, okay, uh, you're friends uh, with who? I'm sorry, I missed that out of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> it's okay, Cobalt can't I actually laugh. That South Park episode. Of... Yeah, I, I was definitely Cobalt not laughing on the call. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm a good friend of Luca Cardi, and uh, uh, we we had one of our men go through his comlink this morning, and uh, we see that you were supposed to have dinner with him last night, and. Uh, we were just calling to see if, if that happened or not, because we he was supposed to be at a meeting this morning, we haven't seen him. Why would it matter if I had dinner with Luca? Oh, oh, man. As, it, as we said, the, the, he has he, he's missing. He didn't turn into, up for his meetings this morning, and we're trying to track him down. Yeah. Well, he, he canceled on me last minute. I was halfway done driving over there. Had to turn around. What did he say? What? Say? What? Are we? What's the assent say? Uh, so far, she's being pretty much honest, as far as you can tell. Uh, did he give any reason for canceling? Uh, just he had to meet one of one of his friends or someone that he knew over there. Did he happen to give a name? Somebody else that we may be able to call and not uh, inquire with? Uh, I don't remember. It's, it was like a... Uh, started with... Oh, man. It was like a G or an A or something like that. Googliani? <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> What? Um, G Giovanni Googly Gook? I, I don't remember G his name. Gianelli. <laughs> they're the part Giovanni of the, family. They're part of the, yeah, the Gianelli family is what yeah. the mafia is. Gianelli, that's it. Because it's, it's Giovanni, Louis, and Jimmy Fontaine, and Tony the Boss. Yeah, but... but Tony. Yeah, okay. When did you last see Luca? Oh, probably about maybe a week week ago, I would say. Has he been acting strange for all the flight? No, matter of fact, he's even more rambunctious, uh, you know, <laughs> in the sack than usual. Whoa! Not in character. <laughs> <laughs> I would just, I think that if that happened... Cobalt would probably just like end the call and just start laughing. Well, she can't actually laugh, but she would try. Okay, well, I w I'm going to ask. Uh, oh, you... so, so has there been good news or something lately? Like, has there been a big upturn in his life recently? Um, More money, maybe? Not that I know of. How would you describe your relationship? Uh, what do you mean? Well, is it was based it? on love, mutual respect, money? Are you friends? A little bit of everything. Hmm. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, you hang up and no. she tries calling. Obviously, her. Cobalt just ends her part of the call. I mean, uh -huh. she was listening. She just wasn't. She's like, okay, whatever. I'm, I'm done. I don't hear anything useful. Actually, that is a good question. I've got enough hits on that to detect, do a general diagnosis. Is she on drugs or no. anything like that? No. no. Do you know what uh, Luca's opinion on drugs were? Are, are you still talking to her? Yes. <sighs> you know, he, he disliked them. I I will say that much. I do know that. Uh, one time I had a friend doing the stuff in the bathroom, and he almost beat the 
of your love and crap out of the guy. Hmm. Hmm. Did he ever go on rants about um, um, his his living area being, you know, infested with drug dealers or anything like that? Did he ever complain about drugs in his area? Nope. He just if someone did it on his property, they would get a swift kick in the ass. Speaking of his property, was he a ti- tidy man or? Oh yes, you. I mean, he wasn't messy. That's for sure. I, he wasn't the cleanest of people, but he wasn't a hog, a pigsty. I really should do the blood tests that I. <laughs> what would I roll for that medicine? We'll do that after the call. Well, yeah. Um, is there anything else people want to ask her? Uh, D and I, I think we're good. I think we're uh, good. Actually, uh, one last thing. Tell, uh, tell her that he's dead. I'll be able to reach. I'll be able to well, oh. get her reaction to it if she's surprised. She should be surprised. Well, it causes an emotional Lisa, spike. Yeah. If it doesn't, then she goes up with the suspect list. Okay, Lisa, we're. That's a very sorry for, for good point. That's smart. Yeah, we're sorry for withholding this information at the start, but I'm afraid Luca is dead. He was found a few hours ago. And she's like, this is a prank, right? What kind of prank is this, assholes? Check the can we DNI paper. her the news article? Yeah, uh, we can send it over the link. This is, the, this is this morning's news. And then she looks at it and sees that nothing is signed and is like, this has to be fake, it's not signed. Wait, I thought you said that there was actual newspaper that we had. No, it was, but she doesn't see, like... Because she doesn't look at, like, shadow newspapers, you know what I mean? Like, What about all the pictures we took? She wants uh, proof. We, ha- we have one. We can... I mean... Maybe he's not dead. <laughs> I'm just thinking of. <laughs> what? Like, maybe he's not really dead after what all. Well, I'm pretty sure that I would have noticed that he wasn't Call dead. Like I guess we did see the body, didn't we? <laughs> no, we did see a body. <laughs> <laughs> Tony is actually Shyamalan. Like, everybody, everybody is just like, hmm, <laughs> is he dead? <laughs> Oh, Tony's no, never seen twist, the body. Plot twist for days. <laughs> <laughs> he just got the information from a contact and got sent pictures. You know, this bit of plastic surgery, that corpse could be anyone. Mm. But no, Tony would have to be in a... He doesn't want us going in his house. Believe, believe me, Misa, it is very real, and we're, we apologize for having to convey this information, and thank you for your assistance. And then you just hear, like, sobbing over the phone. Misa, one last thing. I, I know this is hard, and, and I'm sorry, but uh, do you happen to know if uh, Luca had any um, uh, Japanese friends that he had been associating with recently? Oh, actually, he did meet this one guy at a sushi bar. Do you happen to remember his name? I I don't. I never knew. Can we? Uh, Could you describe him for us? We'll send over. I never saw him. Oh. He no, just okay. told me he was going which, to meet. Which bar? It, it was a sushi place. Which sushi place? Somewhere in Tacoma. It was slightly near. Okay. Yeah. I'm about to say, are you going to use my Fixer's sushi bar for this? Because that would be hilarious. But no. Actually, no. I that. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, I did use your Fixer's sushi bar. It's in the proposal. Nice. It is. In oh my the god. <laughs> that is crazy. Because I, I didn't you tell me it was in Tacoma? Or was did I get that wrong? 
Um, I actually didn't specify where it was, but sure, it can be in Tacoma. Okay, we're gonna say it's in Tacoma. It's in Tacoma. Mm. Oh, come on. Well done. Okay, well, I, I don't know this, so right now I'm just kind of like, oh, so you should find Tacoma. I wonder if it's mine. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I, again, Mesa, thank you for, you for your assistance. And then she and just, you just hear more sobbing. Did he describe, the, did he describe the sushi place? Did he describe That's, it? Like a name? She, she just said it was, and then she's like, why does this matter? <laughs> She's because like, if you want justice for your fallen lovers, then you're going to need to tell us. And Otherwise, this killer is going to get away scot free. And then she's um, like, oh, I remember him saying it was the best sushi he ever had. And then my, the call just my hey, God. The call just ends. I know the place, guys. And you're all eating on the house. I say in a dramatic voice. Gentlemen, what, what did you get out of that? Uh, well, after, at the end, what was she? What was her emotional state? And um, she looked upset, but what actually was she? Uh, say that one more time. I'm sorry. Um, at the end, I'll just buy the hit. I've got enough dice for two hits. I only need one. Uh, what was her emotional state? Literally exactly how she sounded on the phone. So she it has gone she, down notably in the um, suspect list. Yeah, I think she's what she said oh. was genuine as far as I could tell. We just mortified his ex lover. Well she had to learn <laughs> somehow. Her job. Okay, so the cops will be on her doorstep at some point. Hmm. Unlikely actually. Should have probably never found out until she tried to make another date with him. Uh, you got a point yep. there. All right. Um, I guess we need to go visit some sushi. Okay. Well, I know the best sushi place in Tacoma, guys. He's probably going to just lead us to the drug dealer. Should we? Should we check in our tags? <clears throat> oh yeah. Check check the stealth tags. Check the camera tags. Blood test. Yeah. And we should probably do a blood test. Blood All test blood. on what? Blood test. Where'd you get blood? Oh, from the crime scene. The first one. The, the body. The body. Yeah, we we took samples I'm, from I'm the also body. Yeah. And okay. The blood we want, we so want do to... any of you have forensics? No, I don't think so. I have medicine. That's about it. I think you're gonna need forensics for the blood test. Is there a forensic? Forensics. What's what's yeah, for forensics? It doesn't Is exist. Under medicine. Well, I thought there was or like biology. a. But, yeah, I thought it was under bio, biology or something like that. There's biotechnology, look. biotechnology, and then there's first data medicine. I'd say it's biotech. Okay. No, bio, uh, biotech is for like the, the biotech plants. I think oh, okay. um, medicine is probably one of the better ones for that. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and roll that. They're definitely in late tights. You should get those. But we probably need the kit to do it. We need the actual facilities. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking it is, like a forensics kit or lab or something like that. Yeah, Wait, you, 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 you need the gear. You can't just look at a sample of blood and be like, yep, that's this person's blood. I can tell because of the yeah. smiley faces and stuff. So <laughs> Do I, want got, I got well, does, does my rating 6 med kit have that kind of stuff? No, the, you, need, no. You, you need a medical lab, a facility, or a, a shop yeah. at the very least. A Do we want to call it Doc? Say. Doc Roman. Mm. He might actually have that equipment. Yeah. That would probably be best if we could get a hold of the equipment. We would need it to do the test. Do we want to? Do we want to talk to him? I don't. It might. It might cost us to use the equipment, but let's, uh, mm. let's give Would it cost us an arm from a leg? <laughs> I've already paid those prices twice. Hey, ditto. <laughs> Twins easy. <again. laughs> um. Someone else should talk to him, but just let him know it would be me doing the, the thing, the, the thing with the stuff. So who is this guy? Is this a general? Doc Herman's contact? another runner. He's another runner. Oh, okay. Yeah, which? So should uh, we actually? Should we actually? Ask him? We know him. <clears throat> yeah, it, ask him over Skype. That's the only oh. way. You got to see if he's in town or not. 
MIRC, uh, or whatever it is, the IRC, he's online. All right. Oh, okay. Ask him. Okay, we can try. Ask I him got him on here. my contact, so I'll give him the answer. I'm asking him now. And of course, I guess he'll have to make the roll. Uh, it's Rogue Ranger, right? Yeah. Yeah, Rogue Ranger. How much would one of those kits cost? I mean, like... About 500 new yen for a kit. Really? That's not expensive at all. That's just the standard you're gonna, kit. No, you're going to want the severe, the fancy stuff. True. Um, I'm just wondering uh, for future reference, because I might get one. Hide it in my maintenance shed. And by hide it, I mean just have it. Because I have a workbench there. Not anything special. Yeah, tools, a kit is 500, a shop, availability A, 5,000, and the facilities, 50,000. Fuck. <laughs> facilities is a little out of my price range, but I could definitely get the, uh, the second tier if I need to for future reference. I'll remember that. No luck with Doc? I'm talking to him now. We'll corpse grinder and uh, bribe them. Anything you guys need to do while he's talking to Doc? Sorry, call died. Welcome back. <coughs> we're we missing someone else. Yeah, we're missing Agony. Agony just dropped. At least it's not just me. Oh, he's right there. He said the landlords are uh, murdering the internet again. <laughs> uh, Doc has just given me a grid guide to his clinic. All right, so you guys are heading over there. Yeah. Sure. Someone want to keep someone want to keep agony updated in the Skype chat or the uh, Rule Twenty chat, either one. Uh, we're we're heading to Linwood for this. Okay. So it's going to be about a two-hour drive, two three-hour drive. Yeah, it's probably going to be a few hours back and forth. So we're going to fast forward, and at, by this time, your spirit's going to be getting back to you. Uh, and he tells you that he found a gun. Um. It was on some people. There was about four of them all together, and that's all. That's all he knows. Right, and um, where the people? Somewhere in Tacoma. There's a whole plan to search from it. That's, that's actually pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> would he recognize? If he saw the... Actually, no, he'll, he's... Yeah, could I order him to do a search for them? So he can get an exact location. Not by divination, just the search power. Or maybe a better description? Yeah. I'm not sure how the spirits work, so... Oh, with the spirits, if they got, if they got a natural signature for... They should just be able to bimmel around and find him <clears throat> from that. Should we maybe split up and just uh, me and who was it that got the uh, the the path? What's it called? Shay. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I've run with Doc a couple of times now. You follow um, your your lead with your spirit. Yeah. Just double checking. How many so people were in the car? 
Uh, the drug dealers' car. Uh, there was five altogether. Right, so it's not them. Could be. One could have gotten out by now. Hang on, Drew. There were four Drew. people in our first mate. Just saying. Yes, there were. Yes, there were. Oh, lordy. I'm just putting it out there. Tony, please. Order the spirit to use the search power to find the gun. And give it its exact location to me. Because that's what the search power does. Okay. Uh, how long does that take usually? Because I'm assuming it's um, not just instantly. Um, checking, but it's quite quick. Do you get to shoot a mob boss? As uh, magic intuition five, ten minutes extended test. Okay, so we're just gonna say you find it, and it's in the same house you guys had the meet in. God, guys, how are we gonna get paid if our boss is the one we turn in? I don't know. <laughs> Did we just run around all day for nothing? No, I think no, we may hold have. on a second. Just because the the gun is in there, that doesn't mean that Tony knows anything about it. It could have yeah. been That's one of the true. other guys. It in could the have room. been one of the it, other guys. But why yeah, would he it, order us not to enter the house? Because he He's doesn't the want one us that to told go. Us. Well, because all of his, uh, you know, a lot of their books are in there. I mean that that's kind of the, their entire business. They're not gonna want anybody looking at those books. I mean we can go double check. I, I mean I, I have no problem breaking into the house, but uh Let's get this blood test done and then if it doesn't well no I, honestly, with knowing that, you know it probably wasn't the drug dealer. And in fact we probably know that it, it had nothing to do with them. Okay, so let's go over the facts. <clears throat> so, you're heading to Linwood for a hey, blood test. Hey, can you guys test. hear me? Hey, welcome yes, back. Yes, we can hear you. You're okay, heading to Linwood for a blood test. I'm using my phone test. right now, so I'm not in, uh, I can't go on roll 20, because I'm All right. shot. So you're heading to the Linwood Clinic for a blood test. Okay. So you know of a drug dealer that uh, the dude might have been watching. You also yeah. know Luca went to meet someone at a sushi bar. Mm -hmm. And you also know you still need to search his house. And you also know that the weapon is in the meeting house, the, the house you had the meeting in. The mob house. Yes, so these are the facts so far. Huh. Hmm. I mean, at this point, do we really even need the blood test? And how does not? Want, if, he's, if he was... His attitude doesn't match. His attitude Actually, changed. Actually, no, um, never mind. I, I, I changed my mind. We do need the blood test whether or not we still need the facilities to make sure both of those blood stains were his. Because there was the one leading to the trash can, too. Yeah. If one's... Actually, if they're different, then I'll be able to... I can get an exact diagnosis of injuries from an astral ascension. Yep. So means I could go back to the house, astrally perceive them without actually manifesting. If okay, one of them I've is just... injured, we've got a real potential there. Mm -hmm. I've just transferred the 1,000 new yen to um, Doc for the lo lo loan of his facilities. All right. Um, okay. I'll, Damn, I'm happy to split that. You should just do it himself. Yeah, we should just split uh, that any ways we can. Uh, I've, I've already paid it. Oh, yeah, I know, but we can pay you, you know, our, 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 uh, quote. That's fine. Here. I was just doing it on the fly so that we could kid there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, did he reply an answer to you yet? Yeah, he's fine. <clears throat> Do you want me to, um, copy out our message? Yeah, he replied the answer. Go ahead and let everyone else know. I haven't, I haven't done a test. you like it. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, no, he, he, was, he was just letting us use the facilities. It would still be me, and then you would just tell me. Oh, so he's not actually doing it for you? 
No, he's not doing it for us, but we he, we need the facilities. Okay. Yeah. Can't... We can't do it without the facilities because it is a blood That's test. Fine. Yeah. Can't we? Just he get has him to do it for his, us. His clinic is set up. <laughs> uh, there's going to be problems with dragging somebody else into the to roll the game. The game for one roll, yeah. So go ahead and he's and not. Go ahead he's not an official. Play. He's not an official contact either. Yeah. Okay, so I'll I'll roll medicine then. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you've got an assist from facilities, though. Okay. Well, just with that, you know that <coughs> yes, it is Luca's blood. If that's what you wanted to know. Okay, all of it was um, blood. Yeah, all of it, because I took the I took a yes, sample. Yes, both the... samples tested positive for his blood. Were okay. there any like was, drugs or something in his system? Yeah, anything in his system. That... There were just uh, alcohol level was slightly high. Whiskey. All right, so he was yeah. killed while drunk. What the bastards? Freeze. He was dr probably drinking with someone. Yes, he was. Like, we know that because we went to the depot. Yeah. Anyways. So yeah, we should probably head back. Um. He should. We should check out. I, I guess our biggest lead is we need to figure out what's in that house. Uh, there's and also. This is perfect. Go. Go ahead. Sorry. After you. No. Nope, no. Nope, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say we 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 have four suspects now. We could yeah, actually start well, yeah. trans. We could actually start trying to track where they were and see if any of them cross over. That's true. Mm. We have to be really careful about that, though. Really, really careful. What's going on? I boned out briefly to get my internet back on. Our suspects are the mobs. The the people that hired us. Um. Either yeah. either Big Pony or one of his associates, and uh, both of the blood samples were Luca's. So we have to get back in that house. That's our that's our best lead. Okay. So did I hear correctly earlier that the murder weapon was in the mafia place? Yes. Okay. Yes, you did. So it it's got to be one of the. It could be the butler. That's true. <laughs> There's or it could have been a clever plant. You know, Actually, yeah, right I, I sense the butler. Oh my god, it was quite totally well. You never got around it. Was, did, was the butler? Did he have any signs? Hello, or I... No. Was, was he awake? Plain Jane Butler. He's just totally. Butler. The butler totally did it. <laughs> if the butler actually did this, I, I, I'm done. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my, that's my career. I'll just end it with the butler did it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Yep. All right, so um, what are we going to do about this? Because we know that one of them did it. Sorry, yeah. either one of them has been framed to do it, or one of them did it. Yeah, and that's we know the I guns in that house. <gasps> the books. Why would a family betray its own member? The book. Money. The yeah, book. We yeah. need to they see those them. books. Well, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, exactly. You did that house. We need to get in that house. <laughs> there okay, really? You guys there. didn't realize that earlier? That's what I... Like, Especially I, since I, he was likely killed there. Yes. Yeah. He was killed there. Um, it was probably we, over... We were, just, we were just nervous about potentially pissing off the mob boss. Well, yeah, no, we've, no, we've no, don't no, make any accusations, but there's a motive here. No, there is no not, more... There's no more on. reason keep us out. We've exhausted every other lead. That's our last one. He has to let us in if he wants us to actually do our... He's potentially... Shot. He potentially did it. Yeah, I but... really don't want to ask him again. Yeah, well, we're not calling. Yeah. We're, we're breaking in, and I think we should probably have a little bit more protection running. You know, Luca could have been cooking the books in order to have some side money for his newfound possible drug addiction. They may have he didn't have any drugs about. in the system. He wasn't in, on drugs. I think oh, the, yeah, the whole drug dealer any. thing is that drug dealer did something and he was tr hunting him down kind of thing. The Yakuza is their enemy. Either that or he was starting his own business and that drug dealer was operating on his turf. Got it. Yeah. Because it is what right on the was, border. No, what if he was blackmailing the Yakuza guy? The thing is, you've got to. He was taking pictures of. Look, look, it's still uh, it all the points gun, to one thing. We've got to get to those fucking books. So let's have Okay, let me just yeah. let me just cover a couple things here. 
God, let me just uh, say this is fucking awesome. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is very. This is Shadowrun in a nutshell. Is, just the planning this, this phase. This is right. Forever. Mesa, Mesa said that he was extremely anti-drugs. Yeah, and that's why I don't, I don't think he would start a business. I don't think he would deal with drugs. Only in his I house. Think, no. Yeah. No, she he was anti-drugs. He had someone in her house. Yes. Just because oh, no, they were but, using her bathroom. Yeah. I think that he's extremely anti-drugs. Hmm, okay. Um, that that, I don't... I think... But you know what? Was Remember the old people. adage, never get high off your own supply. A good True. dealer is clean. And but likes to a keep good people. dealer... A good dealer also likes more customers. There's no such thing as a good dealer. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I think... Okay, we, we have think two the whole... new variables at the minute. We need to start crossing some of them off. Okay, let's now. let's go Our across leads. the list. Okay, Sorry. let's start at the top. Um, he was shot repeatedly with a, a, probably a seven or eight round revolver. Mm-hmm. Hang on. Speed loader. Either how, that or how, somebody how rounds... exhausted the cylinder and put one last one in. Good point. If it was a six round, he was shot repeatedly until it clicked dry and then executed, which means it was, a, again, a crime of hatred. They did take out the speed loader. How that many rounds were in the load enough that which means they had to load it was, it. Which means it wasn't just a crime of hatred. The, the, the final execution was cold, clinical, and you must die. Hold on a second here. Which means... Um, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Which means that... It was a very personal killer. Yeah, I mean oh, nobody. Sh- yeah, we're talking about mafia here. That's yes, how but- they execute people. It's, that could just be them, you know. Yes, but sorry, my point mate. Is, yes. You, w- but I need to make sure you- you're dead. Right now is the perfect my point time is- for me to use Bruce Kincaid as my uh, 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 contact. We we have the speed lowered clip, right? He can tell us exactly what kind of gun that goes to then we can go back to tony and say you know if any of your men have this gun on them that are in the room with him probably still if they're his boys you know that's the weapon that killed his best friend lucas luca what happens when tony pulls out that same gun and shoots you in the face um we have we definitely need more information yeah we're treading on thin (laughs) ice here guys hang on let's let's go let's go back a little bit Hang on, let's go through the information we've got slowly. <laughs> yeah. As yeah. I said, his, his actual, his, he was killed professionally and angrily. It was a... They definitely knew him, but we deduced that by the fact that his house wasn't broken into, and it sure seems to be the scene of the crime. Birthday. Do you want to order yeah. that shirt for her? Um, Mesa wasn't that there. That the one uh, that she was mm-hmm. talking about? The Yakuza dealer doesn't seem to have Australia. any relevance to his death. Um, mm-hmm. well, well, not directly. What, Do we want to get her something? Not directly. But um, um, okay. Here, yeah. okay. Can I throw out a I crazy theory a for a second? That, uh, can we can we go through with everything theory. and come up with crazy feel, um, theories afterwards? No, crazy comes first. Okay. Yeah. I like okay. the idea go of crazy for... coming first. Go ahead. Okay. Um, the did. Yakuza, you know, he he might be a red herring or... Imagine, okay, this guy works the books, right? So he's trying to keep track of all the income and all the money everybody's making. Let's say he finds a couple of withdrawals that don't make any sense. Made by, you know, somebody tried to cover them up, but, you know, they were kind of sloppy. It was made by somebody who doesn't know the books that well and is trying to do a little something on the side. He sees and none of with- he oh, sees sorry. some of the withdrawals and gets curious, and he finds out that the money might be going to this Yakuza guy from inside his organization. So all of a sudden, poor Luca's in, in on a traitor, and then the traitor has him killed because he knows too much. That could be a connection with the Yakuza, but once again, we need to look at the books to find out. We need to find, find out more about the thought process. That's my crazy theory. Of something that could be happening. Just a quick addition so let's to not this. Discount, but Just a quick addition the, to this. We were talking to the boss. He said that none of his men knew anything about the books, or didn't well, know the books well enough to, to yeah. do the job. 
So uh, remember, that, he didn't in, uh, increase our pay because they didn't know about their in-house finance at all. So any work that they did would have been sloppy or not covered up properly at all. Mm -hmm. Or he's lying. But I mean, you know. Of course, that's a possibility. And if that's the, if that is it, then we're probably all screwed. Yeah. So let's. Let's just go with what Hold we on. have and play Hold on, I'm just writing something new at the moment. So the plan is to break into this guy's house and acquire more evidence, right? Yes, um, one thing. How far away is the house from the docks? Oh, probably five, five to seven miles. So there is no way where you would carry a body that far. So, there is a car somewhere that has blood in it. Were there cars parked outside the Mafia house? No. Can the spirit oh, track we... down where the blood uh, may also be? It can track blood, can't it? Yeah. It should be able We've to. got three we miles five of hours, though. Find other not, of I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, honest, I'm not honestly. Up. If we wanted to, if we were willing to use the spirit, then I'm not in a hurry. To I've go got to the. Um, I've got the astral signatures of all four suspects. I could literally ask it. So, did Tony do it? Did I don't know. I missed everything you did. You said. do it. I think. Uh, fair fair enough. enough. Anyone have any well, annotations that, to my timeline? Timeline. Timeline. What? Uh, I've not. I've put a timeline up on the dad, on the pad. Uh, ah. Uh, where is that? Uh, right under the suspect list. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Okay. Did he? Wait. When did he cause a fight? Um, when we were in the depot, they, the bartender told us he caught. He was causing a fight, causing a ruckus. I, it must have cut out whenever that happened. I don't remember that. Yeah, he did mention yeah. that. That was that was half the reason they left. Okay, I, I just okay. want to make sure because, I, like I said, I, I've been cutting out a lot, so there's things yeah, that I must not have caught. <laughs> okay. Um, is there any annotations that people could think of that? Um, it's a pretty good list. Um, Bob Drake met with someone, caused a fight, left at midnight. Maybe went home, found dead on the docks. Um, and I would um, just suggest this, put in you it's know. A good there's a good nine died, hours then. in the middle there that we don't know about. Yeah. Yeah, there's a good nine hours that we don't yeah. know about. Yeah, there's still a lot well, to account for, but that's a pretty good timeline. I do want to ask... Um, does anyone... I, I, I should have... Does anyone agree with my notation should... about the dinner? Yeah, um, he, he might have been... Well, I don't know if he would have been accusing the boss, but he could have. he could have been bringing it up and explaining that he had issues and it said dinner with the boss it didn't say that no one else was going to be there or yeah. the boss was in on it and that's uh, told somebody to meet him at his pub oh of course I'm not saying that that's not possible I'm just saying that uh, there's also it could have been you know that the other guys were there too the the three that were his other right hand men or whatever the, his top men they could have been there because it could have been a group meeting you know, all of them having dinner with their boss. Um, I should have asked earlier, though, a long time ago, how long was he dead when I examined him? Yeah, that's what I've kept, that's what I should I, realize. I, I, asked. I forgot. From I forgot you that, guys, but from 9 o'clock, well, his probably, estimated time of death. His estimated time of, of death is probably about 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so he died right. shortly after he left. Hang on. Two hours. Around two hours. We are some awesome so. PIs. Time of death. Four a.m. Um, I don't know. I'm just sorry. Two a.m. Killed. <laughs> <laughs> killed. <laughs> we we need to check out the house though. Um, so I guess if, when we get back to the place, uh, um, we should go check out the house. Hang on, weren't you going to go look at the uh, sushi place just to 
follow up Why? the lead about yeah. the um, Kuza. We're on our way to the sushi uh, place, right? Well, well that's what, that was what you guys were supposed to do while we went two hours away. Yeah, yeah Cobalt and I were on the other side of town. Yeah, but we never heard of that. What while, we, there. while we're doing it, we did ask about the cameras. Have they shown anything at the, on, on the Yakuza dealer or the house? Lucas's house. Has yeah. anyone turned up? Cog, wake up. Rogue Runner. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so uh, has anyone shown up on the characters. cameras we have on Lucas's house? Say that one more time, I can hear you. Has anything okay. showed up? Has Have our cameras on the house pinged at all? Or no, on the Yakuza? They have not. On the Yakuza, though, you see that he is uh, agony. Roll a memory check. Okay. Uh, never heard. Never heard. Is that all of us, or just... She likes yeah. just, just agony. The it's a memory check, only one person has the memory. <laughs> Zero <laughs> success. Do you want to edge that? I will edge that and <laughs> double my dice. <laughs> wow, you, you forgot everything about so. me. <laughs> Are we just who am I? I? Think, I think you walked into a wall and okay, <laughs> had to go about like minor amnesia. <laughs> okay, so never mind then. Don't I, tell I, me I, to got, burn I got some now. successes on my memory. What, what are we trying to memorize? Remember? Uh, it was just for agony. Only he would. Know. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It was. It, it was pre-run. Oh. That's that is glorious. That is the best. That is the best thing ever. No, that's not <laughs> glorious. That's. Agonize. Oh no, 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 that is a glorious thing. If you're, struggling, agony, dude. if you're struggling to remember something, I could use Mind Probe on you. you that you guys that just, big stuff right out of you. You guys <laughs> just look at him, and it looks like he's thinking super hard, and you guys oh, just think he's gonna tear a that. huge hole in the sea with a. Just like a. Yeah, there was another link, though. <laughs> Seriously, if, if it's bugging you, I can <laughs> dig it right out. It'll be. He just has the no most constipated look on his face, just trying to remember Go this to the detail. Like, what does That's this mean? Trying to remember you know? something. Sure, mind probe me for it. <laughs> Wait, are you Was actually? Is that an invitation? Because <laughs> I can. I feel like this is either a really important thing or what I had for breakfast last week. <laughs> sushi. I hate sushi. Why do you have a sushi bar as your fixes? <laughs> Wait, I thought you said this Why not? Sushi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so, so go ahead and so mind lovely. probe my ass. I want to remember these song no, lyrics. Yeah, back mind your mind, not your ass. <laughs> so, uh, is this about to happen? Yeah, I think he's mind probing you. Okay. okay. Well, welcome to Low Essence City, population me. Doesn't that affect the roll? <laughs> no, only on health rolls. This is detection. Uh, What's fine. your willpower? Uh, willpower, willpower, willpower. If he's consenting to it, do you really have to roll? Yes, you do. Oh yeah, willpower is just a regular thing. Yeah, three. Um, Actually, I, I think just... he's defend. He gets to not defend though. This shirt. Yeah. I I'm gonna so choose you... not to defend. But the only thing is that you're probably going to find a bunch of fucked up side memories, so good luck. With unfortunately, that. unfortunately, no. I, love that guy's clothes, um, I am Dragon Slayer, and I promised I won't dig around for anything but what you're trying to remember. Which means my mental spirit will slap me around the head if I do dig for anything else. What is your mother's maiden name? I want to hack your Facebook. Damn it! Okay. Hey, it's a me feed. All right. So you squeeze these memories out that he's trying to remember, and you realize, wait a second. Don't I know this place? And then you think harder. You just you just keep pulling this out of his head, and all of a sudden you come up with the name. Uh, you come up with the name, um, shit, I'm trying to remember the name, one second. Oh yeah, okay, it's called Sensei Sal Sushi. Oh my god, that's what I was taking them to begin with, because 
after he said this is the best sushi I ever had, I was like, I know the best sushi place in Tacoma. Your your brain literally exploded, dude. You're just like, <laughs> why can't I remember this place that I was taking these guys to right this moment? Smoke <laughs> spirits. They're like, Smoke it's spirits. one of those old age things. <laughs> Just Wait, to, that's like who the couldn't biggest remember? brain fart. <laughs> who couldn't remember? Agony. Agony, me. How old is Agony? Like, what? How old is Agony? He, he's only like 35. <laughs> yeah. He's we have early on to Alzheimer's, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You do realize two people in this run have, are 60 plus. Really? I'm, six, I'm 63, gentlemen 62. Yeah. You know, the, the dapper people. Yeah. We're, we're really old as well. <laughs> I was alive when the goblinization happened. <laughs> I am first generation UGE. We both predate the Matrix. That's nuts. Alrighty. So you, you're at Sushi Se Sensei Sal's Sushi. Mm -hmm. And the... The tracker shows that this guy is inside the freaking place. Probably oh, there in the sushi. The, the yaks and um, the yaks. Before we go in, yeah. Before we go in there, astrally project inside and see are there any defenses, anything else, anybody with him. You just <laughs> see. Hey, can he just know? Ah, right. You, you don't see any magical defenses or anything like that. Can I point out that whoever bought the dr drugs from her earlier should really change their disguise now. He already has. Okay, yeah. just making sure. Because I'm going to walk in on a swagger and go order some sushi because I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a sushi bar, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm walking oh, in okay. with him. Okay, I'm going to go in with you because I can get you free sushi. How long? That's the best sushi you've okay. ever had. And you How guys... long away are me and uh, Shade? Oh, I'm oh, assuming oh, you guys are right. at this point. So we're, so oh, we're okay. caught up by this point. Okay, cool. So you you guys go in. So and, uh, your whole amnesia issue took the time for us to catch up with you before you remembered where you were going. <laughs> it had you had a tonic for like two hours. So when you guys are in there, there's a little bar that you can set up uh, where the people you can watch a guy make sushi. There's also tables you can sit at. Where's the, the yakuza? Oh. The yakuza guy is sitting up at the bar by himself. Can I eat sushi? By himself, no table. guards. No guards. Who, who's manning the sushi bar right now? It's really tempting to mug him. <laughs> <laughs> stick and shock right to the back. <laughs> <Just Into. out. laughs> Screw stick and shock. Uh, um, did it? Who, did you who, did you, who asked who's manning the sushi bar? Yeah, who's manning the sushi bar? Is it Sal or Senpai Sushi or somebody it, else? It's Senpai Grandson Sushi. It's senpai Sushi. sushi. Okay. Uh, over I'm DNI, to... you say you know this guy. But if could we arrange for him to carefully ignore us knocking this guy out? And then you, just, you guys just <laughs> see the most graceful sushi chopping you've ever seen in your life. Like the most graceful sushi creations you've ever seen in your life and you probably will ever see. No kidding about the best sushi. Gonna DNI back. And then no he, he notices he notices agony and just automatically hands like three plates over and you guys notice that he made each of these plates in like 15 seconds flat. All right, I'm gonna share the sushi with uh, with the other guys. So who actually came in? It was me, Agony, and Jules. Well, Jules? okay. Uh, well, me and Shade caught up, so we probably came in after. Oh, them. so you came in as well, um, Carbo? Yeah. So basically, everyone came inside. Okay. Uh, I, was thinking of, I was thinking of waiting outside just in case. Oh, so well, just in oh, case. Outside. The Jason chef looks at Agony. Uh, will they be eating with you today, sir? Yes, these are my friends. Okay, and then he, he serves the rest of you. So, just, just, just well. like, do I find funny? You, your friends are a cyber Japanese chick, a dwarf that's dapper to the max, <laughs> and... Another uh, a, a um a human dapper to the back standing outside. Oh, and Johnny, I can't remember. What, sorry, Jules. Yeah, I'm uh, just 
pretty much a second rate cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> so the best team you... ever. <laughs> Not even a console <laughs> cowboy. How the fuck could we be? <laughs> <gasps> Runners? No. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, thank God this guy knows I'm a runner. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what's uh, the Yakuza guy doing at this point? Because he has he to just, know. That he just kind of looked. He, he, he just kind of looked at you and then continued looked away and kind of like slightly turned away also, and just kind of continues eating his sushi. Hmm. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my swagger stick on the table, carefully pointing it at the back of the guy of the Yakuza guy. Mortimer gun you know what we could do? We, we could try to subtly schmooze him, because I can get him free awesome sushi, remember. <laughs> Best sushi schmooze. in Seattle. Let's schmooze. We haven't had to shoot anybody yet. Let's, you know, yeah. this guy's just a dealer. Yeah, Let's, uh, I honestly don't want to make Yakuza uh, enemies. Wait, yeah. I'm back up. <laughs> <laughs> it's an emergency. As I said, it's a gun cane. Nobody notices it. Okay, so I mean, that's my, the plan, plan. my plan is this. We get him a bunch of free, on the house, best sushi in Seattle stuff. The absolute best that sushi senpai can make. Senpai sushi can make. And then we try to, like, I don't know, get him drunk or something. And then maybe mind probe his ass. <laughs> or ass probe his mind. Either way. I think it's the same difference, man. We're, we're good either way. <laughs> But yeah, basically, let's Honestly, try to it down. sounds like a plan. It's, yeah, well, one sure. one major limitation with Mind Probe is that people know it happens. So if he's conscious, That's... he's going to know it's happening. We can well, always conscious. This is an option. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The general way of trying to hide it is if someone gets mugged, gets knocked unconscious, well, they wake up late without a wallet. As I, as I said, consciousness happen. is an option. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you've got someone like me who is loaded up to the max with um, stun weaponry, and myself as as well. Okay, I have a, I have a shotgun. I just slap him on the shoulder. Would Sushi Senpai subtle. object to you squeezing some neurostun out of those injection darts you've got? <laughs> to sushi. Do what? Mug him oh, outside the classy joint. No, let's try hey, to This is a nice mug place. Him. Do not ruin my fixer's sushi joint. <laughs> Mug him outside the joint if we're going to mug him. <laughs> like I said, let's try talking to him before we resort to mugging him. Actually, before we mug him, I, okay, I'm going to sense him and see if he's sidewalked to the eyeballs or not. If we, if we, if we want to knock him unconscious, if we schmooze him and carouse with him and get him to drink a bunch and then slip him some narco jet, then yep, he'll, he'll just think that he got blackout drunk. Yep. Do they sell alcohol you see that he has a cybernetic hand. Can you uh, 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 palm some narco jet into uh, some sake after uh, um, maybe we've given a craft or two? Is he How stealthily can I run a weapon? How stealthily can I run a, a, a weapon scanner over his hand? <laughs> um, hey, buddy, you know, go ahead and roll sneak at, or, or palming at minus four. Minus four, so that's ten dice. You should get him drunk first. Yeah, let's get him drunk first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We get him drunk first. Is he the only other person in the shop? I mean, everything goes better when you get drunk first. It's the start of the perfect day, really. You're assuming he even wants to talk to you guys. Is he the okay, only he's going to want to talk to us once we send him over some free awesome sushi. No, no. Is he the only other person in the shop? Uh, there's like one or two other people. That's about it, though. By everyone in the house around. And even if he doesn't want to talk to us, then we mug him. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's our fallback plan. So if not, yeah, that's, that's what I'm fallback. saying. Mugging is not mutually exclusive with talking. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dumbass. How about I get that garden spirit I summoned earlier to use the influence power on him? With the influence <laughs> being, you should confess to that guy next to you. <laughs> well, Tell him all about Luke. Okay, so what are you guys doing exactly? I don't know. That's the funny part. I think, uh... Okay, I think, all I think of our plans seem to involve him getting drunk, so let's do that first. Oh, yeah. Right? Can okay. we agree on let's, that? It's kind of how I live around. my personal life, so it's 
you know, not any different for in game. Hang on, just just a quick question: is the is it like an is it the alcohol for sale? Does it have a license? What? Uh, that's, that's a pretty uh, major feature. Shot? Yeah. Yeah, they they have sake. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna stand up and say everyone gets around. And he's I actually gonna, stand on the chair for anyone to notice me. He's just gonna look over at you and just completely ignore you guys. Wow, it's difficult to do when you're looking directly at someone. And and <laughs> Sen, Senpai Sushi's gonna hand him a cup of sake and he's just gonna kinda scoot it off to the side. Everyone else is like, hey, thanks, man. Can you help? <laughs> what? That's what I'm saying. Stuff. I get him the free sushi first and just be like, and like hey, uh, man. Yeah. I like your well, Actually, wait, no, no. The mute chick should get him. Should get him a, uh, <laughs> a some of the sushi, and then be like, "Oh, I'm so quiet, Desu, whatever, whatever Yakuza guys like." Schoolgirls? I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't know either. She's uh, she's not Yaku She has zero knowledge of the Yakuza. But, um, were you going to influence him? Get it. No, he's no, not nervous. Just... He's just very annoyed. I was trying to think how the orange would look. <laughs> Someone was My vote to... is new Japanese chick. I, could, I don't know. Yeah. Get, oh, get, 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 it. get, it. Him, get some, some sushi. And that's our end. It could be. But, you know, uh... Dad, he's just pissed off. I'll say that over the DNI. He's, he, he's not going to talk to you. He's just really angry at the minute. So... How how would we go about uh, KO? Mugging with the Back to the mugging. Well, uh, I mean... Look, are you guys going to send him sushi or try and send him more drinks or what are you doing? He's I've got, 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 got plans for sushi. You're what? We might, I, I've got a shock hand. I can just tap him on the shoulder, and that generally gets pretty close to knocking people out. In the middle of the crowd. <laughs> yeah, but that's pretty obvious. Yeah, don't once you he's think? left, we can't do it in the room. You know, there's people here. Once he's left, we've got all kinds of options for knocking him out stick and shock rounds, clout spell, you know, knock a jet round, shock hands. So, okay, the what's room? the plan? Are we gonna are we gonna go for trying to get him drunk and influence him or what? Well, he's or are not we going for the knockout yet. mic? For... He's not well, drinking. Well, he's not drinking yet right? because we haven't got many awesome sushi. Well, I thought you ordered him. What are you doing, slacking? Get this man some goddamn sushi. I've already got him. Some I'm sushi. saying like, okay, if I get him some sushi, what am I gonna say? I'm gonna be like, hey, dude, like, I... you look like you're having I a shit day. Awesome. Yeah. Here, have some sushi. Okay, that's good. Like I say, he, he <laughs> seems to just be pissed off. I think he's, he'll just push it to one side again. Um, that's why I'm saying get the chick to do it. Get her to say like, "Oh, you look like you're having a bad day." She can't here, like, talk. Oh, sorry. I'm cute. Uh, she can't talk. She doesn't need to talk. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. Him. Electronic paper. You can put emoji on there too to make it extra quiet. <laughs> yeah, come on. Get in. Get in there. Make this happen. Do we have any? Do, oh, we, have any, do we have any skill that might get him to confess? You, you, you guys realize you're no literally how using high. the, I guess, second worst uh, person in the group to try to schmooze him. I have three in my charisma skills. Yeah, whatever. Vagina <laughs> trumps three. Send her in. I have two. I have two charisma. That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm the second worst person to try this. I would walk over oh, there. I probably I would probably trip and like backhand him. <laughs> to be that's, fair, that's that's okay. I, I'm tired of this. Order my what's your order my spirit to use confusion on the guy <laughs> and walk in and try and talk to him. I can't talk. <laughs> Okay, so, so, okay, what are we doing now? Like, okay, are you going right. to send sushi? Let me, okay, let me try the sushi thing first. Yeah, try the sushi thing. I'm just going to, I'm going to be like, hey, Senpai Sushi, get him, get him the best. The best. Compliments to me, tell him that I want to brighten his day because it looks like he's having it wrong. 
Okay. And you just see Senpai Sushi's hands just move faster than lightning. And you said the best, so it doesn't take him 15 seconds this time. It takes him like 30 to 45 seconds to make this dish. And it's like, it's spectacular. Like, you even think you see every piece of sushi on that plate like shining diamond plated shit. Like, th that's how amazing it looks. Okay. Okay. Do the so, ladies do the ladies all cream themselves when they look in that direction, and the men have to go change their pants? <laughs> Little. Bit. I don't know if I'd quite go that far, but okay. Um, so he he sets the plate in front of the guy, and the guy looks over at you. Uh, Egg, and you're the one that sent it over, right? Yeah. All right, and I'm assuming he heard you say it, and he looks over at you. He stands up. He pushes the plate onto the ground and yells, Can't you fucks just leave me alone? And at this point, the last two people on the sushi joint just like bolt out the door like, Oh shit, it's going down. Joel and then you, see, you see his hand go into his vest and the glint of a machine pistol being pulled I out. I touched the trigger on the um, gun cannon. I Guys, I knock a dick. Before knock that, a dick. I actually rolled a while ago. I wasn't kidding about using the spirit's confusion power on okay, it. Okay, but just just wait <laughs> for it. But as soon as you see it, like halfway out of his uh, holster, you just see Senpai Sushi just flying over the counter, bicycle <laughs> kicking the motherfucker in the head like f five times. He goes flying onto the table. The table flips over, like, making him smack the back of his head on the ground. He does another flip on the ground, smacking into another table. All the dishes are just shattering. Everything's just broken. And then Senpai Sushi just goes up to him, punches him one time in the face, knocks him out, and then, you know, straightens out his clothes, and then shuts the blinds all over the sushi shop. And then puts the clothes sign on. Well, Senpai... You ever heard of the phrase overkill? And then he just claps his hands together and bows at you and goes in to the back, like where he lives, you know? He just mm -hmm. leaves the sushi shop for you to handle for now. I, 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 I just casually sit there finishing my sushi because I can't see over the table. <laughs> Mind probe him. <laughs> Do this shit. Yep. All right. I'll well. line you up. Hello? The best laid plans of metas and men. <laughs> oh, what just with happened? That, uh, that my friends, is Senpai, senpai Sushi. sushi just kicked, you just kicked oh, no, the right out of the guy. He kicked him, and I, I heard he lands on the table, and then my fucking Skype cut out. <laughs> it was it was glorious. <laughs> oh. There was a unicorn, and you missed it, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just go cry. That was the quote of the session. <laughs> Right there, there was a unicorn <laughs> in your mess, buddy. Congratulations, you win the internet. <laughs> Seriously, two successes on 15 dice. <laughs> edge it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to edge that. So you're mind probing him now? He's just KO? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, what do I roll? Uh, oh. He resists okay. with um, just willpower, plus any spell defense he's got if he has. That is definitely the quote of the session, it was going on the list. <laughs> <laughs> I hate my internet right now. Unconscious too, kind of, uh, didn't resist. No, 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 he still gets <laughs> the willpower, unfortunately. No, no, the thing is, he rolled nothing. <laughs> he got it, he rolled <laughs> Oh, in which case, I completely mind rope him. <laughs> He's gonna wake up thinking his name is Lucy. Don't hurt the poor bastard. I'd mean, go have know. a looking for tutus or something. Uh, mind probe table. If I get five net hits, I can probe the sub target subconscious, gaining information the target may not even be consciously aware of. <laughs> Son. Basically, I know everything. He knows. You know that you, you know that he is, he is actually gay, and he doesn't even know it. <laughs> Poor bloke. <laughs> okay, there is now. Two, I, I find that the two most interesting quotes all session have come up in less than five minutes. Okay, <laughs> things that we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> He's gonna wake up thinking his name is Lucy. <laughs> 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 did we did we lose the, the DM? GM? Um I think Oh whoops, we... I've been saying what are you guys uh trying to find out exactly? I had oh. to muted though. Whoops. Ah. Okay. Um, Sorry, baby. On the have, what, what the hell does Thank he know you. about Luke? Um, <laughs> yeah, what do you know about Luca? About no, Luca why not? Yeah. Uh, he knows Luca works for the Italian mob. The yeah, you know family. Uh, and uh, that he's right? the um, accountant guy. Do it, make two of them. So he knows absolutely nothing. Oh, Did you I know who was spying on you? Just remember, the, these questions have to be particular. It's yeah. lunch, though. I mean, it's not a what horrible lunch. What was your relationship with Luca? It's lunch. His relationship oh. was ratting out the Yakuza to Luca. Oh. When was the last time you talked to Luca? Uh, a couple Great. days ago. <laughs> What's his name? His name? <laughs> yeah, your name. <laughs> we're gonna go with, uh... Sorry, we're gonna go with Ching. Ching? Ching? Okay, yeah. Ching. That's not a wow. Japanese name. Do you, do you know Luca's dead? It is a Chinese name, but that's the closest thing I could think of. It's just my boss's name at work. So it's just like, <laughs> and he's a Chinese dude, so it's just like, okay, whatever, we'll go with that. So uh, there's white dudes, there's bouncers, a Chinese guy who's betraying them. Wow, no, he's is technically really Japanese with a Chinese name, okay? <laughs> okay, right, this is you, Shadow Run. Right? Do you know Luke is dead, it. is my next question. Uh, he did not know Luke was dead. Oh, um, we're done. Well, this, this was this was a waste of time. <laughs> hey, but you did get to oh. the number one sushi in Tacoma or in Seattle. Good point. <laughs> and we got to watch the most badass takedown ever. So oh, just one have... of us did anyway. Can I have? Oh, a yeah, I, I I couldn't see over the freaking table. I couldn't find it. Replay the replay his memories of the last time he talked to Luca. Um. <laughs> I, I okay. can view any of the memories yeah, up fine. to 72 hours ago. He, basically, he was just telling, you know, what kind of things were going on that he knew of, that his level of, you know, rank in the Yakuza could uh, find out. <laughs> just, like, <laughs> drug deals that were happening, that stuff like that. People, you know. Does he know a generic chat? Say so yeah, that again? Just a generic chat. Just a generic chat. Yeah. Does he know anything about um, his relationships with the other? Uh, sorry, uh, Luca's relationships with the other um, family members. Uh, he knew that there was one guy that Luca had a problem with a lot, but he didn't know the name of the guy. Do you know the problem? Um, they generally just didn't get along and like each other. Um. Dig into his subconscious. Did Luca ever mention the name? He did not. It'll be fine. Did he mention the description? No. Um, replay them. Oh, it's probably too long ago. Yeah. What did? Yeah. What exactly did Luca say about this guy that gave you that impression? Um, that he thought he was a double-crossing son of a bitch. Uh, like we've got our it. killer, we just don't know who it is. How to do it. Um. Double crossing son of a bitch. In an organized crime ring. Well, that narrows it down. Mm. Yeah, it is pretty unusual in the Mafia. But it does prove the fact that we. N n uh, it is really narrowing down the fact that the murderer is part of the uh, Mafia. Yeah. yeah. The so. top dogs of the Mafia family as well. Mm -hmm. We already kind of figured that out, though. Yes, but this, this is rather... Oh, no, 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 we hadn't. This, we hadn't. We knew, more. The, we knew the gun was there, but we still were 100% certain yeah, it wasn't and, a and plant. That's why we came here, and I understand that. But we had yes. that as an idea already, so we had it figured yes. out. We thought it was Let's just wrote it down as that is what happened. Yeah. So, uh, either that or we think of anything else? else? Uh, do we want to kill him or do we want to leave him alive? I'll leave, leave him alive. Oh, leave him alive. Yeah. Don't leave bodies. 
Heck, we had a fight. Walk. Let's just drag him out on the street and leave him there. <laughs> he, he, got, he, he got his ass kicked. He didn't just get out of fight. The only thing is that this is going to be a pain in the ass for me, because the Yakuza might be like, Hey, this guy you know, beat up one of our dudes. <laughs> so I might have to do some stuff fair, after the game. He, to be fair, he pulled a gun inside a, a awesome Sentai person. Something I can do. And he walked replay away without his, dying. Replay his memories of that fight. <laughs> and see what he noticed. Uh, who the uh, Yakuza guy? Yeah. Yeah. See if all he remembers, to any all of he knows is that he looked over at the last second, and his face was being ki like bicycle kicked five, five or six times. And then the last thing he remembers is smacking his head on the ground. So he doesn't have very coherent memories of that point. I think they'll be fine. So he Just does he remember the faces? Yeah, he does remember you guys pissing him off and he him pulling his gun and all that. Oh. Can we change what? that? Hold on. Uh, nah. With with him remembering <laughs> that we pissed reading. him off, does he does he remember like, did we do anything other than, you know, just come in having a good time and that pissed him off? Yeah, why was he pissed off? That you kept trying to bug him. No, no, why was he pissed off? Because he was pissed off before we got there. No, he, he was pissed off because you guys just, like, came in like you owned the place and then started trying to bug him with, like, free sushi and shit. Oh, so we're good. Well, pardon the fuck out of me, Mr. First World Problems. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that guy. I mean, we're, we're trying to we solve a bird. kill him. What a dick. <laughs> oh God, on us because we tried to buy him sushi. Look, man, I'll tell you right now, any one of you can buy me sushi anytime, and I will not be pissed Thank off. <laughs> I won't pull a gun on anyone who tries to buy me sushi. Oh, I can't believe that. That guy's a maybe we Maybe we should leave, leave a note in front of us like, don't pull guns on people who are being nice to you, you networks. <laughs> Actually, one other thing okay, I'll, so I'll dig around for. Is there any blackmail information I can dig out of his brain? Um, so if he does start causing, a, if he does cause, causing us trouble, we can say, you know, you might want to keep quiet. Names, what contacts, am I talking about? Anything like that we can Don't sell? Mess. He's selling Yakuza information to the Mafia. We already know what yeah. we're threatening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a drug dealer that's selling Yakuza information. That's a lot of blackmail. Right there. And it would end, it would cause him to end up dead very quickly. Yep. Yep. Yeah, gonna lose more than a pinky over that. <laughs> yeah, traitors, are, traitors aren't quite po very popular. So, so let's let's dump him somewhere. I don't care where. We can we can dump him in the dump and then uh, go Just to dump house. him out. The, dump him out oh, the sushi shop. Oh, it's where we don't, where, we don't know, want. He was causing trouble. He got beaten up. Dumped out the back. We could just pull him out. These things back, happen. Yeah. We, we don't want him to... to put, about, put, about, put about outside and leave a sign on his chest saying, Bad customer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There are way all the other... <laughs> I'm just going to say we, we play nice and take him to... I don't know. I just say that we play nice and um, don't piss him off any more than we have to. We've got the blackmail material. We don't want to make him do something stupid and make us use it. We could just drop him in a cab to the club. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, let's do that. I'll no, go outside just dump, him out, the dump him out the back and put a cryptic note on the back of the thing. Something like, best to stay quiet about, best to stay quiet about this. Everybody has secrets, you know. I just don't want him having anything to come back to the sushi shop, you know. True. Care. I say we just put him in a cab, send him to the club, and that's it. But then he'll wonder how, how the hell we knew he was about the club. Let's just drag him in the alley then. Who cares? Yeah, yeah drag him in the alley, alley leave him. He was a shitty customer. Know? He tried to pull a gun in the restaurant, and the sushi chef took care of him. Not us. Exactly. We were just being, we were just being generous. And loud. And it, but oh, only right. Agony knows. That sushi senpai only did that because he dropped his sushi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't disrespect Mr. Senpai. <laughs> Especially when it goes all out it's and takes 45 seconds of making that sushi. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> this was the best sushi in Seattle and he totally freaking wasted it. What a dick. His time uh, is valuable. 
double check that I've scrubbed my Astro signature off the guy. Can Don't I check and see if any of track. the sushi didn't touch the ground? No. <laughs> what was left on the table? I, I don't know. Roll edge. Roll edge. <laughs> edge. Yes. Are you? Are you? Yeah, he didn't. He's messed up. He might butterfly kick you if you try and eat it off the floor. <laughs> no, I don't want it off the floor. I want it. I want to see if any landed like on the plate. Roll edge. I, oh, how do I roll edge? What, what's your edge? edge? What's my your edge? edge? How much? My edge is three. All right, we're roll three. Three. Roll three. Roll three. That's an average. Okay. One okay. Success, All right. Let's let's see. Oh, you're lucky. Okay, you, Good you find literally half of that plate of sushi landed on the table next to the one that he flew onto. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, gonna look at Sensei. The rest can is I, shattered on the ground. Can I'm I look at Sensei while pointing at it and like not well, at him? Sushi Senpai is in the. He's in, out. He's oh, out. He, yeah, he's, he's on the out. second floor in his room. Oh, I'm going well, to take one of the pieces of base sushi. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna collect whatever pieces he didn't just take. <laughs> yeah, I'm and gonna pick as, one one as, piece of a basic sushi and slowly eat it. As soon as you start eating it, you just hear this stomping like going down the stairs as fast as you. Oh Jesus! I finished. <laughs> I finished. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> I, I I drag the yakuza quickly out of the, <laughs> the sushi. <laughs> you can just see the door of the sushi shop is. Of like the back room just bust open and sushi senpai's like there instantly, and then he's like, "Oh, it's you guys!" And then he just bow and walks back in the room. Terrified <laughs> <laughs> the hell out of me. <laughs> She's just sushi like senpai. standing there with like half of a bite of sushi in her mouth, just like paralyzed. <laughs> This, this completely cybered up chick is just <laughs> immobilized with fear, and, and he just bows, and she's just like, nod. Wow. Perfect time to take a picture. <laughs> hey, I've got my fiber eyes working, so I could. <laughs> Walked away. Slowly. <laughs> I, I love how um, Cobalt picked, picked up my spouse was halfway through eating it when he turns up like, um... <laughs> <laughs> sushi like, Senpai is secretly the god of sushi. Uh, secretly? <laughs> True. <laughs> Look, I'm now more so, afraid of this place we're going to break into the house so. next, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, you know, I don't think the mob's a problem now. We have sushi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That's true. <sighs> and I just had some of the best sushi in the world. I think I could take on the entire mob. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, to the house. Let's, how are we gonna get in? Are we just gonna break the fucking door down? No. Well, I'm, no. I, I have At this point in time, you get a call. Oh, I have 18 locked back in. Are you gonna answer? Here? Well, hold on, what was the name of the Yakuza uh, guy? We did pull that yes. from the set, right? Ching. I have 21. His name was Ching. Ching. That's right, that's right. Okay, so someone is someone's getting a high wall. So yeah, you just hear the do 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 do. I'm gonna DNI. Can you change your fucking ringtone? That's the worst one ever. <laughs> it's totally Tony. You, everybody knows that, right? <clears throat> it's, it's All right, so are you answering the phone? Someone has to. Fuck it, I'll answer it. I'll answer it. Hello. Hey, what's up? Give me an update, please. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 I, uh, uh... Hey, mono hey, whip. calm down. Mono whip the phone. Calm, <laughs> <Just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> calm down. Right, Our investigation is pending. Alright, I realize that. What? Give me some updates, though. What are your leads? What are you going on? Well... <laughs> You know Here's how you mentioned future. that the uh, the yaks have been moving in on your territory? Oh, y yeah. Well, they may have claimed a little more than dirt this time. If you catch my drift. You mean they killed Luca? Oh, well, we've got a yak suspect. It, it's, so. it's possible. All right, this means war. I'm going to gather the men. It's hey, not hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It is possible. We, we, we will get back to you with more conclusive information. All right. Well, I just called to mainly tell you guys, you're clear to, uh, you know, open up his house, and then he hangs up. Gonna make a judge and the cameras roll. 
Oh, no. Oh, the we camera. need to check the cameras in the house again. Maybe he tampered with it. Yeah. Was like, Maybe that's like, why it's so cameras crazy. pick anything up? There's a camera on every entrance. No, no. The cameras don't see nothing. No, did, like, I'm assuming they, they've been recording, right? Yes. Yes. They would have alerted okay. us the moment so, something happened. Okay, yeah, nothing has happened. Make sure. All right. Wait a second. Remember how they said that they have Deckers on hand? Yeah. They could have doctored the camera footage. Yes, they could have. Is there any way for us to check that without us having a Decker that's not his? <laughs> no. Right? There's not. No. Well exactly. then, fuck it. Let's go check the house. Um, that gonna... call. Uh, can I make a judge intention roll on, on Tony? Um, since it's over a phone call, go ahead and do it, but minus two. Alright. Uh, I better re-roll that. <laughs> Shit, can I do that too? Um, yeah, you can't really tell what his intentions are, or... Oh, well, fuck, I'm not gonna do better than two, probably, so... Yeah, I, I did the same. <laughs> My judge intentions... I don't even... What's that, sir? Judge intentions is charisma plus intuition. It's on other info on your chummer sheet. Okay, character info. Other info. Uh, Common. Right hand okay. side. Okay. So, well, we got permission to go in then. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's go. Uh, what? Well, uh, fuck. I said. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> One of the, that's two. That's I'm gonna pull on my uh, burglary kit as I walk up to the door. Actually, let's go, to the to, back, um, back, okay. let's go to the back door. So you guys pull up. You still see the same Ford America in front of the house. You see somebody should check the car to see if there's blood stains in it. Yeah. Um, and then you see hey, the house how you left it. Hey, wait, wait, Shade. Uh, can you smell for explosives? Uh, that's a good point. I will smell for explosives. Will smell for anything car different bomb? from the last yeah. time I smelled. I don't. I don't care about car bombs. I'm thinking they just cleared us to go into the house. I'm That's going to true. smell for anything that has changed since my last smell check, which has, which I can, I can archive. Nothing you has changed that you can smell. Um, I have a look I hadn't even the rolled car when you started that. Oh, I thought that range. floor was yours. From I thought that was uh... the the floor is mine. Shade foot, remember? Yeah, okay. Yeah, same, I same don't... thing. I have a uh, look inside the, the car with my voice. Is the um, barrier still up? The that, ward is that. still up, yes. Right, also, I'm around to inside, you're looking inside the car? Yeah, with my voice. Okay, um, there's nothing unusual inside the car. Uh, are you just going to look inside the main area? Um, is there, can we... Uh, Wait, I think we need to do a full search everywhere I possibly notice. can. Uh, in the trunk, you see a large pool of blood. Yeah, he was moving the car, which means whoever did it had access to his car. Fuck yeah. We need to figure out yeah. where the hell his keys are. That's the, the key to this whole thing, is where the hell are his damn keys. Are there hmm. keys in 27? He was killed here. He was His car was used to drive to the docks to dump a body. <sighs> And then, um, okay. someone roll me perception. Whoever's in the yard or near the yard, roll me perception. I think that's like all of us, isn't it? Yeah, I think we're all sticking together, honestly. Okay, so with three or above and you see this, uh, you see across the street, you see a neighbor peeking through the blinds in their window. Oh. Well. Um... I'm gonna head over there. Jules yeah, I'm gonna, gonna be, I, I'm gonna head around the back to the. And then, um, as soon as they see you walking over, they just the blinds just go back to normal. Like I'm gonna head left. around the. I'm gonna head around to the back door to pick it. So since I, uh, uh, it, yeah, if if, if he uh, he knew the person, they'd likely come in through the front door. I wouldn't like to tamper with any evidence at the front door. Okay. Just. So, are we going to do anything about the neighbor who just spotted us? I'm trying. <laughs> That's what he's doing. I'm going. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting back to work on picking the lock. Going around to pick the lock. I can pick the lock. 
cast player audience I, as well I have as player audience moving point of view to into that neighbor's house so I can listen to him and watch him okay you just see the neighbor um, sitting in the chair still sitting in their chair kind of like looking at the window and like squinting to try and see through the blinds that they closed but right, that's I... all they're doing Jules, can you Jules also check other nearby houses yeah uh, yeah, this good is a, point. Uh, this ahead. might be a setup. Yeah, move. I've got a limit of 25 meters on both okay. of those. You can, see, you can see up to the next house, and <laughs> no one's home. Okay. Jules is going to cross the street, and uh, I, I just go up to the door, and I, I knock politely. All right, and then you see like a latch, like an eye hole open up real quick. And then they're like, uh, "Yes, are you are you Knight Errant?" Uh, I take off my hat. Is it a male or a female? It's a uh, female. Ma'am, I, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, we're uh, a, a Knight Errant here uh, to uh... roll con. God damn it! Um, I'll I'll assist with with fast talking. Uh, you can't. You're not near him. Can I do a DNI. closure instead? Can you do it? No, it has to be calm. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. You are ex actively lying to them. Yeah, mm -hmm. this, is, this is. All you need is a one, though. That's all you need. Oh, God. You never want to hear those words. Because <laughs> you know you're not going to succeed. It's a physical lock, by the way. <laughs> oh, no. no. Let me edge that. Okay, go ahead. Did you get no successes? I don't Correct. have any con. I'm having to just roll. I've got three, but I'm, I've got zero. So I, you know. I am cutting out. I'll be, so I'll be a very nice GM and let you pre edge that. Pre edging it won't make a difference because he's still only got one dice and he needs to get that one hit. Yeah. But he gets he to pre add his edge it. to it. Yeah. And then oh, he gets right. exploding yes. sixes. Oh, okay. So I, I do get to add my edge to that then? So yeah, add um, what, what's your edge right now? So, so add three more dice to that, and whatever sixes you get, you reroll. All right, you're good. All right, so she looks at you up and down, and she's like, "Wow, it took you guys long enough." And she opens the door for you to come in. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, ma'am. We've been uh, real busy, you know trying to clean up the city since the riots and everything going down and and you're right we, we should have been out here sooner yeah I could have died last night I don't know what was happening uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that ma'am where we're still trying to piece things together here what, what, what exactly did you see well you know Luca he's a he's a gray neighbor but sometimes shadowy people come over there and usually he parks his car in the garage but I noticed last night he parked it in front of the house. Well, you see, later that night, probably about two hours later, I heard a bunch of gunshots. And then, well, I called KE, but didn't hear anything. Oh, gunshots. Uh, do, do you happen to remember how, exactly how many gunshots? Oh, I, I really don't remember. Okay, I understand. Uh, what's, I understand. A, what's a memory test, real quick? Uh, what what is it? Intel or uh, intuition and logic? Um, mm. and memory is logic, logic and, and will. willpower. Logic and willpower. Okay. Yep. Hence why mine is so low. And then she's like, "Wait a second, I think it was seven, six seven or shots. seven, something like that." All right, and I uh, you, I uh. Yeah, I, I nod knowingly. Okay. Um, do Do you happen to recall about how many uh, how many people showed up at his house last night? Oh, you know, just one guy. He looked nicely dressed up, like a nice lad. He wasn't too shady looking. Had you seen this gentleman before, ma'am? No. Um, was he Caucasian or um? Uh, human, maybe dwarf or orc. Do you do you have any? He recall? was definitely human. I I can't really recall what he. I think he might have had olive skin, but I'm not too sure. Caucasian olive. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not positive. 
Um, did, did you happen to see anything else, maybe uh, after the gunshots? Um, well, about 30 minutes later, that guy left, and so... Did, did he leave in his own car, or did he uh, take uh, the, the gentleman's car from across the street, your neighbor's car? Well, it looked to me like he was taking a bag full of garbage out for Luca, which I thought was quite nice. Bag of garbage, okay. Um, do you know where he, he... Did he just leave the, the garbage out by the street, or...? Oh, no, he threw it in the trunk of the car. Okay. And, and you say he took his own car. He didn't take Luca's car? Oh, no, he took Luca's car. It's, it's, he put it back, though. Okay. Um, do you happen to know about how long he was gone with the car? I, and I, I know this is a lot of questions, ma'am, and we really appreciate all your help with this. Uh, after I saw him, you know leave, I, I went to bed. Uh, ma'am, I, I know this is a little intrusive to ask, but would you mind being, uh, um, if one of our KE forensic mages came in here and asked you a few questions and, and maybe ran a procedure on you? Uh, what what kind of procedure? Uh, just just a, a basic uh, forensic uh, um, mind probe. All, all it does, ma'am, is I know that sounds, uh, you know, intrusive, but, it, but it's really not. All it is is just it helps you to recall memories of the evening so that we can maybe be get a better idea and then of she what stops exactly you like, happened. Wait a second. You're telling me mages are real? Seriously? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's quite a common uh, uh, belief that I yeah, just all about. Yeah, I guess uh, the uh... even thirty years on. Wait, did did you just say it's a common belief that mages don't exist? Yes, it is because they're so it rare, is. and corpse try and keep that information on the d down low as much as they can. Really? Like, yeah. There's just a lot. There's a lot of mage runners, but mage runners are still yeah, it's, it's just the hub just has a shit ton of mages, mages, mages for some reason okay. oh no i know i know magic is rare but i thought it was like there were trids about it and stuff and it was generally known that magic there's exists. movies now about magicians Look, and there's dragons on the television uh, actually, right. dragons. <laughs> Dunkelzam <laughs> was president for a while oh. for God's sake. i can actually hear what you're dragons saying now dragons take human form True, true. Yeah, but he was also pictured as a dragon. Well, ma'am, not the just the technology is so advanced that it's almost like magic. I I, I apologized. I slipped up with my speaking. And I, then she's like, looks down. Oh man, I wish mages really were. Now it's cut out again. Oh come on! And I I, I smile and wink at her. <laughs> <laughs> I wave over, uh, I, just a second, ma'am, and I, I go outside and I wave over, uh, uh, Shade. And send a DNI. Get your ass over here, quick. Gentlemen. Shade is oh, currently gentlemen. the lock. Sorry, sorry, yes. Did you, did you catch that? I've been focusing on this conversation, listening in on it with my voice and audience. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> gentlemen's coming over then? Yeah. Do you like Shade's response? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, poor Kabul. Agony, I, Agony, I rolled the lock, the lock pick ages ago. Well, yeah, I, I know, but picks. I'm backing you up because we shouldn't be splitting up. I have, an, I have lock pick. I Wait, are you picking I know. this lady's house or the no, the, the house? back Lucas's door? House. On the I rolled this ages house. ago. Okay, I'm sorry. I, yes, I, you do I, make I, it. I, I, you do I know you rolled it ages ago, but I'm just saying we should be, you know, we should be operating in pairs whenever possible. Just standard yeah, so operation. Agony, you lock Agony, the door. I, Agony and I will be uh, working on okay. the. And We're just going to finish this series of questions real quick, though. <laughs> That's why I wasn't saying it was the questioning. As gentleman walks in, you know, I'm going to, you know, let him do. Over D and I, like, be nice. She's an old lady. She's had a rough time. You she know. She resists. She resists the spirit's influence with willpower and logic. Maybe show her a magic trick or two, and I uh, chuckle and step aside. I strongly suspect she's about to agree to being mine, bro. Ball's now in your court, buddy. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. 
Is that a... All right, and she actually, she actually resists it. Oh, man. Seriously? Full successes? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. Old lady's got moxie. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Hey, Rogue. Uh, time I'll out for a second. Yeah, uh, what's up? Kabolt is uh, uh, having trouble getting with the chat. Oh, Can you re-invite okay. him? I don't know if it'll work, but he's he's okay. There we go. You're in Beckon next next for us. Hold on, he's uh hasn't answered yet. Hopefully it'll work. Ah, it looks promising. Nope, busy. Okay, while he does that, do you guys want to continue this series of questions? Um, I'm going to be back in it. I'm going to go take a minute and be back in, um, while Cobalt's doing that since you're questioning That's fine. Anyway. Let's just take a five-minute break then, guys. Sound good? Sounds okay. good. Sure. Yeah, whatever works. Oh, my God. It's 1040. This has been going on for a while. Man, it, it's almost uh, 1 a.m. here, and I've got to get up at 6 to get my kids to school. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, uh, well you know shadow running is uh, difficult to do when you're also a parent oh I'm not complaining it's it's really all this bourbon that I'm drinking that's going to really suck in the morning speaking of which I'm going to go make another one I'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> well you didn't think I would actually even try to pretend to you know role play if I was sober right I mean, come on <laughs> question for you guys if anybody's still around what's up I'm around um, for at the the end of our session uh, I just realized that we can spend some of our karma to help boost skills those skills is it based on skills that we use during the run only oh no, my you, god you can boost any skill but you can only do one skill for uh, physical and one skill for mental okay thank you Man, just what's this I'm just gonna blow up the sky. Welcome back. Thank you. Welcome right. back. Everyone here? We all good? Uh, uh, for so. now, I, I, I hope it I hope it continues. Uh, I well, think you guys well, are close to the truth. Yeah, we're we're getting really close to finishing. Yeah, and that's, I, I'm hoping it'll last. And I, I really I really am sorry for all this. It's it's annoying. <laughs> oh, it's all it's good. Not dude. a problem. Man, it's out of your hands. As it's long as you're like enjoying. Problem. What parts of the run you make it? Into? <laughs> no, I, I really am. This is this is really fun. This is this is definitely one of the better runs I've had with this character. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Seriously, even um, if it, it, even if it hasn't involved any combat, <laughs> not that I'm complaining. It's no. Yeah, hey, I said in the OOC it'd be very uh, roleplay heavy with almost little yeah. to none combat. That's why it's that's why it's such an inter interesting run. It's no uh, spending two days in a dumpster, but hey, what can you do? <laughs> Wait, were you there when I did that? Yeah, man, I was on that run. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, You'll have I to got... tell us about that later. Plus, I've, I got we got invites to be to to a really fancy old-fashioned bar. 
Call that, that, just made, that just made my day. <laughs> Uh, good to hear, good to hear. Did he just get quit out of the call again? Damn it, he did. Oh, man. Oh. He, he's there, sort of. We'll find out. Yeah. You there? Next, you there? Now yeah. rolls 20, won't. It's... All right. Woo. Oh, my God. All right, let's continue this line of questioning, gentlemen. What are you going to do next? You now resisted your spiritual spirits. I D and I am just straight up talk to her. I'm going to D and I am back. Hello, Miss. Uh, or Miss. Sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, my name's Granger. Oh, nice to meet you. Um, I have you been told what I am? Um, um you're a magic man. Yes, that's correct. Um, I understand that you're somewhat disbelieving of this. Would you like me to offer some proof? Yeah, can you make me fly? Not my particular talent, but I can give you a makeover, should you wish. A, a what? A makeover. So, you mean you can make me look young again? No. Um, oh wow! No. <laughs> imagine, imagine you went to a beauty salon. That That's not happen. magic. Well, it is if I do it in a second. It is if you remove the beauty salon. Yeah. Can't you like shoot fire or something? <laughs> I could destroy significant parts of your house with ball lightning. Yes. I thought you might just prefer to. Yeah. I'd have your problem. You haircut and <laughs> various other things. <coughs> All right, let's see this makeover trick. Okay. I to say, in I'll need to touch you. Do I have your permission? Yep, and she like puckers up her lips. <laughs> Reach forward and touch her on the shoulder. <laughs> Uh, so what, what the hell happens? I'm just rolling for it now. Okay, five successes. Uh, the number of successes indicate the degree of style. So effectively okay. that's the equivalent of her going to a beauty salon and having professionals rolling five hits. So she's like a hair, nails, grand, grand grandma, and like now she just looks like a like the ultimate cougar. Yeah, basically. <laughs> she's like perfect wow, nails, I do perfect look makeup. Sexy now. And she's like, "What do you want to know?" Well. From the, you talking to my colleague, really it would seem you've actually seen the gentleman who's one of our prime suspects. Yeah. Yeah. Lucas, your prime suspect? No, the gentleman who was taking out the trash. Oh, I thought he was a nice man, taking out the trash for Luca like he, that. He, Luca's in his he, old age. He could well be a nice man. Uh, as I said, he's he's just a suspect. It would help us immensely if we could actually see who he was. Now, I do have a spell, which you will notice, but does no damage to you whatsoever that would let me actually see that your memory of that. I, I guess. And then she she's like, uh, how does this work? Basically, I... I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I touch you, as I just did with the makeover spell. I cast it, and I look into your mind. And now then she sits I'm, down, and she's like, I'm ready. My thank you very much. We, we appreciate your, com your cooperation. It may save lives. Probably not. Oh no, my. it's probably going to end a life, I'm realistic. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. <laughs> She doesn't need to know that. <laughs> you can tell her you'll be taking a killer off the streets. That is actually true. Unless well, he I offers mean, better pay. 
Unless it's the wrong guy. <laughs> that too. It's for some reason it's the butler. It's still the butler. We all know this. I mean, look at the timeline. I'm still okay. pretty sure it's. Okay, guys, no need to ruin the story before it even starts. No, I'm just kidding. Oh yes. Does anyone know? Does anyone Is she actually the resisting? Butler? No, she's not resisting this time. Yeah, in which case, out yeah, again. I can I can actually watch her memory of that. And basically, you just see it's really dark outside, and um, the man has like a long suit coat and uh, like a hat on, so you can't see his face really, just a shadow over his face. Uh, his build, does it match any of the... It's um, a little bit bigger, slightly muscular. Okay, and the people who arrived... Actually, you rewind it. Played that entirety of the memory from where some, from she when you someone up. first arriving. Yeah. Okay. It starts out. They the, does he they turn both up pull up in the car. car. Oh, same car. Right. You can clearly see Luca because he's on the driver's side facing the street. Uh, the other guy you can't really see that well because it's you know dark out and shit, and he has all this shady clothing on. They both walk into his house. About two hours later, the shady looking dude comes out dragging a extremely large bag behind him, dragging it across the grass. After, of course, you hear the gunshots and all that. So, does it actually tell us who it is aside from a generic build? Mm -hmm. right. Sorry, sorry uh, about what's, that. I, uh... What sort of gunshot was it? It was uh, a bang, a... bang, 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 bang. No, it was, it was like... eight bullets. No, okay, she was like, <laughs> no, it was like a bang, and then about like ten seconds later, it was a bang, 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 bang. Freaking told you they shot him after he was dead. That was what I said at the freaking start. Yeah. yeah. Huh. And that's odd, though, because first they'd have to shoot him in the in the back of the head, then flip him over. Front of the and head. Then... He was shot in the front of the head. He was shot in the. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, he back was shot in the back of the head. Yeah, it was the back. Yeah, it was the back of the chest. And then yeah, it was the back of the head, front of the chest. So yes. he was he was walking away, facing away, got shot in the back of the head, fell backwards, and got shot in the chest. That doesn't make a lot of sense, unless he was turned over to be shot on the chest. Exactly, that's what I was saying. That's weird. Well, he could have been weird. sitting and it falling could... off the chair. Just that makes sense. Yeah. Was... He could have just fallen and rolled. That'd be too simple. Could have been shot once in the chest. Could have been bla uh, ba bad gunshot planning. <laughs> All right, let's see. Other, okay, we'll go over to who was uh, pick locking the door. I've already locked it. I locked it, but yes. Yeah. Okay. So how does, uh, actually, how does the guy leave before? Uh, like I said, he he leaves um, putting that bag into Lucas' trunk and driving away. Uh, before he does put the bag in the trunk, though, he kind of like looks through the inside of the car like he's looking for something possibly you know stuff that's important or not or you know his old mixtape that too or maybe he was looking for the whiskey left in the car Was there any whiskey in the car? I was Depends. looking in it earlier. You might not have found everything. <clears throat> okay. Okay, um, I'm going to drop the spell. And um, thank, I'm thank the lady for all the help. Okay, now what were you going to do inside the house? <clears throat> I'm going to follow my nose to find where the blood smells strongest, which will be where the biggest pool was, which is right, where he was go. killed. You go into the living room. 
Oh, and I'm also going to turn on the uh, torches on my for my forearm guard so that I don't, um, you know, step in anything. Okay. So yeah, you find it in the living room, and you see a tray that had drinks on it. Uh, it's knocked over, and all the drinks are spilt over, but a lot of blood is on the tray and around the drinks. Did, did any of the glasses get broken? Yes. All of them? All of them except for one. There was three. And the bottle was broke as well. Um, I'm, gonna pick, I'm going to uh, carefully pick up the glass because it might have DNA on it. Okay. Um, and I will DNA to our medic. Um, have a glass, possible DNA, uh, if, when you have a moment. Or fingerprints, yes. Um, can, from, uh, can I, uh... Okay, so we found the point of the crime. Um, somebody should probably be looking for those books. It might help us. Should Are try to what? I didn't catch that. Uh, look for the books. <clears throat> okay. Um, um, can, ha, can I see any... Please roll perception. Oh, that, that's something like somebody else should do when they have a moment. I'm saying, is there any footprints in the blood? No, there's not. <clears throat> Which means he was standing a reasonable distance away or the blood pulled out while he was busy doing... <sighs> But you, you do see, like I said before, the entire place is just tossed Torn. like someone was looking for something. Mm -hmm. Looking for the books. Or exactly. something um, else. Please roll perception inside the house. Alright, you see a filing cabinet that has a lock on it. <laughs> what kind of lock? Uh, just like a padlock. And then you also see that there's a hallway leading to a door that's slightly cracked open. Does the lock fare very well? Is it your lock picking? No, you would like... <laughs> Honestly, you it's it wasn't even locked. <laughs> <laughs> so you ended up you... locking it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like... It, it was made to look like it was locked, but it wasn't locked. Well, I disassembled the lock, took it out, and put it to the side. Okay. <laughs> there is One no piece lock at a anymore. Time. There is no lock anymore. This um, is my lock. There are many locks, but this one needs mine. <laughs> I assume that the uh, filing cabinet has been heavily rifled through then. So you're looking inside the filing cabinet? Yes, but I'm going to stand back as I pull it back. Actually, no, I'm going to smell to see if there, I can detect any, like, chemicals you, in there. You just smell... Ink. Which means it's unlikely to be trapped, so I'm going to uh, carefully pull it open, um, standing back from the um, All right, filing cabinet before I look in. You, you pull it open. Heavily rifled through? It's just... It's just a, you know, bunch of files. Uh, you um, see that it contains files A through Z. And if you look into these files, you'll find... Things like uh, financials, affiliates of the mob, enemies of the mob, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, uh, does it look like anything's missing? Uh, roll perception, please. All right, you notice that the entire G section is gone. G. Gugliani. Yeah, that's the family name. No, or no. The Giovanni's last Giovanni. name was something. Yeah, was, I, I don't remember the actual names. I'm not gonna remember them. But no, um, Giovanni's. What was his last name? Amoda. Okay. There was no who had the last name of G, but it was the Louis. G file missing does not prove anything. Gulu Guli. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know their name. <laughs> Louis what? <laughs> Louis Gulu Guli. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Geo. Um, I'm going to pull out the fine. Oh god, the, the financials would take ages to look through. Well, Unless I'm going to fire. 
I'm going to take the um, entire section uh, marked financials. Well, um, they're like financials for different people. Ah, the unlabeled so other names. Yeah, each person's name has like financial files in it. I'm curious. Is there any? Is there one for Ching? There is not. Is, is there, there one, one for? The there is one for the butler. Yes. Is, is, are the files <laughs> for Tony, Giovanni, Louis, and Jimmy all there? Like I said, all the G section files are gone. The whole G, the, everything in G. So anyone with the name of G is gone. Is it all under first name? Yes, it is. Okay, okay. Giovanni just got moved up to prime suspect. Yeah. Oh, pr prime person being framed. Yeah, because okay, um, if you if, if you wanted to gun. remain anonymous, would you selectively take out that one file when you could just burn the whole thing? Yeah, I'm going okay. to take. Tony's, Louis, J uh, Jim, Jimmy's, and the butler's files. I, I still don't trust that butler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can take them. Um, and I'm just going to put them in my bag to be looked at in a minute. Is there a um, file on me, sir? <laughs> uh, uh, they're, actually, they're actually... Uh, there's another lock that you see on t the, for the top part of the filing cabinet. Here, let me pick it. Let me pick it. Oh, pick I'm here. The with dice. The... So what? You have one more dice than me. Yes. Yeah, so what? So awesome. <laughs> and yeah, then you boy, trash the lock. Six successes. <laughs> okay. So you, I, you're inside the house now. Yes, he was with me. I, I was. Okay. I was accompanied. Oh, okay. Okay. So you We're the find ones who are looking some. Through. You find actual hard copies of photos that are slightly naughty, and some other stuff that has to do with her. He, it looks like he was keeping track of her financials as well. And you like, me apart, Misa. Yeah, I'm <laughs> no fans of the um, room here. <laughs> I've got a feeling we should probably uh, take those documents just in case Misa is still a suspect, even though she very likely isn't. <laughs> You're tearing me apart, Lisa. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There are no um, fans um, of the room, period. No, I know, but but originally we thought it was Lisa. <laughs> and so that's why it's even more fitting. <laughs> I was uh, waiting for a time when I could make that joke during this run. <laughs> um yeah, I'm so yeah, I'm gonna grab the um the the files that were concealed to, um as they may help in the, you know, paper trail that we've got to mm -hmm, go through. Mm -hmm. Sure. No, I'm just kidding. Um, she's still a, she's still a possible suspect, even though it's incredibly unlikely. Well, yeah, she's a possible one, but she's, she's not. just no. <laughs> no, I I I highly doubt that she did anything. She, but it's still okay. worth it's still worth looking over. Well, yeah, it's plus... leverage, and you don't fork over leverage. I mean, you you don't pass up on leverage. That too. Yeah. Um. Plus, it might, it, for all we know, it may have been um, Luca who was doing the money bending. Mm -hmm. And one of the we other do, uh, people shot him over it. I don't know what we should do from here. We actually should search the rest of the house and see if there's anything there's, out of work. There's, well, there's yeah. still, what's in the garage? What the hell is in the garage? Garage? He, garage. he, always, he always parks the car in the, in the garage, the garage, and he didn't tonight. Why not? Speak well, that's America. because someone else drove back. <laughs> no, no. When he first arrived, when there were two of them, they didn't go in the garage. What can I, I'm going to go look in the garage? Okay. Okay. That, that's a smart uh, idea. You, there's a lock on the door, but there's also a big window on the door that and you can also see the entire garage from. Uh, I'll take a look through the window for starters. And you don't see anything of it. You see like an oil stain from like dripping oil from the car. Other than that, nothing. The human centipede is in there. <laughs> Let's not talk <laughs> about that, please. <laughs> um, I'm going to. Yeah, I'll oh. second that one. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> I'm going to. Go... Alright, I'm going to go back into the um, the murder room. Okay. And pull out my UV torch. Okay. 
and uh, see if that shows up any um, interest, any notable. You just see, uh, like, just uh, lots slight, and lots of blood? Yeah, basically. So there's nothing else major? There's already a lot of blood. Yes, but if he, what if it's like being cleaned up? True. Um, anything in the bedroom? Anything in the... So yeah, I'm not using you... the... I'm not using the black light in the bedroom. <laughs> no, I'm... <laughs> I mean, like, is there anything out of the ordinary in uh, any of the other rooms, aside for the, I guess, um, office? Go ahead and roll perception in the bedroom. Okay. Five, six, Are there any other rooms of interest <clears throat> that we can check? Okay, very nice. You needed that five successes to see what I'm about to tell you. Awesome! You're in the room, and you see the bed. Everything looks tossed over. Uh, all, you find the G section of files spread out across the room like a, someone was looking through them, and then, you know, if they didn't find something they liked, they just kind of tossed it out like they didn't need it anymore. Uh, you also see that you look very closely. You see that a little bit of the carpet is torn up in the, like the left corner of the room. Uh, and other than that, it's a general mess. Uh, check what's under the carpet. Well, you didn't see it. I did. Well, so I'm gonna walk to over and pull up the carpet. Uh, strength and test, please. <laughs> strength test. Okay. Let's see. Uh, strength. Where's my strength? What is my strength? My strength is four. Forty-six? <laughs> Come on. Are attribute the only test usually a double the attribute? Is yeah. it? Okay, so 8d6 then. I think, I think it is at least. That's yeah. what I recall. I could be wrong. But it's carpet. We, it's not, we can say it's... reading times too, that's fine. Okay. Um, unless it's particularly... Well... <laughs> so you, you yank and you tug at this carpet, but you end up just falling on your butt backwards. I When you fall, what? you land on something that hurts and it feels metal. Ow. I I laugh I burst into fits of laughter and hey, shut uh, up. walk shut up, up to tear up the water. <laughs> okay, roll hey, strength. I'm not the test, one who just please. fell on a bad dragon dildo. <laughs> that would be roll that's strength. Terrifying. All right, so you are able just to tear the carpet up, no problem. When you kind of you kind of look over at him and like, God, you're a sissy. Kind of look. <laughs> her. Her. Oh, her. My bad. I didn't yeah. realize that was so <laughs> like, God damn it. <laughs> this 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 little dwarf who has uh, who's only um cybernetics is a um a hand just tears up your the carpet. <laughs> With well, the other arm. Her cybernetics aren't under the carpet. Ladies. You find a safe. A very Wonder small lock picking has been opened. It's actually a rating six sequencer. Ah, oh. balls. So Sorry, not keypad. sequencer. Uh, keypad. It's got a key keypad. Maglock. Yeah. Oh, maglock. I can do that. A maglock. A maglock and a sequencer. Uh, uh, and a keypad are different. Which is it? It's it's both. A sequencer is the thing right. You so just yeah, make. but yeah, so, yeah. I'll just it, it's a maglock with a keypad and a uh, thumb scanner. I've got a thumb a scanner three. and a keypad. <laughs> so, do we have the body? No. Oh, what? actually, I lied. My notes tell me that it's actually rating seven. A rating seven key keypad and a um. Guys, is it locked? Thumb scanner. Is it locked? Uh, from what you can tell, it looks like the thumb scanner has actually never been used. <laughs> I'll just check my sequence or oh, my um auto my sequences on just to see if I can and, and break it. Well. Hang on, before you open it, could you use catalog? See what's inside. Oh sure. Just in case there's a bomb or something. Deeply. <laughs> Am I back over there yet? Cobalt's just going so. in the corner. We're, okay. we're, we've, we've been picking, breaking, going through stuff for some time. As you guys um, are doing this, you get a call from Tony. Who's answering? Um, I'm currently looking at the lock, so I toss like, the um, 
the the com link. I can't toss it at Cobalt. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll answer. I'll answer the goddamn phone. What's up, Tony? Hi, uh, you guys at uh, Lucas? Look, we're making progress here, but it's a very, shall we say, tense situation. All right, well, let's hurry it up. I don't want you guys there as any longer than you have to be. Hey, you and me both. Don't, don't worry, we won't be. All right, uh, so are you guys close to finishing this investigation? I think I so. I think we've pretty much found the culprit. All okay. right. No definitive result yet. All right, let me uh, call me back with any details soon. And he hangs up. All right, um, so... Gentlemen, have you your past catalog? Uh, yep, yeah, I just need. Okay, there we go. Uh, Jim, to make the object resistance roll for anything relevant. So you're trying to beat five, or not beat five? Shoot it. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, they, there's going to be lots of stuff, but I want to know what's inside the safe, really. Uh, just a bunch no, of definitely. papers. Like, Bombs when I mean anything. a bunch of papers, a lot, like the entire safe is Chocolate stacked papers. to the top with papers. Which means I uh, can't cut in. I can't cut into the safe, otherwise we'll trash the papers. If I was Fine. reading them, how would I catalogue them? So that's basically what the spell gives me. Um, just like... Not the contents, but, you know, what title document. would I put over them? Like probably, document or... Probably documents slash blackmail. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. So yeah, time to get in there. Right to break uh, into it's it. it's double the um, rating of the uh, tool versus double the rating of the mm -hmm. lock, right? What are you doing? And as he's doing this, it's about five to ten minutes after the call from Tony and all that. Uh, what are you guys doing? Are you all inside the house? Oh, wait, wait. Are you trying to pick the? Are you trying to pick the mag lock? I'm using my sequencer. You, you can use locksmithing with that, you know. I'm planning on that as my secondary. I'd rather not break the lock open unless I can open it authority, because if you break the lock open, then maybe a self-destruct inside the safe. All right, nothing happens. You do not open it. I have a maglock passkey rating three. Did you just say that? That only, that, that only works for keycard mag locks. Oh, okay, are you guys all in the house right now? Yes. Uh, um, Alright, please roll audio perception if you're all in the house. Oh, great. Three success. Alright, gentlemen. Three. Agony you, here. You hear this, a slight screech of tires or a squeak of brakes, you're not really sure. But you do hear doors sliding open and slamming shut. How far from the someone's coming? The back Watch door. out, everyone! I'm. All right, I'm gonna ready as as my as cyber I, arm shotgun. As soon as I hear that message, I I, uh, I activate my cyber holdout, uh, my cyber pistol, and pull out my Aries with the uh, well, ready my Aries. I can I. I, I okay, um, please roll me initiative, gentlemen. Yeah, I pull out my Aries as well. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna ready my uh, sniper oh. rifle. What am I talking about? Hello? Hello. Sniper rifle inside a house. Uh, I was, I was asking... Uh, it's how silence. Far... Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you get a negative for using it close quarters. And Just close quarters, know. yeah. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Where does it say that? That's a like, good I'm question. legit I'm curious. Sure. I, I just remember, I, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not positive. I'm pretty sure I remember reading it somewhere in the main rule book. Because I, I, I remember thinking to myself, "Wow, why don't sniper rifles have a like penalty at extreme close quarters?" Oh, I thought they did. And I never. I mean, I I haven't read that they have any kind of penalties. It's oh, it so, be... okay. I found it. I found it. It's over there. I I thought it was over there, but I couldn't find it. So what is it? Oh my god, you're doing nine? That's my default. I have to get minimum of nine. Well, or minimum of, uh, uh, sorry, 12. Okay, yeah, Shadefoot, your initiative you're, you're is You're not a mage, are you? Yep. How did I get such a low in 
Cobalt. So wait, are, Cobalt. are there any penalties to sniper rifles in close quarters? Because if possible, I feel like, like I feel like I should give you a minus two to your approval just because it's fucking close quarters with a sniper. Blah blah blah. And it makes sense inside a house. Use long arms when firing sniper rifles. How far from the the bedroom was the back door? I wanted to try to get close to it before, uh, well, before initiative had started. The you have to run down a hallway, take a left through the kitchen, and there's the back door. So I'm pretty far from it. You could probably make it if you used a whole turn to make it over there. Okay, I just I wanted to know. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, right, uh, Jules, what did you get? Um, 22? 22. Oh, just a question. What ammo are people using? Because uh, um, I'm Gentlemen, entirely non-lethals. Non uh, oh, you got um, just... I haven't decided yet. I usually prefer non-lethal, but... I use HPS and uh, stick and shock. Uh, to be honest, if this is the person that's that's been did the murder, I'd rather take them in alive. I've got... Yeah. Uh, I've got and let the mob kill us. So hang on a second, hang on. So let's clear if away there the are sniper 15, rifle thing real. If there are 15 people outside piling out of the back of a van, then I might well ball lightning them. <laughs> it's more I, what I'm saying, I, if you get I, what I mean. If we're horribly outnumbered and they're using lethal force, then I probably will as well. But I agree I, taking them in alive is preferable. Yeah, Jules always I, prefers to take alive, but uh, if it's us or them, and we know that they're probably the killers and they're here to do the same to us, fucking, yeah, take care of them. Slipping on my ballistic mask and, you know, readying my, my hand crossbow just in case. Uh, Alrighty, actually, so what are you going to do, Agony? Um, well, okay. W what's the ruling on the sniper rifles? And what kind of quarters are we in to boot? Oh yeah, didn't you say you found that? Uh, someone? It, it didn't say that there are any penalties in the sniper rifle section of the rule book. Right. I, I won't give you a penalty then. Okay. In that case, I'm using the um, ranger with uh, gel rounds. So... I will give um, you a movement penalty, though. How about that? <clears throat> like, because trying to move in the uh, in the house with a sniper rifle... Sure, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like there should be a rule that you know. Well, I mean, it's that's, okay. I, I don't want to argue too much, but it's like even if there were a penalty with certain sniper rifles, um, this is like a sporting rifle. Yeah. So okay. What? You're fine. You're fine. Yeah. So I mean, like I said, I don't want to argue it. GM's discretion is ultimately the rule, but you know, my two no, cents. That's all good. You're okay. fine. So, all right. So I'm taking out my Ranger. Other reason why I want to use it is because it's silent. So if we can, you know, if we're all using silent guns and we dispatch them quickly, we won't call in KE, which would be really yeah. fucking bad. So yeah, does yeah, everybody well, have a silent option? That is what I was saying. Just toss a um, gas grenade out. It does, doesn't have a detonation. It just pumps gas everywhere. If we're all wearing gas masks and they walk in... <laughs> Well, let, let's, let's just see what we see when we look out the window. Yeah, we don't, we we don't even know how many there are. We don't even... All right. Well, Agony, well, you're still wait. So still wait. Do yes, we do. Hold on, just a second, guys. We do know how many there are. Cameras. No oh, one yeah. took them down. Oh, you're that right. is a good point. But don't forget, we, all the cameras are facing the house, correct? No, the ones yeah, on the no, fences there's, weren't. There's some outside. There's, there's some, some outside. For, to, all right. There's some on the doors. There's some on the fence. They're looking. Yeah. Out so roll perception. The Who planted them? I don't have them. I planted. I but planted the, the images are fed to all of you, so yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. In that case. <laughs> all right, you guys see a bunch of men that look like that and go to the journal handouts. Hit men. Uh, oh wow! Well. That's some Shit. serious um, people. Uh, and there's we you should... see there's about four or five of them. I don't They're think they have gas masks. Yeah, they're likely to have gas masks. Yeah, it's not going to help. We're, we're going to have to take these people down. Also, I think we might have to switch to lethals. Who, Do we recognize any of them? Who, oh, okay, go masks. ahead. Uh, if you roll a five, 
or higher perception, go ahead and re-roll those, then you'll notice a particular detail about them. One of them's wearing a Hawaiian shirt under the armor. <laughs> Is that all of us? I'm not sure where we're All of you should us. roll this. Oh. oh. You all can edge it if you want, yes. I thought you said anybody who rolled over Another. a five. No, 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 no anyone. Again. You gotta roll a five to... There you, know, you go. The gentleman to get that. Oh, nice. Alright, you notice that these guys are fully tatted, probably Yakuza hitmen. Yeah. Fuck. I did not the see that coming. Nor did I. Um. Oh god, Lucas was brokering a trade. A, um, making it Ching betray the Yakuza. The Yakuza must have found out about Lucas, and they're hunting. Oh god, yeah. yeah. They might not know that Lucas. That did. makes sense. We might want to leave. Yeah, I said like, we run out the back goddamn door. There's okay. The, okay, the I'm gonna tell you right now. There's three guys in the front, two guys in the back. We, well, we've gone. We're wait, gonna have how, to they surrounded us that fast? <sighs> well, there was two vans that pulled up, and we've been ah. talking a lot. We well, have. Uh, well, to be honest, it's not unreasonable. <laughs> well, no, we have our initiative up. We've been talking, but this has been out of character. Well, this happened like you heard them pulling up and getting out before you even rolled initiative, though. So they moved. They, going, they moved quick, they like just, any professional. They, they're making tech. double entries. They're, I mean, they're, you know, yeah, they're freaking ass. professional they're, hitmen. They're professionals. I would say stay low right. and All right. shoot to kill. Yeah, um, I, I'm gonna ready my freaking uh, cyber arm shotgun and my crossbow. Yeah, I'm gonna um, tell my cyber arm to switch to um, APDS. Okay, you guys can do this. Actually, your screw turn. It. Agony, go. Oh yeah. Okay, so where are they? There, like I said, there's three guys in the front, two in the back. It's the last song. Okay, and where where are we? Are we in an elevated? You're inside the house. Are... Uh, okay. It's elevated by like three steps up to a porch into a door. Okay, uh, so I don't want to bring them in. I, I don't want to cause a big ruckus outside because they don't that's going to bring in the cops. So I want to let them come in first before we take they them might down. Not, and they might not know we're inside yet. Exactly. Because so that, I'm going because to because any mages will be blocked by the ward. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, how many flash packs do I have? Flash packs. Where are they? There we go. I have two flash packs. So I'm going to get those ready. Um, you do you guys all have flare comp? Yes. Uh, I'm in another yes. room from you, aren't I? I've got it. Um, okay. Glasses. Hang on. Let's Let's just work out where people are. I'm in the I'm in the bedroom with um, Cobalt. Yeah, okay. And okay. Here, let's make this let's, easy. Let's, let's make say this that easy. this is the bedroom right here. This three by yeah, GM is talking. Okay. Square. Okay. Uh, this uh, here, uh, sirs, is the living room. Okay. okay. Then, excuse my boxes over your notes. This is the kitchen. Okay. The kitchen leads to a little pantry door. That pantry door, we'll just say that's the door to that leads to the backyard. This here is the bathroom. Now, we have a little hallway that goes about that far out leading to this room, which is the bedroom. The door for this is right there. And these little squares on the lines will be doors. And this is the front door. And is this door. is this where the garage is? The garage is over here, out in the yard. Oh. And then I'm I'm assuming the back door is right there in the kitchen, by the pantry. Yeah. Um, also, there's the front door there. The um, kitchen is actually like a wide open area. It's not really a door, but you can just kind of walk through it. You know what I mean? Yep. Okay, so an arch. And then also, last but not least, the grayer spots are windows in the house. Cool. Okay. And where are the yaks? Also, a couple of things that I would like to note. Um, I'm assuming the corpse was around here somewhere. 
It, it was in the uh, the blood is in the living room. So it's here. Yes. Okay. The safe is in the far room, right here. Uh, which part of the room? The safe. Yes, because it was in a corner. Right there. Right. Okay. Uh, is, hang on. Is it, are you seriously saying there's not a window there and it's just a hallway? Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's a really weird house design. I don't know, man. That's <laughs> just how I imagined it. So. That's yeah, that's fine. It's just strange. Don't you mock the GM. <laughs> is I'm it? Not uh, mocking it. Is it a one floor house? Uh, it is a single floor, yes. And could you note where the yaks are? That's what I'm doing. And where we are? Okay. Okay. Okay, um. You guys can make your own uh, markers. Okay. Oh, crap. I think. I may have crashed. We can hear you, or I can hear no, you. No, my Firefox may have crashed. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it looks like it. <sighs> Give me a minute. How do you guys ping the map? You click the left, the arrow up in the top left, and just hold it down on where you want it to ping. Ooh, thank you. Mm hmm Now I'm all fancy, too. There's a star. I guess I would have been wherever Cobalt was, since we were, uh, not Cobalt, uh, Shade. Since we, or was it gentleman that was, uh, it was gentleman that was, uh, with me. Yeah. Yeah, I was definitely near the safe because I was in that room to cast catalog. Okay, then the, yeah, that sounds like where I would be too. So. So we're all basically in this, this tiny bedroom with a hallway. Uh, that sounds not bad. Could be worse. Wait, is there someone out there in the living room? That's blood. Is that what that... Oh, okay, I was about to say, is that what that red blob is? Is that someone? Couldn't we just call the KE? I know we're all like, we don't want we them to show up. We could call Tony. Actually, I have the, a way better picture. Holy sugar biscuits. We could, one we could side, call Tony. One side or the other will definitely be dead. Before I think we should, uh, turn up, before I think True, but we we could call Tony just in case we're the ones that are dead. It's not our problem. <laughs> I mean, like, the Yakuza all die, not our problem. The Italian Mafia all die, not our problem. But the, the big issue is they won't get here before we might all die. That's what the window's for. <laughs> that's, that's what I was thinking. But... We'll find out. Got a bunch of grenades on me too, though. Let's find out how those work. <laughs> Not in close quarters, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's all downhill from here, folks. <laughs> Choking uh, salsa hey, time, the, baby. The, the, can someone delete the uh, like the the words that are we don't need? I I don't have ownership over them. The Yakuza I thought, was my I thought Yakuza and my was Peter pretty. Took a uh, was pretty appropriate. <laughs> it is, but, you know, <laughs> I just figured it, that way they're not in the way. Um, All right. Who's the star? Oh, right. Is there oh, a fence behind the house? So, Agony, what are you doing finally? Like, <laughs> What did I miss? What did I miss? Okay, so um, if there's any way Anyone? for me to get cover and line of sight on the entrances, I'm going to do that. So if I move to this room, do You're I have in the living room, sight? right? Hmm? Uh, there's no window in that room. I mean, line of sight inside. In like into the living room, uh, you can see about half of it. Uh, you can't see the door unless you're like in the, like tuck like a uh, snug into the corner, like the bottom left corner of the room, looking out. Okay. Um, well, I'm just gonna secure one location at a time. So, so you're just gonna going chill in that room. 
Well, I'm going to ready an action. First Yakuza I see, I'm going to blast him in the face with my sniper rifle. Okay. Alrighty, so that's it for you. Alrighty, it is now your turn, Jules. I think Ooh. I think Shadefoot is dead. Come quat, really? Oh, there we go. Oh, you can't even. What did I miss? Because my computer <laughs> completely crashed. Uh, we're readying for combat, and that's about it. All right, so nothing. We haven't worse. actually started anything yet. I did want to know: is there a fence behind this house? A what? Fence. Yeah, there's a white picket fence, and then uh, behind the white picket fence, there's a large hedgerow, probably about okay. like six feet high. That sucks. <laughs> Uh, so uh, I could jump a fence. Can't jump a freaking hedge. <laughs> Might be able to jump a hedge. Probably can't. Is there any variation of you know holding your action in a shadow run? Yeah, you can hold your action, and then if you see yeah. someone, you can shoot or do whatever you want to do when you want to. I mean, you declare the action as a complex action, and then. You know, so you can't use trigger. any simple actions, but you can just use your one complex. Alright, I'm gonna actually, I'm just gonna uh, move over against the wall by the door, and uh, go ahead. Okay, who's the square, the star, and all that shit? The circle is shade foot. Okay. And, and I take and, it you're the J, Jules? Uh, yeah, I'm the J. I, I wasn't creative <laughs> like everybody else, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I need a square. Gentleman's a star. Okay, so you're just gonna stay put. Um, Oops, uh, I didn't think it was my go yet. No, I'm talking about jewels. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm gonna actually move over where that purple square is. If you could, uh... yeah, oh, hey, look, you can move out of the way. Look at that. Do you? <laughs> you just go into a wind, like into the wall. Oh. Okay. Well, he he's inside the room. Let's just say he's inside. It's just the way yeah, the map in the works. Corner. Yeah. Right about there. I move over to the wall, and I Next uh, to the door? switch my rounds over to stick and shock. Okay. Wait, you're going non-lethal? I thought we were trying to... I thought we all decided to... We don't need to take these guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then we don't need to, we don't need what to keep these guys What I was saying is that we need to do it quietly. Well, okay. ADPS it is. Yeah. Silenced. Silenced is best. Yep, silenced. I'm okay. The only reason why I'm using gel rounds is because I don't have APTS for this guy. Okay, so that's uh, anything else you're going to do, or are you going to hold the rest of your turn? I'm going to hold. Okay. It looks like it's now your turn, uh, Shadefoot. Give me a second. I'm just sorting out everything because my system crashed. Okay. So just give me a, a, about a couple seconds. I'll just need to sort it. No, you don't get a couple seconds. No, I'm just kidding. I guess I can't use my shotgun arm if we're wanting to stay quiet. Correct. I mean, it's a it's a shotgun arm. Re remember, though, um, alive is better than quiet and dead. Yeah, no, I I know that. It's it's loaded. <laughs> it's loaded. It's just I, I I'm gonna try to use my crossbow if possible. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to switch all my weapons to um, like right. Let's see. I'm my all my guns can switch as simple actions, so I'm going to switch to um, APDS for my Ares light fire, and um, I'm going to switch to uh, APDS for my cyber pistol, both of them, which are silenced. Okay. And I'm going and I'm going to put my I'm going to clip my gun cane onto my harness because I don't intend on using it. <laughs> yes, my, my cane actually has a clip on my harness. Anything else? Um, I'm going to hit the floor. Hit the and, floor? Yep, and aim at the um, entrance. Okay, so the little door. Yep. Where's the bed? Uh, it's kind of next to the window. Yeah. Let's flip it over and use it as a barricade for the window. That's a good idea. It, it's, it's, uh, it's obviously, just, this is just a out-of-character thing. 
Alright, you can do that during your turn, sir. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, one more thing. I'm going to ready a um, thermal smoke grenade. Okay. But I'm not going to detonate. Trigger Okay. It. I'm just so going to have it. So this going to move over and start firing at you. Shade through the window. I've hit the ground. I'm underneath the window. Oh, shit. Then who's the star? <laughs> that would be me. That gentleman. Okay. He's going to be shot at. <laughs> and this is why you'd hit the ground. <laughs> I haven't oh, had an action yet. Despite yeah. the fact I'm the one that heard them coming. <laughs> yeah, you wasted your time alerting everybody else. Thank you very much. You let me hit the ground. <laughs> Don't worry, right. I'll avenge you. I'll avenge you if he gets a And this is a short burst, so you're minus two to dodge. Okay. Isn't there a dodge action which is basically hit the floor? Oh uh, yeah, you can go prone, go but it prone. takes away your turn. Oh, yeah. Um, no. Whereas if you do it in your turn, it's your turn. Yeah, pretty much. Either way, it takes away your turn. <laughs> kind of. Well, it's not a full action in your turn. It's a yeah. full uh, interrupt yeah, action. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Does he miss on, a, on equals? Mm. Did, it's, uh, it's, you rolled it's two? High. In a so tie, the defender he wins. Yeah, he misses. In a tie, the defender wins. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's like saying the defender automatically has a, a, a success. Yeah. Okay. This guy is also going to move over here and shoot as well. Pop shot. Uh, how did gen uh, gentleman dodge? Did he just dodge the bullets? Yeah, he just kind of jumped out of the way. Right. So he, he didn't use an interrupt. No, 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 he was able to dodge it. Yeah, I was just checking if he used to interrupt or not. Okay. No, I Go ahead and roll again. Uh, another short burst. So make sure you minus two to your dodge roll. Question: Are these weapons loud or silenced? These are AK-97s with no silencer. Okay. So wow. Ke knows some, Ke, Ke knows what's going on. All of a sudden. So we have maybe ninety seconds to finish our. Oh, race. actually, I need to roll for that one second. Um. I mean, this is a decent neighborhood, and at least one neighbor is home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay. So we may we may be having a problem with. <laughs> okay, then these guys are going to enter the house, and the, the guy. Door. What? All the window. <laughs> yeah, the, one the windows. Go. That I'm one assuming is... they break open the window. Two take the window. One just walks. Yeah, this the guy goes through the, door. <laughs> the no the door the door. <laughs> he walks and then, through. And uh, he he tosses a uh, <laughs> tear gas in this hallway. Gas masks, people. I told you it was a good idea. Yep. Uh, do we... Wait, Which can, also I, means can I fit a gas mask over a ballistic mask? And then these, these no, other you, two you guys can't... are going to hold their turns. Unless no. the gas mask is built into the ballistic mask, no. Yeah, I figured. You would have to switch. It's going to be a complex action, isn't it? All right, it yes. is now your turn, Cobalt. Well, uh, do I notice the gas? I did say gas masks. Like yeah, a couple that is true. Uh, it is it is basically what I was going to do anyways because you were saying you were going to use neuro stun. Um, yeah. So and yeah, neuro stun is contact uh, is contact as well. So it's not entirely safe. Yeah, <laughs> basically, I'm gonna uh, swap my ballistic mask safe. for a gas mask. Um, I'm thinking then, tossing it out that window. That might be a good idea. Uh, so wait, how many actions do I get? Sorry. Yeah. Two simples. Two simple and a complex. Okay. Okay, so. And a free. And a free, yeah. Yeah. Definitely or going any, to. Um, any combination of mixing. Yeah, definitely going to make sure I, I have my gas mask on. Um, I'm gonna. You said the bed the is like. The bed is like. Yeah, that's that's definitely gonna be the complex. You said the bed's like right there. Yeah. Okay, then. I am going to be moving. Hey, I'm going to be. Hey, move my fucking thing over here behind the bed, and okay. I'm down on the ground. That's that's my turn because I'm the medic. I don't want to get shot. All right. Um, 
And it looks like Cobalt is now out of the combat. Uh, go ahead, gentlemen. Okay, I am going to recklessly spell cast. First, first spell is going to be improved invisibility. On yourself? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I take no drain, and I'm maintaining that with my focus concentration. Okay, and then what's the new news? Hello? What? Yep. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry, I'm just figuring out what my second one's going to be. Try and decide whether or not. What armor are they wearing? It looks like heavy armor. They're wearing uh it's a Yakuza head squad. They could be wearing Millspec for all we know. Well that's what I'm asking if it's <laughs> it changes what I'm doing with the Millspec armor. Let me look real quick one second. Um They're wearing they're all Go ahead. I'm just saying, looking at the um Hitman photo, they've got bare arms, uh chest vest. Aim for the limbs with um stunners. I, I, I don't know uh, or APDS okay, they're heavily the armoured I'm like the TV using mana bolt which just oh, yeah. knows armour so yeah, yeah. Or that's use why APDS. I'm asking how heavy it is or use APDS to the mask which is likely to be the weakest armour whatever no big deal <laughs> no. Um, it is a big deal because there is five of them and they are heavily armed trying to kill us and I'm a medic. Well, I mean, in terms I, of not, French, it doesn't wait, make a difference. They're just wearing armor jackets. Moving. We're already just, over schedule. Just, wait, Let's move this just as, as fast as possible. They're yeah. just armor okay. jackets. In which case... I will throw... Oh, what the hell, I'll just shoot one with APDS. Okay. Uh, make a... Was it a semi-auto burst? Uh, you're so just like gonna the, fire the a short burst. My line of sight. Are you gonna single shot, short or long? Um. Well, it's just a semi-auto pistol, so oh, okay. semi so semi-auto burst of thing. Gentleman has cyber eyes, right? Yes. No, I'm a mage. <laughs> no, it's. Who does have a cyber eyes? I don't have any cyber eyes. I don't it must have any be at all. J or agony. I have cyber eyes. Who is that? Agony, uh, Agony? If the, the guy below the blood pool moves over to the next square to the left, you can definitely see him. Okay. Isn't it dark? It is dark. I mean, I was, I was using my torches. It is dark, yes. Does, does gentleman have a way of transmitting video? No. Just, no? Okay. I figured. You rolled two for your browning? Yeah, and if hey, I hadn't, if I didn't have a spirit, if I didn't have a spirit with using guard on me, I'd be glitching. Wow, yeah. Which is impressive on that many dice. <laughs> okay, it is now Agony's turn again. So hold on okay. a second before it's Agony's turn. Um, oh, he was a minus two to dodge, so I'm using the short burst thing. Okay. With, with my holding my... Oh, the last two dice, so, yeah. With my holding my action, can I go ahead and use a, a tribute boost, or have I lost that? Uh, no, go ahead. All right. What are you boosting? Agility. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, it'll. Well, so wait, does you that go mean ahead I and can go use, agony? Can I use my held action as well? Yep. Or okay. In that case, I'm going to draw and activate um, a flash pack. Wirelessly. Okay. So on this turn, what I am going to do is I'm going to step. God damn it, it keeps locking. But basically, I'm going to step over around here and I am going to use a simple action to just toss the flash pack, which is active and running, into the room. Okay, and if you're right there, you can see uh, the guy standing on the bottom left area. 
Yeah, and I am going to... Um, Hang on, I gotta look up the penalty for blind firing with a smart link. <laughs> I thought I it was minus two. Uh, it's minus two, yeah. Yeah. It's minus two? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, because okay. the smart link gives you a camera. Okay, so I am going to then blind fire with my smart smart link around the corner. Alright, are you shooting uh, single burst, long burst, full uh, auto? This only has single shot, so. Okay. Roll 15d6. Seven successes. How many I keep can you all keep? of those. Already. All right, he downs so three. So that's a net total of. Why isn't my weapon up? So, how net much damage will you be doing? 16 stun with minus three AP, and if. If it exceeds his okay, physical so limit minus two, he, he gets knocked, knocked down. He's knocked the hell out. And I, yeah, he's knocked okay. out. Okay. All righty. Uh, Jules, it's your turn. All right. Um, from where I am, can I see uh, the guy outside standing there? Uh, you are the I, star, right? No, no, I'm the J. Uh, I didn't. Oh yeah, you can see from where you are. You I'm, I'm actually see, in the room, but uh, you can see that guy. Oh, in the room? Then no, I forgot you're in the. If you're in the hallway, you can see yeah. this guy though. Well, and you can easily move into the hallway if you would like. Okay, yeah, I'll take a step into the hall room and I'll uh, uh, fire uh, uh, semi-auto at him. Okay. That Go ahead and roll. Plus two, right? Uh, for for the semi, I thought it was four for full and. Uh, oh no! I'll be getting a minus two to my dodge. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm sorry. So you're firing a short burst. I take it. Yes. Uh. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so what, he dodges two of those, and then what's the AP on that? Wait, he dodges? Wait, they're already being really loud, aren't they? Yeah, yes. they've already shot AKs. Yeah. He, he, got, he got zero successes, though, because it was minus two for a short burst. The, the dude... I think he already factored that, right? No, yeah, I already factored that in. Because oh, he, okay. he's regularly rolling with eight. Okay. So what's the um, armor piercing on your gun? It's uh, 11p damage plus the uh, um, APDS, so... I'm looking around for that. Where's the... How much is AP, APDS? I think it's th three? Are you on Chummer? Yeah. Under Chummer, go to Street Gear, then Weapons. Yeah, I'm looking at it. And then click it. on your gun. It should say AP and then a number. Oh, okay. Uh, well, AP minus six. Okay, damn. All right, and it's doing how much total damage again? Uh, 11P. 11P plus your net hits. Uh... Yeah, you you straight up fire at this guy and just you know blood starts spurting out of his chest and he just falls over dead. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, and Shadefoot, your turn. Um, I'm going to. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I'm tossing out between throwing a, a thermal smoke in the room or uh, tossing a neurostun out the window. No, um, just out the just window, a heads up. I have flash pack on um, the one guy in the living room with the blood. So I'm, I'm in the bedroom. I'm in the bedroom. So yeah, yeah. and I'm I'm dealing with I'm talking about dealing with two dudes outside. Oh okay. Um, so I I think the best option is chucking a neurostun at least um, out the window as far as we can. The thing is that's a contact one. You need to be in a hazmat suit to be perfectly safe from it. Mm. That's going to be fun. Yeah, that's, and I'm not entirely confident on my throwing ability. 
Maybe just shoot them. That sounds like it has a really high potential <laughs> chance of knocking us yeah, the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's why I'm not entirely certain on it. Maybe not um, do that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I'm just going to um, take my uh, light fire, stick it over the window, and and shoot at them. Smart link for the wind. Okay, minus two to your shooting. Is this single shot? Semi That's auto? smart link. It it equalizes. It balances. Uh, no, when you sh I thought when you're shooting around that corner, if you're using a smart link, you still get a minus two. In yeah. eye smart yeah, link. Yeah, but if you're using it's the wireless it's, it's thing, it's actually it in my eye. Two. Oh, so okay. it's balanced okay. out. I got you. Yeah, it's, it's in eye smart link as well, so I get the plus two from that, rather than contacts. Okay, so go ahead and roll that. And are you shooting a burst or what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing. I, the Aries. I'm doing a, 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 a semi-automatic minus two defense. Okay. And it's APDS. Okay. So go ahead and roll your rules. Yeah. He dies <laughs> one and it's AP uh, six. AP is five. Um, pen is five for APDS. Um, so that damage is... Let's see. Ooh, he blocks five of it. Uh, what's the damage on your gun? Uh, it is... Six P minus four. Really? Okay, so he, he literally takes six damage. You just, like, shoot him in the shoulder and he, like, kind of leans backwards like, Oh, shit. But he's still, like, running forward towards the Hang window. On. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> yeah, that's right, 6p minus 4. Okay, so yeah, he's still alive. Now it's the bad guy's turn. Oh, one more thing, I'm also gonna, um, because these guys are really annoying me, I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna switch out my heavy cyber pistols ammo to explosive rounds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this guy is going to chuck an HE grenade into the room you guys are all in. HE hey, grenade? I'm not in the room. Or not HE, my bad. Fred grenade. <laughs> <laughs> That's still bad. <laughs> uh, Sayonara, better. suckers. Uh, let me look up a rolling run and gun. <laughs> this is okay, a such a throwback room. Oh yeah, throwback rule. <laughs> Scatter. Oh no, definitely. Oh. If you want to try and throw it back, you can. That's a reaction. I'm, and I'm pretty sure it's an agility based Yeah, one. reaction plus agility is what it is. I'll take it that. Is. You need to use initiative to do it, though, as I recall. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's minus. I will. Uh, it'll be frying my last turn, but that's fine by me. Yeah, it's ten initiative. You, yeah, you, you use need it, ten it, initiative it, to do that. If you don't have it ten, needs then you ten. Can't spend All right. It. Right. I thought it just destroyed the last turn if you had if you had less than ten. But I'm pretty sure he drops it like in front of his feet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he just fumbled. <laughs> wow, it, really? it didn't even get out the window. I threw the window. <laughs> like, uh, he basically like he he probably pulled the pin and threw that. <laughs> so yeah, that happens. He, he has this just guy, been shot. He got He's a probably a little shot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he got one success. That's like one meter, isn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, actually, okay. Let's see. How many meters is this? We'll we'll do this. Do the math. No, no, no need to do the math. He missed. You're right. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! It's five meters. From there. <laughs> that means he missed by one meter because, oh my god. So, so he hit. So and so I, and so he threw it at this pathetic little lob, and it goes ding <laughs> against the glass and hits the ground. So what this guy is going to do is he's going to run over, pick the grenade up. And try and throw it in the room. <laughs> oh, oh god! Can we quick, can we quickly volleyball it out? Okay, he can he? Actually, how room. close are they? Can we? Oh my god! That, that is a glitch. That is a glitch. Oh my god! <laughs> he never so The grenade like... literally goes off in his hand. <laughs> wow! No, no, no! Remember, glitches, glitches still succeed. What I would say would happen if I were the GM is. 
because it of the goes delay, the window, he tosses and... it. No, he tosses it to the window, but as it crosses the threshold, it explodes, so everyone gets hit. Yes, that makes sense. it's halfway through the window, and just everyone gets exploded by he goodness. Except for agony, uh, he's not right. except for agony right. and the la- and um Jules right. didn't get hit by it either. Wait a minute! Wait, right. wait, 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 wait! Can I have a, a, one quick question? I'm hiding like. Yeah, under oh, oh wait behind the bed from the yeah, window. Yeah, behind the bed, so she's got the defense of the bed. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, right? what's the uh, armor? Yeah, what's the armor on the bed? What's the armor on the bed? It's not a high explosive. It's a fragment. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a fragment. Well, let's just say okay. you get a plus three from a, you know, a fucking bed. Uh, Obstructing uh, obstacle, because I mean, yeah. beds are filled with metal springs and shit. Okay, let's see. We have. Um... Are you seriously arguing the bed house? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if it was okay, an HE grenade, wrong. it would be a different story. No, if it was an HE grenade, I wouldn't have even just... brought up the bed. The bed yeah. would have toasted, and I would be dead too. Yeah. The bed. The bed would have been a surface for chunky salsa. <laughs> How? So minus one meter. Okay, what's? What? I'm looking at the frag grenade, and I'm trying to work it out. <laughs> Is that plus five to armor? Um, yeah, because it's a frag grenade. It's a no, fl- it's a flechette it's style. A, yeah, flechette. because it's yeah. Yep. Yeah. So plus five to all of your armor rolls, but it's going to be doing eighteen physical damage. Flech it. Okay, so what's what what what, what do I do? <laughs> eighteen armor... physical damage. Roll your okay, armor so... plus five. Okay. And body. Plus five and body. Why are you yeah. rolling? Oh right, you're rolling for the dude. Okay, so one guy, the guy that uh, threw the grenade and just gets demolished by this. Like, literally, you just see his face get ripped apart by little fletchets and like. To be the, fair, he'd already the, been shot. The heat of it just like melts the tip of his nose and stuff away, and he dies. Uh, this guy, he. You know, he is able to jump back and kind of like take a few shrapnel pieces to the chest, but he's pretty much fine. Oh, wait. Yeah. Problem. At least, uh, oh, God, we're what, six seconds in? Cobalt, no, what's your armor? Uh, added plus five and the plus three, right? So you added plus eight to your armor? I have 14, so plus five, plus 19? three. Yeah. Okay, so you did do that. Okay. All right, it looks like Gentleman will be fine. Kind of. Gentleman rolled nine. nine I, rolled seven. I think I'll edge Well, that. nine minus 18, I mean. 18 minus nine, so you only take nine damage. Yeah. Whereas I take uh, 11. Uh, yeah, feel free to edge these rolls, yeah, guys. Yeah, edge them. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm... What, what do I do to, to edge? Uh, uh, you roll it. all the dice that you failed, so... 23 minus 7, you roll whatever's left over. 16? 16, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Oops. So you, <laughs> 59. you only take 4 damage then. Okay. One, two, ha, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait, no, 59? That's five. because. That was addition or something. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. He's counting it's, it's, ones for success. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I added them all together rather than just. It looks successes. like you got I'm five on. successes. One, two, three, four, five. So that's uh, fourteen. So I only take four damage. Yep. Oh, hang on. One, two. Yeah, four damage. I take six and say, ah. Ouch, minus one. That hurt. That... Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it was a fucking fragmentation grenade. <laughs> hey, think... at least the guy who threw it fried himself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did both of them die? No, or just the not... one. Just the, the one, one that, that really fucked up. <laughs> the other one took uh, nine damage. Yeah. <laughs> I think he so... should probably just, like, run away. <laughs> Oh, he's getting shot with explosive rounds. Oh, he's not going to have a good day. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, so while you guys are rolling, um, this guy's going to come over here and shoot at Jules. 
<laughs> and he's gonna, gonna use, just... he's gonna use their one point of group edge to reroll that. <laughs> Poor Jules. Thanks, buddy. So you'll be uh, taking a four out of full burst, minus three. Alright, so let's see. I've got armor 15 plus. Well, first roll your dodge, minus three to your dodge, though. Okay. Reaction <sighs> plus intuition, minus three. I love my 19 armor. I love and my 24 even, armor. I love my I'm, not even mil, I'm not even mil spec. <laughs> right? How'd you so get. What the hell are you wearing? wearing? Uh, uh, cyber limbs, that's what I'm wearing. That, isn't, that, isn't that just if you're hitting that limb? Hmm? Isn't that just if you're hitting that limb? No, it's just generic. Because yeah, it's it factoring in the fact right, that. Right. Yeah. Alright, so you can play. I have 10 resting wait, armor. What the hell? Oh, wait, hold on. Um, minus 3? Shit. So that's. Just take the last three off the four. Wait, no, that's your reaction plus intuition? Uh, reaction. So my reaction is six plus oh, the three adept uh, agility uh, increase is nine plus tuition intuition, which is five. So that's... wait, no, you, I don't think you'd factor in your agility increase. It's just your reaction. Oh, and... is it? Okay, son of a bitch. All right, so it's six. That's not nearly as nice. Six, I rolled ten. Six. I rolled thirteen. Oh, to be fair, yeah, crazy. <laughs> okay, you still block. You still okay. What the hell? Uh, wait, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. okay, so you dodge two of the shots. Uh, now go ahead and roll wait, your arc. So hold on a second it's... there. What wait, my... Jules. What's your reaction and your intuition total? Is it six? Well, my reaction, my intuition total is nine, but I have minus three. But but oh, okay, I also yeah. have um, a tribute boost of plus three. Does that not go into it? Attribute boost. It only goes into what? the attribute that you boosted, which was agility. Agility. Oh, that's I, I'm sorry. I and you're not using your agility. agility. Yeah. That's correct. Uh, actually, um, my my reaction is six. Six plus intuition is five, so that's eleven minus three. Okay. So you'd get eight. So you can yeah. roll two more, I think. Just roll two more. Meh. Okay. So then go ahead and roll your armor. You're going to be taking a minus... Uh, oops. A minus... Four to your armor. Okay, and agile defender is only for melee, right? Uh, yes. Okay. So no agile. No, defender. no, it's for your dodge. You can use that for dodge. But you have to take minus ten to your initiative. And you don't and have. I don't to, have it. To okay. minus. Yeah. No, it's minus five. No, it's minus ten because it's like a full defense. I don't have no, either. No, the full full defense is different. Agile defender is a uh, bonus he to have dodge five one. I don't have either. Yeah, so fair it's all enough. Good. Yeah. I'll I'll look into it later. Um, okay, so it's 15 armor, and then I add my body and anything else? Nope, you're good to go, I think. Just roll that. You'll be taking... Uh... I'm going to go ahead and roll uh, edge. Okay, so you're going to pre-edge? Yep. So go ahead and add, add your edge to that as well. You get ten successes. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Reroll all those sixes. Uh, no, I here did. I, I, oh, you already did. Yeah, okay. I already did it. So then you'll be taking three damage. Okay. And that is the bad guy's turn. That was better off than the people that got hit by a grenade. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, agony. It is your turn. Oh, okay. Grenade. Can I corner fire on the guy in the blood room? This guy. You can. Okay. I am going to corner fire his ass. Alrighty. Um, and I'm going to aim, so that will increase my limit and my dice pool by one. So that would be limit of ten with five successes. Uh, are you bursting or no? No, this this gun only has single shot. Okay, so he dodges three of those. 
So What's your 14 AP? damage stun, minus 3 AP. Oops. All right, yeah, so you just knock him the hell out. You just see him kind of like convulse, like he's being electrocuted, and then he just falls <laughs> to the ground. And, Jules, it is now your turn. Hey, All he right. can see the guy out the window. I was going <laughs> to say, can I see him through the doorway here? You can. Yep. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, um, another small burst at him. Okay. Successes. Alrighty. And he dodges one. AP what? Uh, minus six. And you just literally, his head just explodes like a melon <laughs> when you shoot him. And he just instantly just flops to the ground and starts like, he just kind of, the last moments of his life is just him twitching on the ground a little bit. Okay, so is combat done? So you killed everyone. Uh, okay, hey, I, I didn't I'll kill let anyone. you know right now. I, yeah, you I, have, I, by you have I, ten. You have ten minutes till Ke shows up. That took oh, that's three way more time than I thought we had. What? It's Wait, because that's... it's it's in this is uh, mafia slash accusa territory is why. Combat oh. took three. Se oh, sorry, took three seconds. Sorry. Yes. Combat takes, I th yeah, three seconds per pass or whatever. I say per, we grab... no, 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 per combat, the whole the big thing, not the little ones. <laughs> yeah. I say we grab okay. everything we can and get the fuck out of here. Did you um, yeah, I, I, including that safe. I want just grab the safe. Oh god. Um, somebody safe? roll me some strength checks, please. How big I mean, is the safe? Uh, just the to get an idea is... of whether it's possible. Let me try and think of a good example. It's it's a. Uh... <laughs> Did Let's... I pick up the safe? Let's say it's four by four feet, and no, you did not pick up. Wait, shade foot? Shade foot. No, you did not. Did can I just crack the safe up? real quick and get out of here? Uh, you can help each other carry it though, if you would like to try that. Couldn't we just I, crack I, it though? Go ahead, you can um, try. I'm gonna use. We're gonna try again then. All right. Um, I'm just gonna I'll hop out. And loot bodies. Uh, can I? Can I admit it? Can I have a hand, please? Because I'm rolling on negative one. Oh, yes. Hang on. What, what are you doing? What are you, are, I can just yeah. locksmith it. You can locksmith it. I mean... I'm rolling on negative one. Where's my... Oh, why are you rolling left? Because he I took a freaking grenade. I took a freaking grenade to the face. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Suck it up. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought you had a dice full of negative one. What's just... the rating? But okay, you guys now rating? notice that, like, half this like... room is just, like, destroyed. First aid or How much the rating damage did you... Sir? Huh? What's um, the rating my, of your sequencer? Uh, six. Six? Can I borrow your sequencer? Sure, I'll my toss it in. Rating. Okay, so that would give me yeah. the dice pool of 21 again. I've lost the rules for med kits. Um, it, it, what's it, your med it, 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 it supplements your skill. Okay. Yes, exactly. That gives me a dice pool of 21, and I'm going to edge that up to 26, pre-igniting it. Because I right, want the Jules, you're carrying around a full hang briefcase med kit everywhere. Oh, well shit, maybe every, uh, every everything over rating three is a, a full carry. A rating three is a pocket med kit. Yeah, it was an available six. I went ahead and got there's the a, big thing. There's an there's a rating six in my car. Lock picking? Mm-hmm. Eleven successes. Alright, you unlock this thing. Almost no problems whatsoever. We grab, grab the paint, stick them in the with the rest, and bail. 
Yeah. I'm diving yeah, out the window. I'm I'm diving out the window. Okay. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna head out the window. You want too. a slap patch first? Screw it. Do it in the car. Okay. Hey. Fine. Oh, right. I'm, going, I'm going to grab my my camera chips. Where are you guys headed? Away. Yeah, we're getting the fuck out of here. Alright, we, we can and we make sure uh, you guys want to erase the astral signatures, maybe? Uh, does anyone have a Molotov? I was about to say. My I'm going to scrub my astral signatures from this place. <laughs> Oh, Before wait, we can we take one of the Yakuza guys with us? Maybe. If you want, two of them are stunned. Yeah, exactly, that's what I meant. Okay, do they have uh, any uh, if we're, fire if we're taking one, of, If we're taking one of the dudes, I'm going to chuck a set of um, super fancy cuffs, the... Uh, Metal restraints? Containment manacles? Yeah, I've got containment, containment manacles. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to pick one of them up and just drag them over. Okay, please roll uh, <laughs> strength. <laughs> Okay. Can assist. I just use my arms, or is it body average? Uh, it's your strength plus body, I think. I'll assist. No, I, I have cyber limbs, so this is where it gets complicated. Do I average all of my limbs? I or think you add it? your cyber limb strength. Oh, no, no, no. You just use one. Yeah, you just use the rating but from one. You're, you're, it's a full body drag, so it'll be just your basic face strength. My base strength? Oh, well, yeah. Is. That's weird. So that would be two? No, no, no. Of course, you add your cyber limb strength to it, but only from one of the limbs. Ah, okay. Okay, so I guess that's... I'm going to use my rating six arms, so... Plus your strength that you already have. Okay. So I guess that's six dice. Would this, uh, be, a, We've been would this be a good thing to just use lift and carry? Wait. Yeah. So. I thought the oh, yeah. limbs were Okay, so yeah, That's you're able to pick this guy up, no problem. Okay, whatever. Shadefoot's doing it. Okay, he's oh, he's so able to pick the guy up, no problem. Okay. I just drag him to my car and toss him in the boot with the containment medicals on him. Okay. Okay. And close the boot. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here and interrogate this guy later. And as you guys are like getting ready to leave, you hear like choppers in the distance okay. and sirens. Did you lot uh, set off any flame grenades or anything? I wanted to. I asked if there's any sort of flame grenades that they had yeah. on them. Uh, because I don't want my prints all over a crime scene. Yeah, that's a good point. Just blood remember, all over the guys, floor. if you don't have the info you want now, you could be burning the entire crime scene with the evidence that you might need later. Uh, but if lost you track of what's happened here. Did we actually open the safe? Yeah, you got the not? safe and all the papers inside it. We Oh, I thought, no, we didn't take the entire safe at the end. <laughs> no. That would have been awesome. Good. <laughs> just, just kill the whole safe. Your car would be doing like a wheelie the, on the way the, back. The Yakuza guy wakes up and is like, why is there a safe in the boot with me? <laughs> why is it on my legs? <laughs> he just crushes his legs with it. Yeah. Hey, he wouldn't get, be running away. <laughs> okay, so you guys are taking off. Anything else you're going to do? Burn down the house? What up? We, we yeah, really I'm going to get rid of the blood. Yeah, we, yeah get, it's going to tie us to Get rid of the blood. There's like five fucking bodies laying in the. And I'm pretty sure one guy's no, still no. alive inside the no, house. Our blood. <laughs> okay. I don't burn, know why everybody else got six the, points of physical damage. I imagine I'm yeah. of a bit. I took four points, but there's some serious blood round. I would li like to not be yeah, tied. Yeah, you guys this. lost so much blood that you're probably just going to have to burn it. To scrub it away within Screw it. We, we're pretty certain we know who it is anyway. As long as we've got the stuff out of the safe, and we've got all the documents for the for the major players, including the butler. I mean, we all know it's the butler. <laughs> Burn the bitch. And Let's go. The body's not there. Oh, did we grab the glass? Yes, we grabbed the glass. On the way out, just FYI. Um, yeah, sure. We totally remembered that glass. <laughs> Way out. <laughs> well, I remembered, so I grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, good. Um, six minutes till Ke arrives. Okay, burn it. I don't think there's anything else in there we need. Go over the road and erase all my astral signatures from the neighbor's house as well. Hello. Um, 
Oh yeah, I swiped. I, I grabbed all the cameras as well. It only takes a few complex actions to scrub a signature, so. Yeah. Uh, were we going to burn the house down? Yes, do it. Do, do we have yes. the means? It's a yeah. house. Five minutes till KE what? arrives. Do we have the means? Do they? Did they have any sort of flammable grenades? Go Go over to the kitchen. Is there um, any cleaning There's, fluids? Okay, no. You know what? He had he had whiskey. I'm gonna sh Good point. <laughs> I'm just gonna freaking shove Four a rag and light it on fire drive. and throw it on the wall. Drive off. <laughs> uh, yeah. After I finish scrubbing it, go back. Light one of our magnesium flares and chuck it in on top of where my blood was. Three yeah, minutes I, I just, counting. I just Let's threw the, the make sure the on the bed in the bedroom. The We're off. leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. I'm gone. Okay. You're all gone? Two yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. This house is gone. I hope. We're gone, too. Okay. Let me roll a couple things real quick. Um, and I'm going to change the color and number plate of my car and spoof the chip as we're driving away. You can, uh, you can sh uh, drag the mouse to just select all and delete. Okay. I'll do that after I make this roll. Oh, no. That's fine. I'm just letting you know. Just like an RTS. All those boxes are units. Okay, by the time KE gets there, you guys have burned the main part of the house down. But literally, those two areas are left. Agony. The pantry and the bathroom. Agony didn't get shot, though. Oh, good point. Nope. No, he I didn't. didn't. It doesn't matter. Like. You guys don't need to worry about me. I didn't get shot. I didn't even get attacked. Yeah. Although I will mention good. that you did burn a unconscious guy alive in this house. <laughs> the dude he tried shot to at us. us. I don't care. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up, man. I mean, burning a guy alive? Come on now. <laughs> well, let's That's put not it the worst quick. thing I've done this week. He was unconscious <laughs> and he was drugged unconscious. At least he didn't wake up and feel it. <laughs> it wasn't the worst thing I've done this week. Yeah. Oh, right, anyway, <laughs> so where are you guys headed? <clears throat> um, yeah. We need to find somewhere. Yeah, we need to As find said, somewhere. My, my safe house is in Tacoma. This crash there, it's secure, it's yeah. um, secret, yeah, and brilliant. it's hard to find. Yeah. All right, as you're driving it's away, please so roll bad. edge. Uh, does that mean All of us? edge that's remaining? Uh, whoever's driving. Ah, uh, total edge. Oh, I Me. Driving, I'm, 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 dr I'm driving my Shenyang. Alright, if you're driving your own cars, roll edge. Oops. I got one success. I got uh, one success. Okay. Okay. Uh, but do remember, do remember I changed the color, number plate, and uh, identity of the car. You guys are all good to go, it looks like. Unless Jules is driving his own car. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm riding with somebody else. Okay. You, prob <laughs> you probably bailed into my car, which was sitting right out front. Yeah, <laughs> I, have, I have the spoof chips and morphing license plate as well. So. Alright, you guys um, are good to go. You're scotch clean from that. Little neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case, but we made it away. Hey, should we do rounds of first aid then? Yes, please. Yes, uh, uh, there's a, we, we, we can use my car's rating six uh, med kit. Okay, so that's my uh, what first aid with uh, plus six? Yeah. Okay, first, first, six. Wait, what? No. My. Oh, yeah, I'm wounded. Right? Gotta be it. Okay, 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 okay. Where's no roll? Having a having a problem there. Yeah. You guys are getting a call from Tony. Oh my god, this fucker. <laughs> so five, I'm, I'm expecting it. I'm expecting a call very shortly to say why did the house burn down? <laughs> yeah. So he's calling you. Who's answering? I'm currently being. Fuck it. I'll so. answer again. Hey, I've been watching the news. Did you guys bring down Luca's house, goddammit? Uh, the Yakuza? Had to shot the hell out of us. The Yakuza? What the hell? Do you know like, the Yakuza did it. Stick with that. Alright. You know what? You have no disrespect for the man. Or no respect for the man. Hurry up and get over here. We need this case finished. If you don't have anything by now, you're fired. If you have something, bring it over here. Show me the evidence. I need someone dead or in jail now. And then he hangs up. 
So we haven't had any time to look over the evidence we got out of the house. Not really, because uh, I rolled a five for first aid. How many times did I roll in this? Um, who got sh uh, Three of us got hurt. Anyone have I speed I reading? What? Uh, what? Anyone have what? Speed reading? No, I'm afraid not. Not it. No. That was a thing. Oh wait, no, that's a that's a trait, isn't it? A quality, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I don't. So earlier on, I sent uh, an image of that uh, the speed loader to uh, my contact, uh, Bruce Kincaid. I don't know if you saw. He that. tells you it comes from a Cavalier deputy. All right, thank you. So you said, uh, okay, so I got a five successes on one roll for first aid. Um, okay, so he gains five health back. Yep, and then... And um, it's after... I, thought, I shouldn't have said this, but it's after a threshold of two. Is it? Yeah, so for three. a said plus... Yeah. So he gains three. Okay, so then this one is one health back for someone. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll, I'll take the oh. one health if that's the lowest. I'm rolling horribly. Uh... Are you using my rating six mid cap? Yeah. Okay, just check. Did you gonna have to buy a new kit, med kit by the end of this shit? You guys are so fucked up. No, I'm just kidding. No, I have to get. Um, <laughs> how many? I'll how many uses does it have? I uh, rated Six. times two uses. Twelve. Okay. Um, but I'll have to buy twelve refills for it. Five. Uh, did anyone have uh three uh, or more health missing again? Still, you? Can, can yeah, I? Yes, so I, I was. I, I was down. I, to I lost four. Oh, give okay. it to the six guys missing six. I'm missing four. Oh, okay. All right, so who took the first three? Who was wounded lightest? Let's oh, just say everyone gains three health back, okay? Okay, that works. Okay, that gets okay. Me is anyone manageable. still injured? I've got one, minus one. Yeah, I've got minus, minus one. one. What's your essence? Let's take it one at a time for the heal um, spells. My, my essence, uh, 1.475. Right, so oh, minus you have more five. Than twice as much as me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll I'm, just I'm, roll I'm not, that hail spell. I'm not. My huge first aid is back up though. I'm not huge on the whole essence. You can only use first aid once. Oh, on yeah. each injury. <clears throat> Yep, I'm here. Yeah. I'm just waiting for you guys to heal up. No, I, I know. I'm just. I wanted to make sure it didn't cut out because it got really quiet and I was like, Yeah, yeah, it's been doing that. We can just hand wave the healing, guys. We're all healed. All right. Yeah, you're all healed. That that works for me. All um, right. So, but I assume I need to buy a full re refill for my kit. Well, you use three uses. Uh. And you have twelve, oh, so we, you still have. Oh yeah, you I still have. Eight, you still have nine left. Nine. That you can oh, okay. Use. I thought you would hand waved it, so we use the kit. Okay, so just buy. I'll just buy three refills at the end. All right, <laughs> to Tony's. <clears throat> yeah, I guess um, we have to go to Tony's. Um, so it's going to be about a thirty-minute drive. I'll drive. Somebody read the documents found in the safe if you can. Uh, yeah. What are we going to tell him? Because hey, let me tell you, this... there's a lot of do there's at least a foot thick of documents. I'm looking for anything yeah, with Giovanni's name in it. Labor. Yeah, look for Giovanni. Okay. Uh, you get real perception, please. So I guess yeah. we're all going through this shit. Whoever, whoever's going through uh, the everyone that's not driving. Perception. I'm driving, and every I see five everyone else piled into my car to have a look. Okay, so with the five successes, you notice that some of these files are in. Um, they're, you know the little man manila folders or whatever they're called? Yeah. yeah. There's black ones and tan ones. And the black ones, you realize, are like pictures of people and kind of like enemies of the mob. Okay. Uh, yeah. So people, roll me some logic tests to see how quick you can get through this evidence. Logic, that's um, uh, just the... Yeah, the Stat twice or times two? Yeah. Yeah, Matt. I'm driving. <laughs> I have a pretty Let's stop logic. and figure this out. Getting this.
fast. He, he's, he's no substitute he said, for having an answer when we get there. I'm going to put my car onto grid guide and let it drive itself. Okay. So I got, yeah, I got two successes. <laughs> I got three successes. <laughs> all right. Angel's got another three. Okay. So Just with all your recording all this. With all your teamwork, you guys are able to put most of the pieces together. It turns out Giovanni was making under the table deals with the Yakuza. Uh, his, uh, they were basically giving him lots of money. Uh, and they were going to try and set him up like in the Yakuza as like an associate kind of. Uh, what he had to do was assassinate uh, Luca and uh, Big Tony. And Oh, so we should kind of shoot him before he shoots Big Tony. Probably. Yeah. Stick him shots. Um, yeah, yeah, stun him. We should... I could... We should the moment call Tony now, or we might end up with him being dead. Um, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll send the message to page him. Page. Um, you're 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 in danger. Um, look out. Uh, watch Giovanni. And then, you're in danger. Uh, look out. Watch Giovanni. A message comes back to you. Says so the message says cannot be you know sent or whatever. If he's oh. a payday, I'm gonna put an APDS, through, not an explosive round through his head. Better Stop my bike. I'm gonna tear Stop him my in bike. Half right Ask for the over. Uh, that room. Stop my bike. Ask for project over to. Um, to Tony's. Tony's uh, house. Okay. What do you? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get back in the driver's seat and straight into the room. Right. You what? Tony. Someone, whoever's straight. driving, roll me a pilot check and then go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Mel. I'm heading. He wants to find Tony and make sure he's not dead. Okay. Uh, yeah, Tony's just sitting at his little in his little desk area where he was when you guys talked to him. Is anybody else there? Oh uh, yeah, there's uh, two people and then one person you see is walking up to the house right now. And Fuck. the butler is oh, greeting him. Okay, manifest. Okay. Giovanni. All right. Manifest so I can see who they are and speak to them. Uh, it's Giovanni walking up to the house. Okay. Mani Tony. You need to, manif you need to manifest Manifesting. Tony and inform him. Yeah, manifest in front of Tony. Okay. And he just kind of like is super startled. He just like falls back in his chair. Like Giovanni is 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 the man who... We, we can't get the evidence to you quick enough. He's coming now. We think Giovanni. he's going to assassinate you. No. He, definite, he definitely assassinated Luca. He's going no, to assassinate listen, you. Listen. He's being paid by the Yakuza. We Giovanni is my most, one of my most trusted men. Okay, He would never do such a thing. Okay. I don't know where He's you're coming. getting your information, but it's wrong. He's coming. We have proof. He's going to shoot you. Oh, man. I guarantee it. I'm going to hold him, but I swear to God, if you guys do not have evidence, you're dead men. You hear me? Well, I mean, he's a ghost already. And then uh, he tells the other two guys to uh, meet Giovanni and, like, contain him. All right. So we can get there now. Yep. Even with, right. especially with, like, with my pants. Uh, yeah, you, like... you guys are, by this time, uh, like, five minutes later, you guys show up. And the butler's standing outside ready to greet you. I, I, well, I woke up as like we need we need to see um, Tony now, and he just waves you in. You know where to go. I have the papers, by the way. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Sprint up, sprint up the stairs with this pile of documents, three meters tall. <laughs> I, I don't think we need all of them. I, we just need the ones that contain Giovanni's the evidence yeah, that he's guilty. The rest, well, the rest of the documents help. Um, because we took photos, remember. I don't know, you guys didn't look through enough to know. You just looked through the black folder ones that were important enough to just prove that he was guilty. Yep. Alright, so anyways, wait. we're going in, we have documents. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Who wants to do the presentation? <laughs> I think I have a great speaking voice. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, that's I'm... 
Who has oh, negotiation? That's the um, I, I have, I have nine negotiation. The, yeah. Then you're talking. You might be able to sweet talk him <laughs> a little more. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I'll join in. I've got seven dice, so we explain it, and I'll add to your negotiation test. Right, Tony. Do, do you want the long story or the short one? The long story. This is my most trusted advisor. Fair enough. <laughs> Let, I will give you a full over of our per parishion today. Oh shit, we still have an unconscious Yakuza in the back, by the way. <laughs> he's, I just he's, remember. he's tough. We, we let the butler know. Okay, okay. Just, yeah, we let the okay, butler. While tough. you guys are in there, I'm going to remember that. Pop the trunk and then gag him. Just to make sure he doesn't make any noise. You know, <laughs> it's a pretty good point. Right. Not that we, anyone in the mob neighborhood would care about someone screaming in a trunk. Firstly, we, I would like to point out that the murder was not executed where the body was found, as is not unexpected. The, however, when we had time with the... Uh, what's, uh, Luca's body, we saw that he was hi to everybody. shot, executed, and then repeatedly shot, uh, so that it appears to be a crime of hatred or... And then almost Some Giovanni's like, what does this have to do with me? As he kind of like shakes off one of the guards, or one of the other guy's hands that was like on his shoulder. I, my, my, my side pistol rolls out um, as he moves. Don't move until I'm finished. And then the other two guys kind of point their pistols at you and like, it's just a mess no, standoff. No, I just, I, I didn't lift my hand, I just switched the gun out. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Never mind then, that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we immediately, uh, we also found a uh, broken, uh, it's called comlink at the um, scene of the uh, dumping, where we, which we assume was thrown by the murderer. <laughs> Sending it to your tech department, we recovered some information uh, with, with a photo of the Yakuza men we sent you, a, 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 list, a check, checklist for his evening of the night of his death, and some information about a, the, a side girl. Mm-hmm. I'm listening. We, we, went, we went to his home, and using the... We, I could smell the blood and gunpowder of the site, but we're at your request, we did not, do an, we did not enter. Uh, we simply left some uh, trackers to tell us if anything changed on the site. We then went to investigate the Yakuza men, found out that they were a that he was a drug dealer who appears to be ratting out the Yakuza to Luca. We discovered this by knocking him unconscious and mind probing him. Sounds invasive. Continue. It answers the questions. When we, call we, we also called up his side girl who was not aware of her and sent a astral projection over to detect how truthful she was being. And it, she, was, seemed, she was not aware of the crime and did, had a reasonably firm alibi for not being in town at the, the moment of his death. Mm -hmm. We also visited his regular bar, which he, which he f visited after having a meal with you in the, the evening. Oh. Yes, very the nice dapper. place. Definitely. The barman there was most helpful. He informed us that Luca turned up at, and was talking to somebody and left about midnight after causing a bit of a scene with, with said person. When we got the all clear to investigate his home, we visited and one of the that neighbors cl uh, claimed that she had seen Two men arrive, loud gunshots, seven of, and a man carrying a, a man who was not Luca, c 
carrying a black bag into, the, into Luca's car, driving it away and returning the car. This was the moment of, this is what we believe to be the moment of Luca's execution and body dumping. Uh, I mean, due um, to evidence. Partial proof now, of this, the, the boot of the car is full of blood, which I'm certain if you test will be Lucas. Okay. Still there. On the, at the scene of the dumping, we also found a speed loader for. What, what gun was it? Cavalier, Cavalier Deputy. Deputy. A Cavalier Deputy, which is we believe to be the, ex, uh, the murder weapon. Just out of curiosity, does Giovanni possess a Cavalier Deputy? And then he looks at you like, I don't have to show you my gun. And then Big Tony interrupts him. Show him your gun, Giovanni. Now. And then he kind of like slowly pulls it out. And it's a Deputy Cavalier. And then he's like, come on, lots of people use this gun. It's very that, common. Correct. It's not conclusive evidence. That is why we continued searching. We, after we had spoken to the lady in lady in across the street from uh, Lucas' home, we entered Lucas' home and found the scene of the crime. It was he was shot repeatedly in his living room. There was uh, strong smells of alcohol, gunpowder, and naturally blood. Uh, we then went and did an investigation of the home. Noticed when, when we looked through a filing cabinet of Luca's records, we discovered that he had, that whoever had killed Luca had removed the entire folder section of G, which included your files, Giovanni, which leads us to suspect that either somebody was framing you or that you murdered him. Then we investigated a safe found in Luca's room. Where we found the G section. Where we found the entire G section of the documents, which had been searched through and, I assume, incriminating evidence removed. However, the safe contained more evidence. If you'd like to take that over. Okay. I'll pass over the files. Put them on the table. And he kind of leisurely starts flipping through some of them. As you can you see... Oh, go ahead. No, no, please, I was interrupting. Oh, as you can see, the, these files rather reasonably conclusively suggest that Giovanni was attempting to side with the Yakuza and their job was to execute Luca and yourself. Which is naturally why we immediately sent a warnings to you to not let Giovanna in your presence. And then Giovanni yells, He's right! And then he points the gun, he swings the gun over at Big Tony. Um, hey, can I just rip can, his can arm I, off real quick? Yeah, can I use my, um, my gun which is pointed at the ground and shoot him in the foot? Yep. What? I can't cut off his arm? <laughs> Okay, roll initiative. You can see who gets it first. Yes. Oh, okay. I want to roll my initiative. Don't worry. I won't. I won't beat you guys. I just want to do it. <laughs> uh, uh, Agony gets it. Yes. Uh. All right, Agony. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna cut his fucking arm off. With what? My monofilament wet. Okay. Roll that shit. Five successes. Okay. No, no, there are no no turns to how many. Uh, no, sorry, there is not nothing to uh, to dictate how long it will take people to be amazed at what just came out of your finger. <laughs> so you you yeah your rope just straight up slices. It doesn't hit his hand exactly, just his fingers. And naturally, like, he like half the gun of his falls. hand and the and the gun falls to the ground. And then Big Tony stands up as the other the two guards on each side pull him down on his shoulders, push him down onto his knees, and Big Tony says, I'll let one of you uh, do the honors. This evidence is conclusive enough. And he throws, can, can the files at, he throws the files at Giovanni's face. 
You scumbag, betraying us like that. You deserve more than just a quick death, but I'll give you one. And then he kind of like waves his hand. Come on, kill this fuck already. Get him out of my sight. Asshole to elbow? No, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I got, got this. Got this. I'll step Thank back you. saying it's not my place. Cobalt oh, cracks yeah, I... her mechanical knuckles. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Uh, revealing the shotgun built into her palm. <laughs> Stab she walks, back. <laughs> she walks over, places her hand on the back of his head. And then Tony's like, wait, wait. I have a much better idea that won't make a mess in my office. Well, he's already got <laughs> fingers all over it. And then he's sure. like, follow me, guys. And then he's telling the bodyguards to drag uh, Giovanni with him. <laughs> so he leads you to a little shed outside his house. And he starts tossing cinder blocks out of the shed out into the backyard. Oh god. And then finally he throws out a long chain. And he says, Can I expect you guys to uh you know, know what to do with this and where to do with it? Yep. Getting him a new pair <laughs> of shoes, I dig it. Yeah, he's he's about to he's about to get a new pair of shoes. And I want it to be done where he dumped Luca. This is for Luca. Of course. Agreed. Um, I'm going to reach out and um, use my shock hand on um, the, the man until he passes out. Okay. So yeah. Just so we don't have to deal with him being awake. Okay. And then uh, Big Tony's going to ride with you guys in the car. Uh, speaking of people who are not awake, we still have the Yakuza guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. We did him. Um, I'm, I'm going to. Sure I'm just going to tell Big Tony gonna... we've got a yak with us who. <laughs> oh yeah, we got one. Also, your... um, we got a yakuza, huh? Oh yeah, yakuza are attacking. Bring me to him, and then he motions out. to the other guys to have Giovanni dragged behind to the car. I beat. I beat the boot of my car, and it opens. <laughs> and he sees the yakuza guy in there, and he's like, "Have you guys interrogated him yet?" Well, no. it's, yeah. we kind of didn't have the chance because we realized that we kind of needed to be here before we had a chance to really talk to him. He's all yours your if you want him. Boss. And then um, when you see uh, G when he sees Giovanni being pulled up, like dragged up, his eyes get like really wide, like he knows the guy. And then Big Tony like makes the connection. He's like, oh, okay. And then he pulls out a knife and just stabs the guy in the neck. I hope you don't mind blood in your boot. Yeah, no I'm gonna kidding. need to re I'm gonna need to clean out my car, aren't I? There's a yak in my boot. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to remove the um, cuffs and just uh, and like, all right, he's going with the uh, Giovanni into the water. <laughs> okay, and then uh, he wipes off his knife on the dead guy, wipes fingerprints off of the knife, and then tosses the knife in the trunk with the dead with the dead dude. And then he motions his men to throw Giovanni uh, in the trunk with him. Uh, I'm going to get into the driver's seat and motion for Tony to have shotgun. Okay, and he's going to sit in the shotgun. And I'm going to drive to near the site of the, um, the crime scene just to take a quick check on how things are. Okay, and it looks like everything's settled down, all the police are gone, crowds are gone, etc. The, the body's still there. No, I'm just kidding. No, the body's gone. The corner. <laughs> five hours after you left, the corner picked it up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to the back, open it, and slap Giovanni until he wakes up. And he's like, what? Just let me go, please. I'll double that... anything he's paying you. Believe me, and letting you go is exactly what we intend to do. He's like, just... oh, thank you. Thank you. It just <sighs> won't be over ground. What? Where? Uh, I assume we drag him over to the water? No, no, please don't do this. Please, please. I'll triple. I'll triple anything he's going to give you. I swear. I swear. And then Tony's like, you don't even have that kind of money, Giovanni. Just die already. Come on, tie this guy up to these cinder blocks. I want to yeah. watch this. We had the chains and the cinder blocks. and uh... I thought we... I thought we, I thought we I thought we, yeah, we'll drag the other body over as well. I thought we had the cinder blocks on him before we um, dragged him over. No, no, no. No, how would you drag him with cinder blocks? <laughs> Good <Come> point. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, hold him down while people tie him on. 
Okay. You make guys... sure that the uh, the dead guy is basically the dead guy's face is right up against his. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. So he's not lonely, evil. you know. Yeah. Sweet dreams, Giovanni. And then you guys just flip him over the edge, or what? Yep. Yeah. Just flip him over the edge. And yeah, at, at, at the start, he me. starts he starts yelling and screaming, and uh, you just see him slowly float to the bottom of the ocean. And then they break off the echo after him. And they file into the car. No, the, 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 the Yakuza was tied to him. Yeah, they were tied oh, together. Oh, extra weight. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're going to be together forever. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, once you guys get back to Tony's place, uh, he says, I greatly appreciate what you guys have done for me. And then he shakes each of your hands and says, the escrow, or the... Uh, New Yen has already been transferred to your accounts. Eight thousand each. Uh, it's been interesting working for you. Um. All right. Now going into rewards, you guys not only get the eight thousand New Yen. You also get. Let me look at this thing real quick. A three-one Mafia Concierge contact. Sweet. And uh, four Karma. <laughs> And is there uh, nothing for notoriety or public awareness, please? <laughs> uh, no, you guys got off for the most cool. part. How much? Okay, so wait, you said you said uh, four karma. Four yeah. karma. Four okay. Karma. Okay. That's good. Is the I'm assuming the concierge is like, is um Tony? Yes. Yes, it is. That's eight thousand yen, correct? Yep. yep. Can I uh, work for the people? If you'd like to, yes. Yeah, I'd like to. Uh, can I? Do I have to do just the eight thousand, or can do it? Yeah, you you can't take um, from anything that you already had. It has to be from what you got in the mission. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna do the full eight k then. Okay. Anyone else want to work for the man or the people? Uh, well, I think I need. I I kind of need both at the moment, so I think I'm good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, likewise. I'm Survived probably going to buy Juliet with this. Actually. Oh, is that the swapping um, karma for uh, money? Yeah. All right. uh, that's no. the the working for the for the man is swapping karma for m money. I hadn't heard that term before. Yeah. That's just what it's called in the rule book. Oh, okay. I'm gonna also take uh, one point in etiquette for two. Okay. Months. I'm going to um, uh, nod at the butler because he didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any last minute purchases and the game purchases? Um, I, I didn't even fire one of my guns. Oh, also, <laughs> you'll get that APDS ammo now. You can add that ammo to your. Oh yeah, my my SMG ammo that I that I never found. Yep. Yeah, mine too. How much was that again? Uh, however much. You, but oh, you could buy up to fifty it. rounds. So. Okay. Let's see, my submachine gun carries. Okay. I've still got plenty of ammo for all my guns, so. <laughs> so is that everything? No one needed to buy anything. I can't think of anything. No, nope, I think I'm great at this point. Good. I, I want you guys' honest opinion. What did you think? Like, seriously, if you thought the run was terrible, tell me. What what did you think of the run? That was a freaking amazing run. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that wasn't class. a bad it was a lot, run, but it ran it was a lot for of fun. a long time. It, was it, did, long. it did go yeah. very long. It was a long I'm glad time, it finished. It I'm glad it finished now because I didn't. Yeah, I, I have nothing I needed to tell you, run. but. My heart stopped for a hospital appointment in about 10 minutes. So. Yeah. yeah. This was a good I, run. It's just, I think that you need to work on your flow because this run could have gone a lot faster um, if you had a, some ways to direct us a little bit more. Yes. Maybe not to direct us. Stop it. Stop Well, the, the reason I had made so many leads is because I wanted to throw you guys off and not just instantly solve the case. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. It's difficult with a run like this, but um, uh, I, I think it works because it's you know it's it's a detective case. It's not 
it wasn't like oh go and steal something. So I mean it kind of makes sense, but it does it did suck that it took forever. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and I was expecting the ride to go for three to five hours, and this took a long, long time—six six and, so. six and a half. Yeah, yeah. We're just we're just hitting seven. But oh, other yeah, than yeah. that, it was a really fun run. I liked uh, it, it. Meandered in places, but the parts that were active were really fun. It was a really yeah. fun run. It, as, oh, really yes, it, it was a long run, but that didn't, that didn't really bother me. I'm glad to hear you guys enjoyed it for the most part. Plus. Uh, the <laughs> I think because I'm thinking of making this a series of runs like this. That's why I wanted the feedback. Would you Signing guys play a run like this again? Just uh, yeah, like oh, detective yeah. mystery type runs. Yeah. I'm quite happy to sign up for more detective I'd, mystery runs. I'd, I'd love to. Uh, <laughs> it's what I just don't think I'd design this character for. Especially, oh, for yeah, especially advice. if I get to run. I, I, I think my character quite, would quite enjoy running with uh, gentlemen some more. <laughs> Just a word of yes, advice for future well runs. It yeah. might be good if you compartmentalize the runs as part of a bigger mystery. That way players can focus on one aspect at once. And yeah. You can keep moving relatively quickly while also having a meaty amount of content. Yeah, that's a good be, idea. Or make sure that people are aware that these run, these back the style of run can go very, very long. Yeah. yeah See, the reason why I put three plus hours is because I'd never even done a run like this before and I wasn't sure how it was going to go. Uh, I would yeah, suggest, it's okay. I would suggest putting at least a, a four or five plus. Yeah, I'll, next time I'll put uh, five plus, probably four plus, something like that. Yeah, but but once again, if you if you're planning on doing a series, compartmentalizing like the different forms of investigation that we were doing, like for example, you could have turned, um, like getting getting information about the crime scene into a single run. You could yeah. have done. Like you, you could have had the body locked up in a morgue, which we had, we would have had to infiltrate. We would have had to, like, find out some other stuff about um, how to get to the body, what was valuable on the body, things like that. You could have turned that into a single run by itself, and it would have had more focus and direction. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like, each of the red herrings could be... have been a, a separate thing. Like, uh, what if the? Oh, go ahead. To be fair, a long run like this, if people are aware of it being a long run, is quite a cool idea. Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, no, it's I, not bad. I tend but... to agree. I definitely would like to do another huge run like this. It's just I might not have the time. Mm. I was lucky today because I had nothing planned. Yeah, I'm up past my bedtime, so... Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's 3 a.m. It's I've got to be up in three hours, so I'm going to bed, it, guys. <laughs> yeah, it started, it started at 1 a.m.